time right now for In the Kitchen with Mary. I'm back tomorrow afternoon. This Mary is. But the other one, the OG, she's coming your way right now. We got four big hours in the kitchen together. You gotta stretch, gotta get the hammies loose. And by the way, we have a ham in the show. Huh, how perfect is that? Um, you know what? This is gonna be a fun, jam packed four hour show. And honestly, we were just talking about it. I do stretches before each show because. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about. Every single item is on easy pay. And when it comes to prepping for the holidays around the corner, we're kind of getting in the home stretch of that. So remember, Passover around the corner, Easter's around the corner, Mother's Day, Father's Day, and more. This is when the weather starts to get warmer. We've got to be ready. So let's talk about some of the pieces coming up in the show, including look how beautiful she is. This is from KitchenAid. It's our QVC2 big deal. For those of you that have been asking me on social media, Mary, is there going to be a mixer offer before Mother's Day? Why, yes, there is. And we're celebrating 100 years of KitchenAid while we do it. This color is sugar pearl. Isn't she gorgeous? I love how she's just glowing. Okay, I could go on and on. But this is a pro stand mixer, and this is the first time that we're offering KitchenAid's largest and most powerful residential stand mixer as our QVC2 big deal. You're getting the pour shield, and we'll talk about all the details here, but this is a 1.3 horsepower motor. 1.3 horsepower. You think that the boys get all the fun toys? No, they don't. This is a popular one for everyone. So we're gonna talk about all the fun in your kitchen and when it comes to like that, that home improvement show where they go ah, ah, and they talk about power, this has it. So I can't wait for you to see it. Um, as we continue, <laughs> my line producer just said the ham is next and I didn't know if he meant this beautiful offering from Corky's or myself. Um, so he means this one. This is the Corky's barbecue seven pound smoked ham with the honey brown sugar glaze. Now it's new this month. It's a thaw heat neat, but this is the high end presentation of ham. You don't throw a single thing away. We have it available to ship now or April 8th, but this is actually the biggest ham that we've ever had from Corky's. So we're going to talk about what is a carving ham and we're going to talk about the glaze that comes with it too, exactly how to prepare. This is what I served my family last year and I believe my father-in-law's quote was I sure hope that ham is here next year so I've got to keep that on auto delivery which we have as our offer today as part of our offer today now we also have Russell Stover in the show so for nearly 100 years this is where we have turned for celebrating the holidays with chocolate and this is a set of three Easter eggs take a look at the side you're getting the Easter grass and 150 assorted individually wrapped chocolates there. So this is your alternative to an Easter basket. Wouldn't this be cute? So you're getting three of them. We've put one of them out here for you to see, but all of the deliciousness coming to you from Russell Stover. It sold out last year. It's now back in stock for 2019. And you get three flavors. You get 50 pieces in each egg with that cute little Easter grass, which I think is so sweet because now you've got your basket ready to go. You don't even have to go out and get anything extra. Now, those are just three of the items coming up in the show. We have brand new Polish pottery in the show. We have lots of items that you may have never seen in the show before, but Kathy Padrias is here with us and she's gonna be chatting with you on my Facebook page. Hey, Kathy. I am. Um, John said, whoa, that's a big egg about three <laughs> seconds into the show. <laughs> it's so and, uh, and Lamont, call out for Famous Arm. Everybody's saying hello, of course, but Lamont yeah. was like, hello to the Famous Arm, too. Lamont's a fan hello. of the Famous Arm, and I get it, because you know what, Kathy, oh, we love chatting with go. throughout the show, and oh, Famous Arm is here. Um, you know what, you can join Kathy on the chat on my Facebook page and she will help answer questions. She's gonna have visitors joining her in the chat throughout the four hour show. Mm -hmm. So you can always go there and share your questions too. Definitely. Which is awesome. Yep. Um, but you can, as the famous arm is showing us, mm -hmm. find us right there on Facebook by going to Mary DeAngelis QVC. And you can be a part of our live broadcast. If you send us an email to itkwm at qvc.com, you can join 
join right here. Actually, I'll put you right here with Kathy at the Social Nook. Um, you can join right there. And when you Skype in live from your home, we actually call that segment In Your Kitchen with Mary. But you have to send us an email to let us know that you are interested in doing so. Again, that email address is itkwm at qbc.com. Well, my name is Mary DeAngelis. We have a big four hour show and guess how we're starting off today. We're starting with lock and lock. And when it comes to how to store your food, lock and lock helps us save money and time. But glass lock and lock that we can bake in has just taken our food storage to the next level into food preparation. So Patty Kramer is here Hi, with us. Hi, nice Hi. to be here. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful <laughs> this color is on her. <laughs> Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, well, I had to match your yellow. We're getting it's spring. We're That's getting why. springy. It's springy. We are getting springy. Um, you know what? This is K45645. Patty has been with Lock and Lock since day one here at QBC. <laughs> we don't have to tell everybody that. <laughs> I'm telling everybody. <laughs> because when it comes to knowing this brand backward and forward, Patty absolutely does. And so this is a customer top rated offering. It's a 9 by 13 mm -hmm. glass Lock and Lock. Tell glass us lock. everything. So this is for silica glass okay. and it's four inches high. You don't have to bring out the tape measure, Mary. <laughs> I know. And this is a nine by 13 glass baker. And what we love about the glass baker, it can go from the freezer to the oven, to the microwave, and you're getting a lid with this. So if you want to warm something up in the microwave, you just put the lid on it like this, upside down. But then again, if you're taking something to go, you have to wait for it to cool before you go ahead and put that lid on. Exactly. And again, this is for silica glass, and it can go into the oven up to 500, and it can go underneath the broiler too. And it's time for dinner. And it's time for dinner. Ring yes, the you're bell. Right. Um, you know what? We do have color choices for you, but guess what? Remember when we introduced you to this and we said, oh, we've got 196. No, we had 13 colors. There was 13 colors. We're now down to five. Um, so take a look. First and foremost, we have it for you in the cinnamon. That's where you get the little specklies. Then we have it in that beautiful raspberry. Next raspberry we have six dozen Ooh, and then we have the black black has the little speckles Please. also then we have your copper then at the very end we have butterscotch now this is nineteen dollars and seventy three cents a hundred and fifty thousand of them have been sold we have two easy payments of nine dollars and eighty six cents today but guess what no reorder mm -mm. no reorder on one of our most beloved pieces from lock and lock more lock and lock to come but this specific item number is headed out the door so it's time to place your orders and it's time also to point out the fact that there's no handles taking up extra room nope, over there's here. no handles taking up extra room Isn't that nice and again i also forgot to mention it's airtight watertight yeah so it's easy to open again and then it's the same lock and lock that you're used to and right inside is the big uh, silicone seal. That's what makes it airtight and watertight because we have the thick lid on here. So we need the thick um, uh, silicone to make it airtight and watertight. So the, you get the lid, it's included. And that's what we love about this baker. So again, once you put this lid on, it's airtight and watertight. And you can hear the hard snap in this because we have the thick, thick seal. That's the thing that we read over and over again yes. in the reviews is folks saying the glass is so thick thick. Yes. You know, on camera, it looks like a sturdy piece, but then when you get it home in your hands, you feel how thick the glass is. As a matter of fact, you're going to come straight. From I'm going to come straight from the oven. Okay. It's a deep dish and like I've, I've got some stuff cooking, so I've been running this morning. So let's see what turned out. While Patty <laughs> is coming back from the oven, I would love to add to the fact too that yes, this is a customer top rated offer, but the price goes up at the end of the day. So this is the last day to take advantage of it at $19.73. I mentioned everything's on easy pay. We have two Two easy payments here, but oh, what you make? So this Eddie. is a deep dish lasagna. So I want to just show you this. So again, remember it's four inches high. So this is a really, really a lot of lasagna to take with you. And if you don't use it all, you can actually just put the lid in because you know lasagna tastes better the second day. Totally. <laughs> it's like the first day and you can see I left it in the oven a little bit long, but it's nice and crispy and I like the crispier edges on it. So it's perfect. And this has been in here since I got here, Mary, 1030. Oh. I cooked it for a long time today. <laughs> I'm like, I was running because I was working on my smiley fries too. It's good though. And again, that's what I love about it. You can just pull it away. Even though I've got it crispy, you can just pull it right away from the corner. No worries whatsoever. Look at that nonstick mm -hmm. on the corner of the pan. You know what? I'm going to slide this ham yes. out of the way. Hang on so that y'all can see. And I'll hold this for you. Look at that. Because it's nice and hot. Look at that. So no worries and get in the other corner. Just pull. You said since 1030 this morning? Yes, because I was Come like, I'm not now. sure exactly. So 
I wanted it to bake for a long time, so I think it's like about an hour for lasagna. So I just Perfect. put it down to 325 and just had it in there cooking. Does that oh, make you melt? Mary, just you were gentle, it. so you could actually just go back and see. It moves right away from the corner. And I it's am not very sticking. gentle with my. I know. <laughs> I don't want to hurt its feelings <laughs> or ruin its its mood. Um, because you know what? I know you have to let your lasagna set for a minute yes. and then you pull the pieces out. Or if you're just eating it for yourself and you're dividing it up to kind of do meal prep for the week, you could do it that way too. We have five colors remaining on a customer top rated offer from Lock and Lock. It's borosilica glass. So really you can put it into the oven up to 500 degrees. Here is your cinnamon. Next door is raspberry. Four dozen left in the raspberry. Then we have black. Then we have copper. Copper is the most popular at this time. Then we have butterscotch at the end. Now, you're seeing the reviews go across the bottom of your screen. And just to highlight a few of those comments, one reviewer says, great cake pan and roaster. Mm -hmm. I love that. So it's not just for one thing. Yeah. Also has the secure top as per usual, lock and lock quality, and it's very deep. It holds a cake, one and a half batches of icing, and fits the top on yeah. it still with all of that on the inside. So feel free to check out all of the reviews. Take advantage of the price though, because it does go up to $21 at the end of the day. So what we like about it is this nice even browning with borsilica glass. And this is one cake mix, so just to give you sh show. And there's still plenty of room, so you can use it for the cakes, you can use it for your Rice Krispie treats, or your lemon bars, or your raspberry bars, it's a bar thing. And then, here are the mac and cheese, and you prep ahead of time, mm. you have the lid on it, you take it home, you say, okay, go ahead and put it in the oven, 325 for 45 minutes. You can use it for your sides, too, that's what oh, I love, for sure. your squashes. So this piece is not just for lasagna, it's a piece that you can use for versatility and I have my smiley fries right there because my <laughs> daughter loves smiley fries and they have to be nice and crispy like this Cute. and I had cooked these ahead of time and put them in here and we use this because this can slide right into the one of those toaster ovens yeah, too. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So what we love about this so you don't have to go to the big oven and you can see the smiley fries are nice and crispy. This is how she loves to eat them and I, I was that. eating them on the way. <laughs> You know, okay, so I'm we might have been doing a little eating ourselves. Ketchup, I'm missing some ketchup to dip them in. So nothing that's what we smiles, love about them. Nothing makes them smile harder than a little bowl of ketchup. I know. Here's the thing too, um, this is how we're starting off our big four hour show today. It's very popular in the show as well. It has been popular in its lifespan here at QVC. It's customer top rated, well over 150,000 have been sold. About a 16.9 cup capacity on the inside. It's freezer safe, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, mm -hmm. and oven safe to 500 degrees. But what about the sticky recipes? The sticky recipes, so, okay, so we had to do Rice Krispie treats because you know Chris has been posting yeah, yeah. from Disney and she's been posting all her Mickey Mouses on there. Right. So the Rice Krispie treats is the same thing. You just go ahead and cut them and you can see they're nice and moist. I just cut them in big squares and I'm just gonna cut this right here and scoop it out. Perfect. No worries at all. Perfect. Love it. Yes. Um, 400 have now been ordered. Whoa, okay, buckle up. Hang on. There's a couple things I need to share. 400 <laughs> have now been picked up and in the kitchen with Mary. If you are trying to place your order by phone, you need this number, 800-500-7590. If you're trying to order on QVC.com or your mobile apps, you need the item number, okay, 45645. You also need to know what color choices we have. We have the cinnamon remaining. The raspberry <laughs> is last call. We have the black. We also have the copper. Very popular in the show today. And we also have butterscotch. The price goes up at the end of the day today. Remember too, we have two easy payments of $9.87 and this is one that is customer top rated and there's no reorder planned. I wanted to give Patty a hot second because I know she had a little bit of something and I didn't want you to have to talk with your mouth. I was oh. eating my Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> so thank you, Mary. We're a team. I know. Um, good to see you today. Thank you. you know what? Let's remind everybody too, there's yes. going to be a full cool. hour of Lock and Lock mm -hmm. on QVC Maine. at 1 a.m. Yep. Who's there? Christine Prime is back. Christine Prime. <laughs> now we can find Chris on Instagram. Her first name is spelled C-H-R-I-S. I had that question this week. Okay. I think folks have been spelling it a couple different yep. ways. Mm -hmm. um, but so there's a 1 a.m. show for a full hour and then she'll be on also at 4 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow too. And she's been posting a couple things from the yes, hour show. Yes, she has. Yes, she has. <laughs> um, thank you, Patty. Thanks, Good Mary. You. Um, continue to place your orders and let's talk for a moment about our kitchen hack. So here on the show, every single 
single week we talk about a different shortcut in the kitchen. And this month, our theme is going green. Not just for St. Patrick's Day, not just for spring, not just for incorporating vegetables into our foods, but how to make our lives a little greener in the kitchen. Today, during our after show, we're going to be talking about how to incorporate going greener into what we're using to clean in our kitchen. So if you've ever used lemons, if you've ever used a little vinegar, I use a 50-50 vinegar mix to clean out the inside of my smoker, which was recommended to me by John McLemore. But we have lots of tips, lots of things to chat about in our after show because we're going green when we clean. Woo, that's hard to say. I can't say it five times fast. My tongue will fall out. My jacket will get all twisted up. Um, you know what? Now let's talk about some bunny bites. And our lead bunny has brought it to us. Hey, Marie Louise. Hi. Hey. So good to see you. Great um, to see you. These are Everybody. so good. They're hopping great. Oh, these are Sanders <laughs> Fine Chocolates. And these are nine resealable bags of bunny bites. And Marie always brings us these great ideas for the kitchen. But you know what? I think these are great ideas for gifts, too. Yes. Because we're getting nine resealable mm -hmm. bags in three different flavors. And the price breakdown, when you look over here, all this chocolate, it's over 200 pieces. Hello. Per bag, it's $3.67. For gourmet, gourmet chocolate. How about one of the oldest continuously running chocolatiers in the country. So cool. 1875, 144 years of using the same delicious recipes. Yeah. How about that? And we've got so three cool. great flavors. We're going to Detroit, by the way. Or are yeah. we? Yeah, we're taking Marie, a trip. Marie we're Louise going to Michigan. She always takes us on a great trip. So we're going to Michigan. And then which flavor would you like to start with? All right, I'm going to start right. Let's go okay. through. I'm going to show everybody the three flavors right here. Okay. So starting right here, this is going to be, oh, I, I must show this. The <laughs> milk chocolate with a peanut butter butter infused caramel that then is loaded with crunchy peanuts. Yum. Look at that, okay? Okay. Next door to that, dark chocolate coconut with a little bit of almond sliver on the inside. Oh, that dark chocolate and robing that sweet, moist coconut with just a little bit of almond. So good. And then finally on the end, how about milk chocolate fudge bites? starting out with creamy, delicious mm. milk chocolate fudge. No Ooh. grainy here. And then enrobing it with that pure milk chocolate. This is gourmet chocolate, a gourmet recipe. Absolutely delicious and we love the packaging I was gonna is see. just stinking cute. It I mean, is ready to go. This is just one of the back. Look, Easter Bunny peeking, um, but also I'm just calling out on the back here. There's a lot of words that mm -hmm. I saw that made mm -hmm. me pretty happy. Look at that. No trans fats, no artificial sweeteners, no artificial colors. I mean, that's a lot of no that I can get behind. Um, also, I have to say, I was pretty happy to see that kosher symbol there on the back, which made me very happy. Um, so lots of great on the back and on the front. Think about it, tuck this into an Easter basket. Yes. These are poppable yes. and resealable bags. Nice little bites in here, something for everybody, whether you want just a little something and you don't want that whole candy bar, but at the same time, you are giving premium chocolate. So many chocolate choices this time of the year. Premium chocolate made in small batches, with the best chocolate, but look at this, even these tiny little bites with our caramel, which is infused with peanut butter and then has the roasted peanuts in here. So oh this is gosh. layers of goodness. The chocolate melts in your mouth on the top and then you get on the inside and you get that peanut butter and that caramel flavor all the way through. Pure deliciousness. That dark chocolate is totally gourmet Loving quality. Um, there's no grit to it. It's just smooth and has that nice finish on the end of dark chocolate that marries so well with the sweet coconut. Mm -hmm. But then Kathy was talking about oh. with the peanut butter. Yes. I mean, you get the little bits of crunchy peanut in there too. And it's not a super sweet. It's a true peanut butter on the inside that marries so well with the sweetness of the milk chocolate. It does. Oh my gosh, all of these are so, so good. We have them on two easy payments of $16.50 and we have free shipping and handling. Now, I see that we have ship weeks here, so you can have them shipped to you immediately. And then our second ship week available is the week of April 1st. So if you want to get them a little bit closer to Easter, you absolutely can. Mm -hmm. But this is a heritage brand. I mean, 1875. 1875, same recipe. Now I'm going in here because <laughs> I wanna show you the inside. This is the fudge. 
and it tastes like a truffle, but look at how I can just pull that creamy fudge out with a butter knife and just almost spread it right back in here. Oh my. Smooth and creamy, not grainy. And boy, when you just want just a bite of chocolate, just a bite of something that's just loaded this and layered. This is my childhood. Well, well, Did hi. You know? well hi. I grew, well, up, you I grew up, up in Detroit. I grew up on Saunders. No. My first hot fudge Sunday. Look, get in here, and my God. friend. I'm vibrating over there. Oh, I need oh, one. Get in there. Okay, Wait, this where am is, I going? This okay. Is, tell, tell, tell. Okay, so this is a milk chocolate. This is the caramel is infused with oh, peanut sweet. butter, and then it has roasted peanuts. This is dark chocolate loaded with a really uh, moist coconut with some I'm almond slivers. And then on the end is that creamy milk chocolate enrobed around that delicious creamy fudge. I know. This is good stuff. I have stuff. goosebumps right now. Is oh. it just melting in your mouth. I'm telling I'm you what. I'm 10 years old. I'm at Saunders. Aww. I'm having a hot fudge sundae. I've asked for coconut on top. Mm -hmm. It's my childhood. That's oh. so sweet. All right, guys. Oh. Come in. Come here. Let's hug you. Come on. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. I wasn't far from you in Toledo. Oh, I love that. Hello, you know Toledo. What? Now, people are <laughs> feeling it because 1,400 have now been ordered. Oh, thanks, um, everybody. Because when it comes to celebrating the season, you know, you just want to have that little bite of chocolate. But yeah. now, oh, more yeah. so than ever we're really being conscious about how much we're eating throughout the this is a great little poppable have a couple bites of sweet it's just I, I love that it's a resealable bag I love that you're getting nine of them so here's my plan okay nine that I'm gonna hide in the back of my closet or not nine three Oop, but maybe <laughs> Three for me, three to put out for the family to share, yeah. and then maybe three to three people that I love. Oh, what a great little thing to leave on somebody's desk. So sweet. Because this is great chocolate. You can tell oh. now that just by the feel of it, really good gourmet chocolate. When it hits your tongue, it, you're 98.6 degrees, it melts. Mm -hmm. It melts. You can't True. even chew it because the warmth of your mouth starts to melt that chocolate. Even in this tiny little bite, look at that peanut butter infused caramel pull. You've got my line producer. Look at that. He, I'm that pretty sure she roasted he's peanut ripping in there. the chair ah, upstairs I know. because that looks so good. Yeah. Okay, remember too, you're getting three bags of the milk chocolate peanut butter caramel. You're getting three bags of the dark chocolate coconut almond. You're getting three bags of the milk chocolate fudge cream. That's 200 plus pieces yeah. of gourmet chocolate from Sanders mm -hmm. and these are new for us this month. Now the ship week of now is still available. The ship week of April 1st is more limited. We only have 500 remaining oh my. in that week. Well, so not surprising. Two easy payments of $16.50 are available. Remember, you're getting all three of the flavors. The milk chocolate peanut butter caramel, the one that's on your screen, which is that, oh, oh the my gosh, fudge. the fudge. fudge. Milk ah, chocolate fudge cream. Like you're also truffle. getting the dark chocolate coconut <laughs> almond. But I have to say, it's $3.67 per bag. Think about nice. doing something nice for your friends, like you were mentioning. Yes. Leaving it on their desk, putting it in the Easter baskets. That's a great price per gift and a great day to pick them up because the pouches are resealable too. You're giving a piece of history. You're yeah. giving everybody the opportunity to try gourmet chocolates. 144 year old recipe. Oh, they're going to love you. <laughs> It's time to dance. Mm -hmm. um, Nobody you know pushed what? my stop button. Ooh, I love some chocolate. Um, no, uh, we're not out. No stop button as far as I'm concerned. I With like some dancing. eggs. <laughs> um, thank you, my friend. Thank Enjoy you. your Saturday. See you all at um, 5 a.m. tomorrow. Pick up your bunny bags. Tune in tomorrow at 5 a.m. Eastern time to catch Marie Louise. And you can also, you know what pairs beautifully with chocolate? Does that look like a rabbit or I do it? Something else. I like it. <laughs> My ears are moving. Um, wine. So if Ooh. you want to check out One on Wine on QVC.com, you can find it there, but you can also find it on um, YouTube. But One on Wine, we just most recently talked about wine and cheese, but here's our episode about red wine. Take a look. Hi. My name's Mary. Let's talk about red wine. Approaching red wines can feel like approaching a porcupine. They'll bite you. Do they bite? No, 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 they sting. <laughs> red wine is like porcupines. They're very hard to understand. I'm gonna give you a quick little guide to help you pick the best red for you. Behold the boldness chart. I've picked five popular reds and I'll show you where they fall on this list and why. This tells you everything, the body, the flavor, the fruitiness, the dryness, everything. This is one on wine, guide to boldness. 
you want to know what makes these ribs different, we need to talk about one thing first, tannins. What are tannins? Why do some wines have more tannin than others? Now for some science. Tannins are polyphenols. No, no, I'll make this quick. Tannins are the organic substances found in bark, stems, seeds, grape skins, and wood. Tannins are responsible for wine's astringency and bitterness. That's the drying effect of wine. If you've ever taken a sip of bold red and the front of your mouth dries out, that's the tannins doing what they do. So how do the tannins get into the wine? When grapes are pressed, you don't even get a break from my voice when we take a commercial break. You still have to hear it going. You can find out more about the tannins by checking out One on Wine. It's a digital series where we learn about wine together. And we have a little bit of fun along the way. Speaking of which, next week we have a big wine story in In the Kitchen with Mary. Dracaris. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but now it's time to talk about our best value of the day here on our second channel. We're celebrating 100 years of KitchenAid. And we mentioned last year that this was going to be a big, big celebration. And today in particular, we're going pro. And it's the QVC2 big deal. All starts right now. Well, listen. We have a lot of events around the corner. We've got Passover, we've got Easter, we've got Mother's Day, we've got Father's Day. And let's go big or go home because this is the KitchenAid 7-Quart Pro Line Bowl Lift Stand Mixer. It's the first time that we're offering KitchenAid's largest and most powerful residential stand mixer as our QVC2 big deal. 1.1 million stand mixers have sold here at QVC in 25 years, and the fact that this one has the most of pretty much everything you can get your hands on in a home mixer means that if you haven't shopped until now, it's time to. This has a 1.3 horsepower motor, that pro bowl lift stability. It still fits underneath your cabinet and it has a soft start feature. Now, this is K49050. This is pro league, but you do not have to be a licensed or culinary professional to use this machine because KitchenAid for the last 100 years has been making this the absolute best that you can get your hands on. Our price tag is actually $192.47 less. We'll talk about that more in just a minute. But this is our QVC2 big deal. This is K49050. And first and foremost, I want you to see the lady whose hands are in motion at this time. <laughs> this is Tina Varelli. And hi, my friend. Hi, Penny. So good to see you. Um, Tina is an amazing recipe developer. She is also a very busy mama. Whoa. She is here representing KitchenAid, but also and forgive me, she is the 2012 <laughs> National Pillsbury Bake Off champion. So when it comes to, well, whose recipe am I going to use in my KitchenAid? Probably going to turn to Tina. Um, but Tina, what are you working on first? So these are some fun cookies that we've made for spring. And this is actually a gluten-free version. Yay! Oh, I can't wait to eat it. So there's a non-gluten-free version that has Rice Krispies in it. Cute. I remember having those in the 70s. Yes. So I kind of recreated a version here. What a nice here, idea. But I don't think they're uh, gluten-free. Rice Krispie does make a gluten-free version, they? but they're a little harder to find. Okay, yeah, yeah. so these have some gluten-free oats in them Thank instead you. and some fun spring little candies. So it's so great. You can make up to 14 dozen cookies in this awesome seven quart bowl and all that power. We're talking 1.3 peak Horsepower. Love that. We're not talking lawn mowers. Yeah. We're not talking snow blowers. We're talking a kitchen appliance <laughs> where the power's measured in horsepower. That's exactly right. Amazing. I like to hear that because you know what? Not everything we make has the same consistency. That's right. So you want to have the power so that you have the versatility. Right. But with the 10 speeds, yes. you can really customize. So light and fluffy, delicate meringues and whipped right. creams all the way up to the densest yes. of doughs, which we're making right now. So we're going to talk about what makes this pro 
in a moment. But first, I want to go over and show everybody the color choices. Oh, so, so I'm going to walk over here with you and take a look because we have four. Now, I'm going to start right here with this sugar pearl. I also wanted to share a couple of other things with you. I'm going to turn her to the side so that you can see the beautiful glow of this color. Yes, this is going to match your stainless steel appliances. Yes, this has almost a glow-like quality to it. But this this profile is stunning. All zinc knobs and a polished chrome handle that I'll turn and show. Look at that handle. Gorgeous. All chrome on that lift. Isn't that beautiful? And the gears are all metal gears too. So lots to discuss. But what you're getting also is the Pro Stand Mixer, the seven quart, seven quart stainless steel bowl. Here's all of your accessories. You're getting the one piece pour shield. That's where you pour in your, your lighter ingredients. You get the 11 wire whip. Take a look, even faster, even more to it. Then here is your dough hook that is sealed. And then here is your flat beater that is sealed. Now, this also, all of the pieces that you're getting there that attach on, those are dishwasher safe. So lots of great reasons to pick it up today. And we have three more colors to show you. Look at the frosted pearl white. This is our most limited. This has almost like when you get the perfect peak on your meringue yes. that has that beautiful sheen to it. This is your onyx black. It does have a gloss to it, but it is not a crazy high shine. I just want you to know it's not a matte, but it also doesn't glow from space. Um, then we also have this candy apple red. This is the perfect nail color, lip color, everything color. This just absolutely glows. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, let's talk about this value. It's K49050. This is the seven quart pro line bowl lift stand mixer. It could cost you $619.98 at other retailers. Here is our QVC2 big deal. It's $449.98. That means you're saving almost $200. Mm -hmm. It's $192.47 off because this is a 27 pound machine on free shipping and handling. Thank you very much. And we have six easy payments of $75. I want you to take a look around your kitchen. If this is something that you have been looking for, this is something too that sometimes we get an appliance and wish we got more. Right. This is one that you're going to get home and never have to worry. You went big, you got the right one. You don't have any room to grow. This is the top of the line. Now, here's the other thing too. We have cue card special financing because we very much understand that nearly $450 is a consider purchase. Yes. So if you shop for our QVC2 big deal with your cue card, you can put it on special financing. That means minimum payments are required, but if you pay it off within those 12 months, there is no interest charged to your cue card during that period of time. So just another great reason to shop here at QVC and this has everything. Now, a DC motor we were talking about yes. is steady power. There's no lurching in your power source no. with a DC motor. Steady power, and it's measured a little bit differently, which okay. is why we're not talking wattage. We're talking horsepower. Yes. So a DC motor is an upgraded motor. It's really long lasting. It's really powerful and it's really energy efficient. Yeah. And to me, the sound of it is a little bit different. It has a purr to it. Oh, it does. Doesn't it? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Very smooth kind of a purr sound to it. And along with that motor, you're going to have that soft start. So if I add some dry ingredients, like these potato flakes I'm adding to this rye bread dough, yeah. if I turn that on, they're not gonna come flying out of the bowl. So on all 10 speeds, if you were to accidentally turn it up to a high speed, it's still gonna have that wow. soft start. Wow, wow. Also inside with that DC motor, all metal gears, okay. and um, it's going to have um, an electronic sensor, kind of like cruise control in your car. Oh. So when you're adding things, like all these seeds we're adding to this rye bread recipe, it's gonna sense when it needs to give it extra power. And these are some of the reasons for why KitchenAid ProLine, the rest of them are listed on your screen. I mean, it is the largest. Mm -hmm. It is the most powerful residential machine. It's high quality, of course, durable, especially with those metal gears that you were just talking yes. about. That means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. As far as in the world of machines, right. metal gears is a really good feature that we don't necessarily get to see, but that also lends into the dependability of this machine too. It does, and look how it's not even hesitant this is one of the toughest bread doughs I have worked with. 
the, reci the recipe specifically states not to knead it by hand because it's too tough, unless you're like Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> or something. So really you want to utilize that 1.3 horsepower and that planetary mixing action and that stability that is in this die cast metal housing. And this housing is 16.4 inches tall. So it is the same height as this six. Pro. Oh, great. So, so it's fit under not the a larger footprint. It's not taller. The difference is, is in the capacity of the bowl, all those upgrades with those zinc and metal knobs. And really, what you cannot see under the hood yes. is that upgraded DC 1.3 horsepower motor. I love that this has a DC 1.3 horsepower motor. I know. That appeals to my power heart a lot. Me too. Um, and then to your point, the fact that I have that power at, the, at my fingertips, right. but I also have the adjustability of the speeds one through 10, you do. but it's never gonna light me up because I've got a soft start. That's right. I dig it, okay. So we're gonna come back to this dough and we're gonna talk about this awesome power need spiral dough hook. It only works with a bowl lift model mixer. And another point to that, you can only have this kind of power in a bowl lift mixer. Got it. It does not work in a tilt head. The torque would tighten the bowl so much that you wouldn't be able to get it off. Brilliant. Okay. Um, you know what too, this sugar pearl is very <gasps> popular. Yes. Um, this color is going to match with your stainless steel appliances. It has a beautiful glow it to does. it. It does. It doesn't have that. You know how on your stainless steel appliances, you feel like they almost attract fingerprints. Mm -hmm. I feel like the glow on this is going to help me from getting all of those little mats, greasy fingerprints on it. I totally agree. And I think if you collect contour silver, this is really going to work well together with that thank and you, complement that. And can we talk about this whisk? I would love to. I'm pretty 11 wires. thrilled. So we have, just for comparison's sake, not saying anything bad about this whisk. No. We know this works really, really well. So this is the six wire whisk. This is the 11 wire whisk. It's more of an elliptical shape and it's 100% stainless steel down here, which means that can go in the dishwasher. So what that means for you is you're going to get quicker aeration and fluffy results more quickly. Wow. So in here we have some heavy cream and a little tip if you wanted to, you could totally refrigerate your bowl and your beater and make sure your cream is really cold. And I have to point out that it just mixes so smoothly. Sometimes when I whip cream, I get a lot of splashing and I really have to stay on the lower speed longer. I'm already up here on speed six and seven and it just is so smooth yeah. in operation. It just purrs as it's doing its mixing and the feel of the knob as it's going through those speeds, it's such a smooth, it's just all around just smooth and elegant and beautiful. But that stand mixer, it's such a beauty. I can tell you too, I mean, I'm feeling. That's speed 10. That's 10? That's 10. Okay, this poor table has like half a wheel and, right. and I mean, it's <laughs> this table is probably older than KitchenAid. Yeah. But um, the fact that when I turn mine up, mine is about 45 years old now. Right. Um, and when I turn mine all the way up, it rocks the whole kitchen. Right. And I kind of like it because, yeah. you know, I know that it's working. Yes. But this one, this is at speed 10. Speed 10 and we're done. And it hasn't even flipped this old table over. It hasn't. Wow. It's just, um, I, I can't really express the smoothness when you get it home of how beautiful that is. But that is the fastest berry whipped cream that I've ever made. I am really love, love, loving this 11 wire whisk. Just look at that. Gorgeous. So beautiful. Love that. So let me ask you, may I ask you some questions? Yes. Because please. now I'm shopping, okay? Yes. I just took my host hat off. Now I'm putting on my I'm shopping hat. Um, I have a tilt headstand mixer. Yes. What is the most remarkable difference between my 40 year old plus tilt mm -hmm. headstand mixer and this pro line bowl lift? It's the capacity okay. and the power. And the power. Just that sheer power. Got it. It really doesn't hesitate at all. Okay. You know, you're gonna have all the power for those toughest doughs, yet gentleness for the light and fluffy things like whipped cream. Okay. Um, 
it just, just purrs along. It's so smooth. It doesn't hesitate. It just feels wonderful. With recipes too, I found that sometimes if I get into, you know, I'm trying to make my own bread doughs like you showed yes. us where we're incorporating different grains and yes. things like that. I can't really do that in the machine that I have yes. because it busts up the ingredients for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. It breaks up the, maybe the whole ingredients that I'm trying to add into the machine. Okay. So keep that in mind. If you are looking for those results, but you need it to be delicate where you need it to be delicate and not have to worry about the way that you're incorporating those ingredients mm -hmm. together. Remember too, when we're baking and when we're cooking, there's always finesse involved. But what if the finesse was already built into the machine. Right. And so that's, to me, the difference between the two. Um, when it comes to KitchenAid, we're celebrating 100 years with KitchenAid, and they have never gone into another room of, the, of our homes. Mm -hmm. They have absolutely perfected the appliances in our kitchen, but they also listen to what we're doing and keeping their finger on what is hot. Because when it comes to making recipes in the kitchen, we want to be able to do it one and done. Right. I don't have time to stand around and make three different batches of cookie no. dough. Mm -hmm. This can make how many cookies at one time, cookie dough batches 14 at one time? dozen. So it all depends on, you know, what's in your cookie. Yeah, yeah. You know, those rice cereal cookies that sure. I was talking about, they have a ton of Adams. Okay. You know, so I do a double batch for that one. Okay. But we're going to show you a triple cake here. <laughs> I love it. You know, and it really, it's going to do your single batches okay. really, really well. So it okay. can handle the small, it can handle the medium. But, you know, every once in a while, when you need to make that large batch, like yes. you said, and save yourself some time, it can handle that as well. I love that. And so this to me is permission to pass on my stand mixer to someone else in my yes. family and maybe move on to the next level. That's um, right. This is that time. This is also our QVC2 big deal. It's the seven quart pro line bowl lift stand mixer. Now, once we finish up, because I never interrupt potatoes, mm. ever. Tina Varelli, I never interrupt a potato. So this is cold cannon, so oh, that's hello. potatoes with added cabbage in there, because that's kind of fun for spring. Plus we added some bacon, some cream cheese, some butter, some green onion, and I'm using that flat feeder, because with the cabbage in there, I like it to be kind of more of a chunky texture. Okay. That flat feeder is going to you know, go around that bowl. It's that same planetary mix, mix action that we've had for a hundred years. Mm. The flat beater is the same beater we've had for a hundred years and because it works so well. Some things don't need to be reinvented because they were invented perfectly the first time and that's why we keep using them yeah. over and over and over again, generation after generation with our KitchenAid stand mixers. I have to tell you too that, that being able to get this much work done, not just great for holidays, <gasps> great for meal, pro oh, hello. Look at that. Hello, Cole Cannon. Yes. But you know what? In order to keep the integrity of the potato, yes. not mash it into a right. pulp, but still incorporate the ingredients, that's the pro-line magic. Right, so it mashed the potatoes and made them creamy, but I still have pieces of green onion here that are not pulverized. Do you right. see that one poking up there? Yes. It's still perfectly intact. So that's why I'm talking about, and to your point, the finesse. Yeah. It really handles the tough ingredients as it should, but yet the delicate ones too. It's just a beautiful, beautiful machine. It really helps you to have those successful results in the kitchen. It's the right tool for the job. It's a great aid in your kitchen. Agreed. Oh, I like how you did that. Yes. Um, you know what, we're talking about the flat edge beater, but I also wanted to call out that there is a flex edge available. It's a separate purchase. Mm -hmm. Separately, it's a 380895 on QVC.com, $49.99, and it's on five easy payments. Yes. Just wanted to let you know that it is available for our QVC2 big deal. That's right. But it is sold separately on our website. Now, let's go into the middle, talk about some colors. Let's do. Um, because we do have four today, and this first one is the sugar pearl. <gasps> this is very popular in the show and I'll turn it to the side so that you can see it. This sugar pearl has a beautiful glow to it, going to match your stainless steel appliances and you heard Tina say it'll go beautifully with your contour silver too. This is where I'll show you too, you're getting the one piece pour shield, the 11 wire wire whip, you're getting the flat edge beater and the dough hook all in our QVC2 big deal. I just want to call out too that you have zinc fixtures, but this is a chrome bowl lift. Chrome. It's officially the race car in your kitchen. Okay, so there's the chrome. Now, this is called Sugar Pearl. 
This is frosted pearl. This is your white. There are only 150 remaining in that frosted pearl. Then we move on to the black. This is onyx black. Then we have candy apple red. Oh, this color. Do you love it? And I have to say, I have my other stand mixers in regular KitchenAid red. Yes. And I love them together. Oh, good. I'm glad mm -hmm. to hear it. Um, so this price tag, have to highlight again that you're saving almost $200 with this QVC2 big deal price today. This is a total of what you're seeing on your screen is $449.98. We have six easy payments of $75. Also, it's a 27 pound machine coming to you on free shipping and wow. handling. Free shipping on a KitchenAid seven quart pro line bowl lift stand mixer. And we have Liz on the phone calling us from New York. Let's hey. say hi to Liz. Um, hey Liz, how are you? My name's Mary, please meet Tina. Hi, hi. how are you both? Good, how are you? Good. Are you familiar with KitchenAid? Uh, just about every appliance in my <laughs> kitchen is a KitchenAid. Oh, I feel thank sick. you, Liz. Um, Liz, how's your experience been so far? Well, I have the K5, which goes back a lot of years. Yes. yes. That's the, the professional style. And at that time, it was the largest one they made. Um, my mother bought it for me in 1964. Oh, I wow. love that. Because I had six children, and I made bread three times a week. Wow. wow. And that machine is still going strong. I love it. You know what, too? I love to hear that because if I'm going to spend my money on an appliance, I want it to stand mm -hmm. the test of time. And so I want that for you, too. And the fact that it has lasted that long, I think, is fantastic. Well, that's one of the reasons I've stayed with KitchenAid because it's so durable. Mm -hmm. uh, every, every one that I own, I've in, you know, gone to some newer ones, uh, not mixer i refuse to give my mixer up sure uh, my my kids have helped themselves to some of my smaller appliances which i've replaced over the years mm -hmm. but they're still going strong in their kitchens so i love that i love that's, it that's uh, you know that's the brand it, it's absolutely fantastic i agree with you liz i agree with you thank you by the way for holding on the phone to speak with us live on the air because i think that if someone is watching right now that doesn't have anything from mm -hmm. KitchenAid, it's really nice to hear that they do last for decades like we say right. um and so your experience is very valuable those watching so thank you for calling in today oh you're very welcome thank you thank hope you we, hope we can bring you lots more fun stuff <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Hope to talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. <coughs> Bye-bye now. Oh, how lovely. Um, you know what, too? That's the beauty of a KitchenAid, and that's why we were counting down to the 100-year yes. celebration is because, yes, baking season is important, but the savories are important, too, and mm -hmm. leaving that lasting impression. Think about it. Do you remember what color the walls were when you sat down for Thanksgiving? No, not unless it was a really <laughs> scary color, but you remember the mood of the food that it created mm -hmm. on the table. You remember how the food tasted. You remember those recipes. Right. And so food, those are memories. They are. And this is how you do it right. Right. And some of my fondest memories with entertaining is just all the craziness that goes on in the kitchen. <laughs> yes. You know, with my sisters and my mom and my mother-in-law and my daughters. You know, yeah. my kitchen's not very big, but we're all in there together, you know, creating the food and stumbling over one another. And of so course, true. you know, KitchenAid is a part of that too. So just, you know, fun memories and, no. you know, baking and cooking together. Just making a little bit of a mess if you can, because yeah. that's the fun part. Um, but also, you want it to turn out because you want your efforts to actually have a positive result. And so right. this is how running around in the kitchen together can turn out beautifully. And then you think, how did we even do it that time? Right. Well, we used our KitchenAid, so it did a lot of the hard yes. work for us. What are you making a pie crust? A pie crust. We made it so quickly while we were oh chatting gosh. with Liz. So I used that flat beater to cut into my dry ingredients, the butter and the shortening. You saw me trickle just a little bit of water in there. If you've never made a homemade pie crust before, try making it in a stand mixer. Okay. Just because it goes a little bit more slowly okay. and it gives you a little bit better control. Aha. So just take your time, trickle the water in slowly. Okay. Everything should be really cold and you test to see when it's done. Do you see how it looks kind of shaggy? It doesn't look like a smooth ball of pizza dough. This is what you want your pie crust, your scones, your biscuits to look like. You test it. If it 
holds together when you pat it like that, then you're ready to wrap it up and refrigerate it. Got and it. then it's going to roll out beautifully and you're going to get those flaky, beautiful pie crusts. Got it, got it. Um, remember too, when you're looking at this and you're thinking, what's the difference between the one I have and the Proline series? Mm -hmm. The difference between the one that you have, that, that power might be equated in watts. This is actually a 1.3 horsepower DC motor. Mm -hmm. DC, basically broken down easy, means you're getting a steady source of power. That's right. With 1.3 horsepower, now we're talking about versatility because you have 10 different speeds still on the side so that you can control if you want it to be a little bit more delicate or if you want it to be high speed so that you can incorporate more air That's right. into, your, into your recipe. But what you're getting is the capability of that steady mixing that we rely on from KitchenAid mm -hmm. and our stand mixers, but still the versatility of being delicate when I want to incorporate but I want to mix at the same time. Right. So that's the ProLine series in a nutshell. And I know Karen is calling us oh, Karen, from nice. Ohio. So wanted to say a quick hi to her. Hi, Karen. My name is Mary. Please meet Tina. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Hi, doing hi, so Tina. Hi. <laughs> We're doing so, so well. And so are you familiar with KitchenAid, Karen? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I got it. I was married in 1969. Mm -hmm. And where my husband worked, that was the, the uh, wedding gift. And oh, nice. I'm now 68, and I've still got it. I love and it. And it is working like a charm. Doesn't it, it? It's working like it's brand new. Isn't that wonderful? I yeah. love yeah. hearing that, because I feel the same way about now, mine. Now, mine is only about 45 years old, but the fact that every only. time I, yeah, only, only. Every, time, every time I plug it in, it just powers right up. I love that feeling oh, yeah. where I think, you know what? I may have just spilled a bunch of flour on the floor, but this KitchenAid makes me look like I know what I'm doing. There you go. <laughs> And so in that time, Karen, what has been the thing that kind of surprises you the most or that you find the most consistent about it? it it's the power of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Agreed. I mean, it, no matter what you make, it, I mean, it, it's a gentle mixer, mm -hmm. but yet it's powerful. Agreed. That's right, 100%. Agreed, agreed. Agreed. Karen, thank you for sharing that with everybody that's listening because a lot of folks may not have taken a leap into the world of KitchenAid yet. And so to hear that they last that long mm -hmm. just really means that it's a good way to spend your money. You know that oh, you're getting is, the most out of your is. dollar. So thank it you, is. my friend. Thank you, thank you for chatting hey, with us. Well, I am so happy to talk to you guys. Uh -huh. I watch you guys and I've never talked to you before. Hey, Mary, will you do me a favor? Yes. Would you please tell David Venable, uh -huh. I would love to have his autograph and yours oh, and I Tina. Will. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't have a computer, and I don't, you know, I don't have internet. Oh, my gosh. So the only it. way I can do it is just watch you on TV. Oh, Aww. I would love it. Karen, I will make sure after the show that I get your information from our representatives upstairs. I will absolutely do so. Thank you, my friend. Okay, do you guys mind upstairs it, getting right? that for me? Yes, they have it on their screen upstairs. I certainly wouldn't say it on TV, but I will definitely. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I want to yours too, honey. Oh, thank you're you very so kind. much. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, you for speaking with us. Thank you, you too. Bye bye now. Okay. How lovely. Oh, mm -hmm. Karen. Yeah. Giving her hugs through the TV. I know. Um, you know what? I know. I will quickly go over and show. Um, you were just making. I was. So it's a filling that goes in this carrot cake pie. That's right. Carrot <laughs> cake pie. So we made the pie crust. Now we're making the filling. So, so yummy. So many great ideas for spring baking. So much. I am so excited too because we have a great attachment coming up next. <gasps> yes. um, by the way, this power hub, will it fit all of my KitchenAid attachments? Every single KitchenAid mm. attachment is compatible. Perfect. With this seven quart. Candy apple red, onyx black, frosted pearl, which is that perfect sheen to your meringue on those peaks. And then we also have sugar pearl silver. Those are our four color choices of our QVC2 Big Deal, which by the way, is the first time offering KitchenAid's largest and most powerful residential stand mixer. And we have a retail value of $619.98. You're saving almost 200. Our QVC2 Big Deal price is $449.98. We have six easy payments of $75. The savings there includes that free shipping and handling on a 27 pound machine. And you can use your cue card, put it on 12 month special financing if that helps make it a little more budget friendly for you. Now I mentioned that we had an attachment for you in the show today. We had, we have an off the menu offer. That means something that 
the price goes away at the end of the day, Sunday. So it's just good for this weekend. But the KitchenAid Sifter Stand Mixer Attachment with the Scale. This is a customer top rated offer that really is a three in one. Yeah. Tina was explaining to me it sifts, it weighs, and it dispenses all without us having to fuss or rely on human error. I know, I don't know <laughs> which is my favorite part of the three functions, but I love it. And read the reviews, folks are loving this attachment It makes out so there. much sense. It does. So let me just show it in action. So all in this one attachment, it is weighing your flour, which we know is more accurate for baking. In here, there's a magical little sifter that is sifting the ingredients so okay. you get fluffy results. And then look at this. It is shooting it into the bowl, making it more hands-free for you, helping those ingredients not fly out of the bowl, adding it in there gradually, and mixing together like your cocoa powder and your dry ingredients. So no longer when it says in a recipe, in a separate bowl, whisk together your dry ingredients. Yeah. We're going right from your canister, right from your bag, into this attachment, into the bowl. And this demonstration, I think, is brilliant. Why is that important? Because you have something on the front yes. of the table because we've all measured all three of these ways, but we're all wrong. <laughs> right. So here we have three cups of flour. So okay. home ec class, you yes. learn to like spoon it and level it. Yes. Right? Some people never went to home ec class, so they're jamming it into the cup. Some people, and we've all done this in a hurry, you're scraping it against the bag and you know it's compressing it. So three cups that all look similar. This one is 196 grams. Okay. This one is 183 grams. This one is 220 grams. Wow. So look at the variance that you are going to have there. And we have some graphics to show you really the benefits of weighing, the benefits of sifting when you're baking. Right. So if we could take a look at the graphic showing the bread, thank you. Here we go. Look at the one on the left. It's squatty because it had too much flour. You right. know, maybe it was the person that jams the flour into the measuring cup. The one on the right is the correct amount of flour, 124 grams per cup. It let the yeast really do the action and you get that more fluffy loaf. Doesn't weigh it down. Loaf. Got it was it. perfect. And how about sifting? Let's take a look at this chocolate cake. Can you guess which one was sifted and which one wasn't? <laughs> you can see how it's denser and squattier when it is not sifted, and you can even see some little pebbles of hard, dry ingredients in there. Got it. So we don't often sift and weigh. We know we should, right. but it's kind of a pain. Well, and I mean, I don't have really a scale that measures things in grams, and this, if we're following maybe a recipe that we right. found online, no matter where it's from, no matter what the unit of measure, right. there's a chart that comes in the yes, box too right here. that can help us decipher and put it into maybe a measurement that you're more familiar mm -hmm. with, but KitchenAid has worked all of this out for us, right. and we're not spending one thirty six sixty four like we could at other retailers. Mm -hmm. It's eighty seven ninety eight. Now again, it's a customer top rated offer. Folks got it home and said, you know what, baking is a science. It's kind of like the chemistry set for your KitchenAid stand mixer. That's right. And it does all the hard work for you again. Five easy payments are available, $17.60. Now, this sale price, in honor of our 100 years of KitchenAid, does go away at the end of the day, Sunday. We only have 600 left. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. let me quick show you. So it's going to come in the box, packed up into three pieces. So this is the chute and the sifter. Now, this sifter does come out and can go right in the dishwasher. Sure, there's a little lever here to pop that out. So to get started, you just put that hub side right into your hub, line that up, tighten up that thumb screw, and you can see that sifter. If you can look overhead there, it's kind of neat. It it's has good some little wires. Happening in there too, it's just good. So that's how the sifter works. So then, on top of that, we add a scale. This can also be a standalone kitchen scale. If you don't have one, you just put the little lid on top, measuring your chocolate chips, your cheese, and such. This has batteries in it. So this is powered by your stand mixer. This has batteries because you can take it off and use it separately. It's going to come already with the batteries this appeals in. to me so much. I am, I am so into the chemistry of food. Yes. Um, this is awesome. So this is the hopper. It's a four cup capacity and do you see it has a little, so that's how you release the flour. So a lot of cake recipes say add 
one third of the flour, then some wet ingredients. So you can open and shut this to release flour into the sifting hopper. Ah. Now what if a recipe says um, you don't need to sift it? It's never going to hurt to sift. Ah, thank you. And if you don't want to sift, you can take that sifter portion out as well. Okay. So to weigh, you just turn the scale on. There are three buttons. You can weigh in pounds, ounces, or grams. Okay. And then this middle button is important because that takes the scale back to zero. Okay. So let's say we're going to add powdered sugar. Now, this attachment will fit on every size stand mixer? Every size stand mixer. Here we did Excellent. it on the Artisan. Okay. Here we're showing you on the Mini, and then we're going to show you on the Pro 600 or 700. As so that's... Please, please I'm sorry, please. No, so no. 176 grams of powdered sugar. Let's take it back to zero because now we need to measure our cocoa powder. It'll do it separately? Oh, so you can keep... That's okay. Made you know. it on my hand there. So you can keep hitting that tear button and then you could add your salt. You could hit the tear button and add your powdered sugar. So you're going right from the canister to this attachment and it's not that extra step. So okay. So best dishes in, I... in my book is awesome. Yes. Um, do we have time? And you can sit. Scott, do, do we have time to talk to Trish? Oh. Okay. I just want everybody to see that it is dispensing. Right. Beautifully. And you can dispense into a separate bowl or into the mixer bowl, and it will dispense into any size mixer bowl from the mini all the way up to the seven quart. It's going to work. This little chute is retractable, so when you get it home, it might be short. Just pull that down and extend it, and it's going to do a fabulous job. Just look at the texture you get from your dry ingredients. And if you've ever mixed frosting and had powdered yes. sugar all over the kitchen, yes. this is the tool to use. We're down to 500 remaining and that's it. Um, remember, you're saving $48.66 today by picking it up. And of course, because it's KitchenAid, it comes in this beautiful box that you can use for storage or gifting. But Trish is on the phone oh, from Trish. Maryland. As we continue to sift, weigh, and dispense, I just wanted to say hi to Trish. Hello, my name is Mary. Please meet Tina. How are you hi, today? Trish. Hi, Mary. Hi, Tina. Hey. I'm doing great. Um, are you familiar well, with the name KitchenAid, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I love that knowing laugh. <laughs> She's a yes, I yeah. am. Um, my yeah, producers absolutely. told me that you have a KitchenAid kitchen. Um, everything in my ovens. I have two wall ovens, my refrigerator, my cooktop, my mixer, of course, hand mix, everything. Wow. Okay, Trish, tell us why. What is it about the name KitchenAid that makes them your go-to? Because they stand by their products. Like, mm -hmm. mine, my um, mixer that you have on, not the attachment, but my... Um, my, uh, what do you call it? Your stand the mixer. mixer. You were just showing. Yeah, yeah the sure. stand mixer. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm here for you. It had a, it had a chip in it, yeah. and I didn't take it out of the box right away because it got delivered. Sure. And then I had surgery, so I didn't take it out of the box right away, and it wasn't out of the box probably eight months after I got it. Sure. And I contacted KitchenAid, and I said, you know, just told them what I just told you, and they said, well, just send it to us, and we'll send you a new one. Oh. oh, that's and they lovely. Did. Oh, I love yes. it. Oh, that's the wonderful. The customer service is great. It is. Yeah, I agree with you. This this stand mixer is like the Bentley of kitchen appliances. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love that comparison. I agree. You know what? Sometimes Thanks. you think I just want to do it right, and and I know I know in my kitchen, Trish, that when I get out my KitchenAid, mm -hmm. I know that it will be right. Absolutely. I mean, why buy anything else? Just save your money for the best, and then you'll be fine. You won't have to buy a bunch of eggs in the carton. Just buy the best eggs. I agree. I agree with you. Like, oh, I'm so And the glad. attachments, get, get, they get better and better and better and better. Mm -hmm. Like, it's something, the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> I agree with you. I have to know, what's your favorite attachment, Trish? Um, the whisk. The whisk. Oh, I get it. That's so great. What I do you love to it. make with it, Trish? Um, meringue. Oh, <laughs> yum. But I love meringue. Yeah. I do too. Oh, we could be friends. Um, we could mm -hmm. be friends for sure. Yeah, meringue party. Um, I know, I know. Um, Trish just wanted to say, I hope that, I know you said that you had had some surgery. I hope that you are doing a little better nowadays. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good, totally good. back to my million batches of cookies and bread baking everything. Aww. Good, good, good. We're glad to hear well, thank it. Thank you for um, asking me. Absolutely. Thank you for calling in. Thank you, thank you for speaking with us live on the air. Sending love to you, absolutely. my friend. Absolutely. Thank you. Yep. Thank you thank bye -bye so now. much. Bye, guys. Lovely. That's what the name KitchenAid does. Yes. And this is K48091. It's the KitchenAid sifter, stand, mixer, attachment with scale. You ready for this? We have 300 left to go Ooh, around. Oh, hurry, hurry. Oh, my gosh. Yes. We're saving almost $50. It's a three in one tool. Baking is a science. I love that you taught me that. I love that quote. Um, this is all about sifting, weighing, and dispensing properly so that your baked items and all of your foods turn out so, so good. We're going to come back. I didn't get to eat a cookie. Oh. So can we talk more later about the big deal yeah, and yeah. I could maybe have a cookie? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely have good a to cookie. See you, my friend. Um, you know what? Somebody who knows a little about science in the kitchen is our friend Kathy Pedrias. Hey, Kathy, what's happening on your end of the building? Oh my gosh, speaking of science, I just got into a conversation about boiling water and the elevation of where you live the other day with our cook fires here at QVC. So we are, of course, very social here on In the Kitchen with Mary. And as you know, we're always chatting live on her Facebook page, but we're also super active on Instagram. So if you use the hashtag ITKWM, short for In the Kitchen with Mary, then we can feature some of your items right here on air. Some of those foodie things that you're cooking or maybe things you're cooking with. So let's take a look at some of the things that have been made this week. Here, great grub delicious treats made raspberry and cream cheese bites. Oh man, that looks good. That looks really good. Um, next, MJ Roper, I actually saw this one when she posted it on Instagram. Homemade pizza night. She did a thick crust barbecue pizza with a smoked pulled pork, onions, peppers, and a little cheddar cheese. Look at that crust. Perfection. Square meal daily. Home in Tashin. My hat has three corners, right? That's what this is about. Made with homemade apricot ginger jam. Absolutely delicious. Um, that is very popular in New York, those two little treats there. What's next? Famous arm. Oh, these are my little zucchini boats. So um, I actually posted this on Monday for Meatless Monday, and I did uh, a Mexican-inspired zucchini taco boat. Super easy. I wanted to go vegetarian for a day. And then finally, we have Winnie, and she made Dixieland pork chops. Ooh, in her new, oh God, I always say this wrong. Uh, Greg, La Crusade, La Crusade, La Crusade, La Crusade, <laughs> thank you. Roaster, La Crusade, and uh, she filled it with tasty mushrooms and cheesy goodness. I like cheesy goodness. Um, all right, so Mary is standing by. Speaking of goodness, she's got some good treats baked up on this little table over here. So I'm gonna go back to the, tree, the chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, thank you, Kathy. You know what, too? I do the same thing. Whenever I see, if I see a word, I'll stop. Somebody help. So that was awesome. Um, and Kathy, it's such a joy to have her on the show. Um, this is K48323. And I had a couple folks asking me over what was my weekend on Thursday and Friday saying, you know, are there going to be any temptations in the show? You betcha. We have three offers for you today. This one, the first, is in Old World and Floral Lace. It's a centerpiece platter. So we love our sets, but this is a single piece to really help us decorate year round and to serve year round, but we can also bake in it too. So lots to discuss. That's why Lisa Lasort is Hi, Mary. Hi. You look so pretty oh, in your pink. You. So do you. Well, thank you. Thank mm. you. I mm. went a little breakfast club today. I, I was going to say, you're like ladies who lunch, breakfast, dinner, all that right? kind of stuff. Right? kind of feels I love the whole feels thing. Feels good. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Lisa Lasort works alongside Tara Tesher. She is the Vice President of Merchandising and Broadcasting for Temptations. This piece is perfect for presentation. There's everything about this piece just allows you to use it filled or unfilled. We wanted to give you exactly what you wanted. So you're asking for more mm -hmm. of those single pieces. I'm going to lay this down so I can show you. It is that low profile right there. What we love about low profile is you don't have to fill it with a lot yeah. to make it look like it has something in it. Then we recess the handles. Notice that right there on the side so that when you go to pick it up, do you see how easy it is? Because this is bakeware. That's a bowl. So it goes in the oven up to 500 the microwave, the refrigerator, the freezer. This is old world confetti. I see it as a giant Easter basket <laughs> myself, but lots of detail with the hand painting on the inside and the outside of the bowl, and then this beautiful rope border detail that goes all the way around. Now, this is a customer top rated mm -hmm. offering, and it retails, it could retail rather, at other places for $41. Yeah. This 
at QVC is nearly ten dollars less. It's thirty one sixty two. Remember, I said everything in the show's on Easy Pay. Oh, this one's on three Easy Payments Love. of ten dollars and fifty four cents. So this is a single piece that goes with our eighteen point eight million sets yes. that we have purchased over the last seventeen years. So we have the two most popular patterns from Temptations. We're going to start with the old one. Yeah. So that was the confetti that I showed you, and that mixes and matches all the colors. So if you've been try wanting to try a new color, that's a great place to start. Pretty pretty. Then we have some seasonal colors only available at this time of the year. This one is called Spring Fetty, which is all of your spring colors combined. That is the most limited. By okay, the way. got it. When it's gone, it won't be back until 2020. Ooh, ooh. All right. Mm -hmm. Underneath that is tangerine, and that's like that honey bell color. I love it. It's bright. It's happy. It's fun. Underneath there is eggplant. That's one of our traditional colors that we have all year round. Happy. Happy. And then we have two red choices. The top is going to be that bright candy apple red. And underneath there is just a little bit warmer that we call cranberry, a little more blue in it, a bluer red tone. Then we have where it all started 17 years ago, Old World Green, when there was just one and not 35 Can you, I can't <laughs> colors. even imagine that day. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> and then we have the blue. That beautiful Mediterranean blue, like if you have a house at the beach, that would be gorgeous. Classic black, I see this as a housewarming gift, as a shower gift, maybe put some philosophy in here, it'd be gorgeous. Underneath that is spice, that's what Mary collects. That beautiful pop of the pumpkin color, and then a really great neutral in the brown. Now, this is a two quart capacity, you said, that's correct? That's correct. So that really holds a lot. As we show you the last of the old world, take a look down in front. We also have floral lace. I'm seeing seasonals left here, which I'm kind of surprised. I know, and floral lace spring, which has these gorgeous butterflies. So if you're new to Temptations, floral lace is that beautiful engraved pattern on the outside, the beading at the top, and then you can see the hand painting sneaking out right there. So that is spring. That combines the lilac and the kiwi green. Then we have light blue. Again, absolutely beautiful. Underneath that, cobalt blue. That's the most popular color in floral lace. Then again, our two red choices, just like Old World. So on the top, we have the bright red. On the bottom, we have the warm cranberry. Pretty. Then we come across to the green. And then that regal purple that we call eggplant mm -hmm. in floral lace, I think it's gorgeous. Then at the end, classic black, that is what's sitting on my kitchen table right now. Underneath that is the spice. And at the very bottom, we have chocolate. Now, chocolate is the most limited in the floral lace. Recently, I presented a Bernini Piccolo fountain. And it is a little fountain. <laughs> You're actually scaring me. I, I have should no be, idea what that is. Because it's it's a little fountain. It's available on QVC.com. Yeah? If you, if you have a bowl with two inches of water, okay. you can put this fountain in and create, without wiring or plumbing, your own fountain. No. I referenced this bowl and this platter in that presentation because that fountain would fit so beautifully down there. You put in water, you put in some like rocks. Like some stones. You have your own, it's a bubbling shells. indoor or outdoor <gasps> fountain. Wouldn't That's, that be gorgeous? Yes, Just absolutely throwing that out there. gorgeous. This was what I was talking about during that presentation if you happen to catch it. But three easy payments of $10.54, not just for your piccolo, but this is also <laughs> oven safe, dishwasher safe, freezer safe, all kinds of safe. So don't let it limit you to just putting something in for presenting. Yes. You can bake in this as you well. You can bake in it. Look, I use it at home. I literally put my mail and my keys in it. So I always know where they are. But this is a bakeware piece. So by the way, help yourself because these are nachos mm. that are gluten free. So I love the fact that at that two core capacity, yet the low profile, you'll still feed a crowd, but you don't have to have the depth on a bowl, which is sometimes cumbersome. You don't want to fill a five quart bowl halfway, right? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it looks like there's nothing there. With two quarts, it's a great cheat bowl. And it makes lava nachos. That makes, oh, I'm sorry, Mary. No, okay. don't be sorry. <laughs> are you kidding? Uh, I, I could have stopped. Yeah, I okay. didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Then we do things right next door like we baked breads in it. So everything from your appetizers and your nachos to Easter breads and look mm. how pretty that is. So again, it's a centerpiece bowl, but so much more. Naturally non-stick with stoneware. So I can pull my bread out, look at the bottom. No hot spots, even baking all the way around. But when you peek in the bottom of the bowl, it's like I never used it. It's like you already wiped it out. Mm -hmm, exactly. Um. When you order during the show today, you will get it in time for display for oh, Passover, mm. um, for Easter, for Mother's Day. So that. when you're looking at your calendar, you may think, I have all kinds of time. But you want to get it home in enough time to be able to gift or to be able to plan your presentation. Absolutely. So this is a beautiful way to do it. We'll go through the colors sure and thing. the choices one more time. Just keep in mind, 
The comparable retails $41. Our price is less than $32, so there's a savings today. We also have three easy payments, but we have Old World of Floral Lace still in stock. And I love it because it's that low profile that you love in your two most popular patterns. So in Old World, we have the confetti. Then we have the spring fetti and the tangerine that are only available at this time of the year. It is most popular and most limited. Only six dozen remaining in the spring fetti. Okay, got it. Underneath that is going to be the eggplant. Then we have the red. Underneath that is going to be the cranberry, right peeking below. Then we have the green. Here's the blue underneath there. Then we have the black. Underneath the black is the, you can see it peeking out the spice. And here's the brown. Then in floral lace, spring. Again, another seasonal color that is only available at this time of the year. Here's the light blue. <laughs> Here's the cobalt blue. Red, cranberry, green, eggplant, then black, spice, and chocolate. I think black is it still most limited in the floral lace. Chocolate is the most limited in the floral lace. Don't resign yourself to this as your only option. Mm -hmm. You can have some fun color on the table and get it at a savings today. So it's customer top rated. First Temptations offer in the show. We still have two more to go. Thank you, my I'll friend. I'll see you soon, my friend. Um, you, you can come eat anytime you want. Oh, you I've get already hungry. had chocolates. That's my girl. Mm -hmm. That's my girl. I'm moving along. I'm getting some nachos. This is why we're friends. Yes. The whole list. Um, but she's also going to be bringing us the 10 piece nesting bake set in In the Kitchen with Mary today. It's K49010. This set, by the way, was designed with your more compact needs in mind. So you can use the pieces in your air fryer. You can use it in your convection oven. You could use it in your countertop oven if you wanted to, but it's all still to come, K49010. Let's carve up some trouble. All right. What do you say? Um, next, you got the right guy. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Um, Greg Shockley is going to see you. Hi, Mary. Mwah. How are you doing? Um, he runs an amazing catering company. He's an incredible chef, and he's here to talk to us today about Corky's. Yeah. This is Corky's Barbecue, seven pounds seven pound smoked ham with a honey brown sugar glaze. Now, there's a couple things here. This is the largest ham that Corky's has ever brought to us. Right. But let's talk first and foremost about a carving ham. If somebody's watching that's never heard of that before, can you help me explain? Well, as you can first see, I mean, you're probably accustomed to seeing kind of a more kind of football shaped, more round yeah. kind of one that's maybe spiral cut. Well, this is actually taking the best part of the ham right off. And this is the shape that it actually takes right here. And that's, so you're basically getting the best quality ham, mm. a little different shape. But what Corky's does, this is actually the ham that they, they provide to a lot of the really high-end hotels during the holiday seasons. And they use this on their carving stations. So this is just a little bit easier to carve, but just the quality is absolutely amazing. And I love the fact, first of all, this is cooked in the same pits as all the ribs, you know, all that the beautiful flavor, all the seasoning that goes along in it, all yeah. tradition is going in there. So this is slow cooked of the real hickory like it always is. Then it's got that brown sugar and honey crust on the outside. Now the glaze actually comes in the same pouch as the ham. So when you're thawing it out, just cut a little snip in the bag, pour out all the sauce into a sauce pot. Okay. This is a fully cooked product. Remember, this has been cooking for hours and hours in our pit. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna bring up the sauce a little bit and just you know kind of warm it up to whatever temperature that you like. Right. And you are good to go. It couldn't be any easier. Oh, okay. Sorry, my mouth is already watering. Somebody gets around here, to the other side. Um, you know what, too? This is thaw, heat, and eat. It um, is. As you were just mentioning, and or thaw and eat. This or just thaw and eat. You know, really, if you're if That's your family point. really you know isn't gonna have a traditional kind of maybe sit down dinner. Sure, sure. Don't even bother heating it up. It's fine. Just bring it to room temperature. Start carving it up. And you know, I really do love ooh, the fact. Ooh. As nice as it is to have a spiral cut ham, mm -hmm. I really like having the ability to, you know, basically, basically control what I want, especially if I'm not going to eat the whole thing. Right. You know, look, I probably eat, I love leftovers and I'm probably eat it for several days, but I may not eat this whole seven pound ham myself so and my wife. Good. So we'll probably freeze some of this. So it's, it'll freeze absolutely perfectly. So if you're worried about any, you know, this being a little more than you thought, right? Take half of it. Put it in an uh, airtight bag, put it in your freezer, and no worries at all. It'd be just as fresh when you thaw it out the second time. A couple things come to mind when yeah. I take a couple bites. Number one, it's not ripping salty. At all. Have you ever bought that ham from the store, then you make it, and then you take a bite, and you think, oh my gosh, how do I balance the salt? That's how we think about our sides typically with ham, is how do I balance right. the salt? This has rich flavor, but it's not a punch of salt. No, but Mary, that's the number one complaint that people get with ham. I mean, so I true. love ham, but I really don't like the salt. And they automatically assume, because a lot of hams are kind of cured, salt cured, that they're automatically going to be salty. Ours is This is not salty whatsoever. In fact, when you, the first bite you take, you're almost looking for that salt flavor in your mouth. I and waited. You don't get any of it. Totally you just waited. Get that beautiful sweetness. 
all that great flavor from the ham, but also a lot of companies kind of are cheating a little bit and they add that salt in there so that it helps retain water into the ham so that oh. increases the weight of it. So oh. we're not doing that. Look at you. How do you like would that? Know too. Right? I like that. I love tips. Um, you know what? This is $79.90. It's on free shipping and handling. We have three easy payments of $26.63. We also have ship weeks for you. So you can ship it now or you can ship it the week of April 8th. Auto delivery is also available today. So it's two total shipments. So you get that first one, but then you can lock in this price and your order for Thanksgiving. So the second one will ship to you in November of 2019. But the reason you want to do so is because you can lock it in. You don't have to worry about it later. You can cancel it at absolutely any time. This is how you can guarantee that you're going to get it on easy pay as well. When it comes to the holidays, you want to make sure it's as easy as possible. And Corky's is a tradition that people wait in line right. for blocks to get theirs. They absolutely do, and they have for decades. Remember, this is the number one barbecue place in Memphis, Tennessee, which happens to be the number one barbecue spot in the United States. So the quality has always been there. Generation after generation have gone to Corky's and they love the tradition and things haven't changed ever since then. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm -mm. That's what they believe in too. That's one of my favorite phrases. Now, Mary, take a look at this too. When you look inside this ham, you know, a lot of the Gosh, characteristics of the ham that you're not going to see when you usually look at other hams. Look at the glistening. Just the quality, there's actually juice coming out of this ham. That's not what you get with typical hams right. that you see. I mean, we're usually seeing this with, with beef items, but you got beautiful juice, the tenderness coming out. Now, if you're going to warm this ham up, so I usually recommend giving about two days in your fridge. Remember, okay. it's a seven pound ham, so you want to bring it up in your fridge just to kind of thaw it out. Then, if you're going to heat it up, maybe for, if you're having it for Easter or another holiday or something, what you want to do, 350 degrees for about 45 minutes, covered until it's warm. And you can actually take some of the glaze during the warming process or the reheating process and just kind of glaze it on there and it'll kind of crystallize up a little bit and and um, and then you're done. So it really couldn't be any easier. Brace to yourself. Up, oh, we got people coming on. All right, Brace yourself. get your forks, We've guys. We've got Kathy. Mine? We've got mine. <laughs> Chris, oh, hi, everyone. We found out that right. was a thing. It is. Um, we've got See, Kathy. Good thing we have seven pounds of ham here, Mary. Right, Chris Campanelli and Nancy Brand Mueller. Yay. It's her first in the kitchen with Mary. Is it? Um, yes. It is. Well, oh, my gosh. Well, so she has had the first here. bite. All right, guys. Oh, I got an inaugural yeah. bite. bite. I have to say, too, I had the carving Help ham yourselves. last year okay. from Corky's. And let me just tell you, when you get it, you get it in a bag. Take the bag, just like Greg said. Give it a snip at the end. Slide the ham out. All the juice that's in the bag is your glaze. Run that into either a pan or maybe a saucepan on the stove top right. so you can keep it warm, ready for glazing. But when you take the ham out of the bag, don't throw that packaging away. All of that delicious glaze is right there in the bag. Right. So just a tip. I know we've learned that from Jimmy and from Greg over the years. But just as a reminder, when it shows up, don't throw it away. All of that liquid gold is right there on the inside. So what do you guys think? What do you guys oh think? Oh, yes, that glaze is amazing. Can I say, I don't really particularly like ham. Because it's usually so Neither punchy, salty. salty. Yeah. I'm, I'm not really a big ham. I mean, I like it in a sandwich, ham yeah, and cheese. Yeah, sure. But... That is good. That is not your mm. spiral <laughs> grocery store. Mary, it has nothing to do with me no. holding a knife right now. No, right. No, no, right. Okay. You know how I know, really you know how I know <laughs> Kathy means it, though, is because I've known her long enough now. She's talking with her hands. She's like, listen, <laughs> this is good ham. That's how I know. She's like whole heart in there. They're ham hands. Exactly. They're ham all right. There so you go, Chris. Ham hands. <laughs> Um, people who don't really like ham. No, that much. totally. Yes, because yes. I don't either. It's perfect though. But you know what I do love? Yes, it's very smoked. Good. Very good. This is good. Thank smoky you. meat. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. totally, like Delicious. a smoked ribs or something like that. You taste that and smoke, but it's not overwhelming. Right. No, and yeah. it's all like the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's yeah. meat. You take a bite of that, and that is meat. And guys, isn't it cool too? How many hams have you seen that you actually get to carve up yourself? Thank yeah. you. So, totally you know, good. I like kind of thicker slices, yes. but I know a lot of people kind of want the thinner ones too, but now you can control and do whatever you want. And again, if you're saving this for leftovers, all you kind of do is just keep slicing away as much as you want. Yeah. You're How about, can we just talk about leftover ham I mean, Look too. at that beautiful mm -hmm. slice. Oh. oh my gosh. What do you, what do you think of the ham, Nancy? So it's delicious. It's, it's so really good. Delicious. It's really good. And mild, like you said, not too salty right, right. at all. And that glaze. Mm. And not too Perfect. sweet either. Right. Exactly. Right. I'm, taking, I'm taking a road slice. Right, yeah, yeah. You gotta. You have to. It's so um, good. Already five thousand have been ordered this oh, month, you. and I understand why. You know, we've got the. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 
We've got the Corky's tradition already working for us. It's the biggest ham that we've ever had from Corky's, and we have that great flavor of that little honey glaze. It's a little honey, it's a little brown sugar, but it's not over the top sweet either. Now the ham is what it's all about. I mean, we want to make sure of that, but you know, totally. the sweetness is kind of a tradition here you know, with the brown sugar on there. It's just a traditional flavor, which really helps bring out the natural parts of the ham. So happy. But again, you're right. We want to get the, the ham is at the forefront. We want mm -hmm. all that great quality to come through, but take a look at this beautiful slice. It's gorgeous. I mean, I just love talking about, you know, the marbling. Marbling is not something you usually talk about when you're in ham. You're usually referring that to beef. We right. see all that white kind of suspended right in there. That is the texture. That's the flavor. That's what makes this ham so beautiful. But then again, watch. It literally pulls right apart. Okay. And that's the tenderness. That's the juiciness. And a lot of those hams out there, and we talked about water being added and right. being salty and the retaining that water, those are the ones that are going to kind of be, you know, you're going to be like this because they're kind of rubbery exactly. and, and chewy. This one has that nice tender flavor, that mellow flavor, and you know you're eating a really great ham. It freaks me out too to get ham, and when you see the piece on the outside, it has a sheen to it. Yeah. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but I don't, I don't want to eat it. I always discard that piece. This ham, every single slice is fresh because yep. it's fresh sliced. You're doing it yourself, and it's a carving ham. So. There's nothing to trim and throw no. away here. In Everything fact, is food on your plate. I was literally just going to point that out. I mean, take a look. There's a little tiny bit on top, and we're doing that on purpose because we like all those drippings to kind of go down here. But notice, all the way through this entire ham, and this goes all the way back too, Mary, you're not going to find big pockets of fat or anything. So this is 100% edible. So no waste. There's no bone in here. So the seven pounds is seven pounds. It's so it's good. Gonna feed. So we were talking about portion sizes. Yes. So just breaking it down to maybe quarter pound slices, which is probably, if I was to do a four ounce slice, How, yeah. How many people can probably I serve? about like that. Well, if seven pounds, you're going to get about 28 portions out of this. So like I said, Maybe you're not having that many people, but this is, this will last for days and days as far as over as far as leftovers go from your ham and eggs to your ham sandwiches and biscuits. Yeah, yeah. But remember, you freezer friendly again. So if you want to take part of this after you thawed it and warmed it again, yeah, go for it. Put an airtight bag, pull it out whenever ready, give it another day to thaw out, and you're good. Well over five thousand have been ordered. Two hundred just in in the kitchen with Mary. Mom, don't order. I will order and send it to the house for thing <laughs> for um for Easter because I'm going to be there in April for Easter. Good. We're having the whole family to my All parents' right. house, but. Can Continue to place your orders. Auto delivery is very popular. Remember, auto delivery is two total shipments. You're locking in your November shipment. Thank you, Greg Shock. Thanks for having me. Wow, it's so it. good. Thanks, oh my gosh, you fed everybody today. It's nice. Um, oh. You know what, though? It's game time. Oh, okay. Chris Campanelli and Kathy Pedrias are standing by for Try It. I am ready. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know you have to go somewhere, but welcome to a little game I like to call. Try it. Today, Greg brought a ham, he brought some glaze, and he made a big mess. But I what thought are we you were the do? ham there, Chris. I'm Come on. the ham. Leave all. I bake in your pardon. <laughs> I like all the ham jokes. What we're going to do is we're going to try to take our 40 piece microfiber towel set by Campanelli, and we're going to try to clean up Greg's mess. So, Greg, do you like to clean left handed or right handed? Mm. Well, I, with both, really. With both. So he's hampedextrous. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Wait, what I'm we're going to do is we have some rules for the game. Because you are a fierce competitor, Kathy, you get to hop on one foot okay. while cleaning right-handed. Okay? That's my dominant hand. Are you sure you want to Left do that? Left-handed. <laughs> Greg, what you'd like to do is because you're hampedextrous, yes. you're going to clean left-handed, but from the side. So you have to go across your body. Oh, all right. Over. Okay. So like we have a little bit of glaze. Alana, are we ready? We're ready. Are you sure? Yep. Go! What? Oh, oh we're geez, moving the, the table. Moving. We're cleaning so much. You gotta scrub. You gotta keep going here. Scrub. What's happening? You gotta keep going. Towel. You gotta flip the towel. You gotta scrub. Wait, the <laughs> table's you. gonna fall All over right. here. Oh, I'd what? like to call what? that one a tie. What would you say, Alana? I think it was a tie. I think it's a tie. Oh, Greg, tired. Well, welcome okay. to try Ooh. it, Kathy. Once again, a fierce competitor, yeah. but you didn't win this I time. I know. I know. It's okay. We have I other games. I think I'm gonna let Mary have her show back. <laughs> <Are you> <laughs> All I know is that she also did that in heels. Let's just respect. Um, amazing. I love the games on the shows. It's so much fun. And is is Chris Campanelli a game show host for real? Like this should happen. Um, we have more games coming up and in the kitchen with Mary. But right now we're going to talk to you about Copper Chef because when it comes to the world of Copper Chef, we love them for their versatility. We love the fact that when we get a pan or a cooking vessel from them, that it's going to do more than just one thing. And this 
is the perfect description for it. This is Copper Chef's 11 inch chicken fryer with a glass lid and accessories. Those accessories include a screen so that you can shallow fry and tongs so that you can really get down in there and flip your food over and not have to worry about getting your fingertips close. Now, let me just focus on this for a moment and share with you that from one side to the other here it is 11 inches wide. If you are looking to where you can fit this in your countertop oven or in your regular wall oven, it's 15 and 3 quarter inches from side to side. The depth is about 3 and a quarter inches there. So yes, it's aluminum construction. Yes, we have the Ceramitec non-stick. And yes, it'll do so much more than fry. It's K47132, 5498 is your total price tag. And we have five easy payments of $11 here. Now, you can absolutely give us a call on our testimonial line. If you love Copper Chef and you want to talk to us about it, we would love to talk to you. 800 600 1556. Or if you just love John Dorenzo <laughs> and you want to talk to him today, yeah, you give absolutely us a call. can do so. Hey, John. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. I'm so sorry Hi, you had to miss the ham. I, it smelled good all the way over here, even though I had chicken going. That ham smelled delicious. Look at the versatility. Right? Look at this. Pan. I love this pan. I, I really do. I, I fell in love with it. We call it the chicken fryer, guys, but you can do absolutely everything in it. I've been using it every day, so I call it my everyday pan. Oh, I love that. Right? Look at the sear you can get on these steaks, and everything slides around true Copper Chef fashion. It's our square design, so you have more surface area to cook. Three and a quarter inches deep. So this is a deep step. casserole pan, That's really. really nice. But it's also the perfect vessel if you want to fry your chicken. Because the thick gauge aluminum core that you see around here, that's going to retain the heat. In between your batches when you're frying, you're not going to have a fluctuation in heat. So you're going to make sure you get nice and gold. I like my chicken golden brown. So I did it two ways here. We have some golden like brown. That. And we have some, these are breaded. The other ones had a different breading on them. So look at that. Oh, that nice. So They're good. beautiful. Right? It's beautiful such cooked. a beautiful way to do your chicken. Look at that. And this is a big breast in here. And I loved it. Now we could go right in here if we wanted to with fries or some eggplant cutlet. But look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? So let me ask you this. I love it. I'm seeing shallow frying in this pan. Right. Can I, I'm seeing sauteing in this pan. Right. I saw you sear steaks in this right, pan. Right, right. I can also probably put it in the oven. You can put it um, in the oven. We're I can probably, it it, is it induction friendly? It's an induction friendly. So I can cook with it on halogen too. Any gas, type of cook. Ceramic, I mean. Any type. Basically what we're trying to say is any method that you want to cook with this and on any stove top, I love it you can honey. use it on all, so I love honey I on love the it on fried that. chicken. Yeah, have one. you ever had chicken and waffles? Have I, I, asked I you love this chicken before? and waffles. I know. <laughs> the face. I love chicken and waffles. You wouldn't think it's good, you know, but it is, it's fantastic. It's Look at the sear so we good. got, guys. And I got that sear with zero nonstick because it's our Ceramitec nonstick. Yeah. Nothing's gonna stick to the pan. There's no chemicals in there, no PTFEs, PFOAs, nothing's, not safe for the pets, right, or it's right. not going to chip, peel, flake over time. Okay. You know, it's fantastic. Well, and that's the beauty of the aluminum core. So you're getting that even heat consistency. Um, it also helps retain the heat, but with that Ceramitec nonstick, it's really helping release the foods, but there's that induction plate yep, on the bottom. That's a stainless steel induction plate, guys. That's a costly step. We put that on there because it's going to spread heat to all 360 degrees of this pan super quick. It's also going to keep the pan durable over the life uh, of the pan and look how everything nests down, right? We give you a lid. Oh, does this flatten down? Yep, that flattens oh, down so it nests sweet. down. And that there I didn't even talk about, that's the splatter guard. Can you pick that up for me? You bet. Pick it up there. So that's great when you're doing things like chicken and you want to, when you're frying anything and you want to keep the splatter down. You could even throw it when you're grilling your steaks in there to keep the you splatter know what, down, you know? There's a little lip on it so it fits like a lid. Yep. But it actually has that grate so yep. that you can still let the air out, but it doesn't let all the oil splatter out. So that means you don't have to scrub down the kitchen for 20 minutes when you're done, which is pretty much which how is I cook. Pretty much how um, I cook. But you know what? The first day presented on those easy payments means that we get it home for something that won't break the bank. It's on five easy payments of $11. But this is Copper Chef. So we talked about aluminum, we talked about the Ceramitec nonstick, but Copper Chef. 
has taken it by storm it here in the kitchen world at QVC. Rightfully so, because you guys fell in love with our square design. You fell in love with the versatility. Now, speaking of versatility, I mean, where do you have a chicken fryer that you can sear steaks in, you can bake cakes. I'm going to go into the oven because we give you a lid. The lid is heat safe up to 350 degrees. I just seared these breasts. We're going to uh, make a nice cacciatore. And because we were here all day cooking by magic of television, look at this <laughs> beautiful cacciatore we have, right? So it's huge amount of capacity of three and a half quarts. Oh, look at that. that. Doesn't that look delicious? So good. It smells so good, too. Doesn't Yum. It? I know. I love I it. I love roasted veggies. Look at, that. look at that in there. Oh, man. And it's so part. Look at the capacity in here. The chicken is just fall right? off the bone. And the cleanup is amazing. And you guys are going to love this for more than just frying chicken. Yes, it's a great vessel to fry some chicken, but look at this. Look yum. at that. Yum. Oh, yeah. Yum, yum, love it. yum. That okay. smells delish. It's K47132. It's from the Copper Chef family, and it is on those five easy payments of $11. For the first day that we've been able to present it that way, Robin is on the phone. Oh, calling nice. from Massachusetts. Hey, Robin, my name is Mary. Please meet John. How are you? I'm good. Thank you, Mary. Hi. I'm so Hi, glad Robin. to speak with you today. And so have you become familiar with Copper Chef over the last couple of years? I, my, yes, I have. My whole kitchen is full of kitchen Copper Chefs. So I got the rope pan, the pizza pan, the water cooker, the rope pan, the ah. muffin. <laughs> oh, my God. Very nice. She is the Copper Chef. I love the Wonder Cooker. And this, you're going to love just as much because it does so much just like that Wonder Cooker, Robin. Sure. I just, there's a lot of stuff. I can't wait when I get to get one. I'm so glad. Nice, I'm nice. so, so glad. And so what is it about Copper Chef that keeps you adding to your collection? Um, um, the, 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 the deal that cleans up easy, does not stick, everything. I love everything about it. Aww. Wow. That's wow. so sweet. Yeah. Oh, Robin, I'm so excited. Can you give Yes, of course. Do a big shout out for David, for me and my husband, because we love to watch you and David all the time on QC. Robin, I will do. Thank you. You know, he's on Saturday morning Q right now, but tomorrow, make sure to tune in for In the Kitchen with David, Robin, because okay. David has something very special that he's offering on the show tomorrow for anybody that mm. likes the happy dance. Uh, okay, and by the way, I have his cookbook too. I got his new cookbook. I love his new cookbook. Aw, I'm right? so glad you do. Right? Thank you, my friend. Thank you for speaking with us live on the air today. And we'll make sure to pass you your so love much. on you to guys David. Have a good day now. Bye bye. Thank bye, you. Bye, Robin. Friend. Bye bye. Oh, how sweet. Um, I hope we get to talk to her again soon. Right. Um, you know what? When it comes to the world of Copper Chef, that's the thing. There are a lot of folks that imitate Copper Chef. But not everybody is the same because you can use it on all different stovetops, glass, electric, ceramic, halogen, induction. You can use your Copper Chef, but you can also cook multiple different ways. Yeah. So if you're frying, if you're searing, if you're sauteing, if you're baking, if you're roasting, this is not just about being a chicken fryer. Who buys a pan just to cook one thing right? one way? Well, you know, we don't at Copper Chef, you know, guys. We're all about versatility, <laughs> being able to do a lot of different things. But we, I like to also brag about the nonstick. Because sure. look at that. Try that at home with one of your other pans. I just dropped some cheese in there, guys. Look at that. Right? Ooey gooey cheese. Look, it's going to run around the pan. It's great for nights that you really don't feel like wash a lot of dishes. It gives you freedom of cooking that That's night. It. You're like, you know what? I could do a one pan meal in my copper chef. I know nothing's going to stick to it. And if I really just want to do tater tots, I can do that. I like gonna, how you think. Right? We're partying now. We became quick friends. Look at that. This oh, is part yeah. of the reason. Look at the cheese blanket. Right? That is. But that's a let's get a sturdy clap for that cheese blanket. That was beautifully done. Nicely, nicely clapped up, my friend. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I'm nicely done. While you're you know what? This is the 11 inch chicken fryer. We've got the glass lid. You get the screen and the tongs along with it for the first day that we're able to present it. Hello. On five easy payments we of did a little something different today. Woo! We did a little mac and cheese for well, Kathy. Well, it's a little different because you guys you wanted make? something different, so what we did. What you make? We did. Uh, uh, Help me with these. Raviolis? Yeah, those things. Ravioli We're mac and cheese. We're, We're a team. We're a team. We're a team. Ravioli right. mac and cheese. Yeah. Does Kathy know about that? I don't think so. I hear it running down the hallway. Oh, I there know. she is. <laughs> She's standing by to talk to us about something. Kathy, did you see that John Dorenzo changed it up? He made us ravioli mac and cheese. I can smell it from here. 
is so good. <laughs> um, you know, we are thinking about those summer figures now, right? But we still want to eat some of our favorite things. And actually, Marlene Cook has a cookbook coming up later that's all based on that. Those restaurant favorites, she went to tons of restaurants. It took her over two years to come up with the recipes that are in this book. And the best part is, is favorite things like your milkshake, orange chicken, taquitos, cheesecake. She's figured out a way to make those favorite things, by the way, color pages in here too, but she'll indicate all the nutritional information right in the book. She'll put what the sugar substitutes are if you're trying to alternate for, um, you know, Weight Watchers points or anything like that. That's all built right into the book for you. So, I mean, if you just take a look, let me see. Here's a cheesecake recipe, right? Similar to what we have. We have key lime cheesecake in here. She even does like breakfast foods. How about some mussels? All of your favorites, those things that you think you have to give up, she has a cookbook that kind of solves those problems for us. So that's coming up in a little bit. But first, um, I know Mary is kind of a hazard, actually. <laughs> Tripping hazard, and so we put Oops. these in the show specifically for her. Take a look. That's nice because she knows me, <laughs> and she knows that just because I was graceful in turbulence on an airplane does not mean that I'm graceful on the solid ground of my own kitchen. <laughs> I need some help. I need some assistance. I need some trays that are going to help me keep it steady. That's why Jeremy Parker Whoa. is here today. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, because <laughs> so many of us would love to have stability in a serving tray and that's why this set of two rectangle non-slip serving trays this is where we were this is not the non no this it is, is the not. normal thing this came from the cafeteria here the difference is this is a non-stick tray let me just grab da, this one da, da, da. and here it is it is not going to so slide around it's going to stick look at that Ta -da. Easy to serve the soup will probably pour out of there before it slides off the tray love it Yep. Jeremy Parker is a kitchen specialist Yay. and a gadget guru. Hi. Um, and he is here today to talk to us about this set of two. Hello, my friend. Good Hi, to see how you. are you? Good Hi. to see you. Happy Saturday. Yay. Um, this is a customer top rated offering. And do I see colors? Yes, we have a new color that I just what? love. Yes. I have never seen that color before. It's gorgeous. So <laughs> Jeremy's showing me that we have two. The small tray, this is the one up top. This is 15 inches long by 10 and 1 8 inches wide. And then the larger tray is 17 by 11. So two, two sizes there. This is the red. Look at this color. That's the new one. This is, by the way, if it's a Mark Charles item, we say aqua. You knew. I know. He gets it. Um, <laughs> isn't that gorgeous? Look at the aqua. So aqua. pretty. How pretty by the pool if you have one. Isn't that nice? I do not, but invite me over. We'll talk. <laughs> um, then we have it available for you in the set of two in white. Then at the very end, we have the set of two in black. Now, yeah. they're $21.12. We have two easy payments. Everything in the show is on easy pay. We have two easy payments of $10.56. But there's something very special. I think one of the reasons that contributed to being customers Customer top rated is how it is made. Yes, and it is made to last you. It is made to grip, not just on the top, on the bottom. So you see this piece here, this is all one piece of silicone. So when I flip it over, these little slots here aren't gonna pull out, these aren't gonna fall out, it's not cheaply made. It is one giant piece underneath there. So not only is it gonna grab onto your drinks, to your breakfast, uh, that's not gonna fall off or slide around, it's also going to grip onto your lap if you're having dinner and watching television, if we're watching, I don't know, maybe in the kitchen with David on a Wednesday night and we're having oh. dinner. Hello. Then, it's a you know, good show. It's not going to slip around. It's not going to slide off your lap. Also really good if you are a caregiver or a caretaker. Yes, yes. Really nice if you're serving breakfast or meals to somebody in bed all the time. It's also going to sit nicely there and not slide over if you happen to move or the dog or cat jumps up. You it's know what? I, gonna, I have to oh. say too, in the master bathroom, a lot of us have a little tray with all of our skincare and go-to beauty items and things like that. Yeah. If you put this on the countertop in your bathroom, if you have a space big enough to put it, this is going to mean that all those little bottles aren't going to tip over and slide all over the place. So very clever. Lots of ideas. Also, if you have a motorhome or a boat, if you want to have drinks like on your boat, you can set this down. It's not going to slide off. Um, you can carry this up the stairs if you're doing breakfast in bed take a look now you can see that everything here is on a slant it's not like you didn't have your uh v8 in the morning or something yeah. like don't adjust your tv oh my gosh yeah i just dated myself there but <laughs> this way you can serve breakfast in bed and uh there you have you can see that 
is not going to slide off of there. This sits on there. Also, if you're serving uh, cocktails, maybe pool time is coming soon. Yes. Summer is coming. So if you want to take drinks out to the pool side or just carry things in and out, and you need a nice tray, this is just the right tool for the right job. Agreed. Yeah. Um, this is something that I reference all the time, but I wish I had access to these when I was a flight attendant. Yeah. Those little trays that they gave us for the oh. first class service looked like, like this. this. And let thing me tell here. you something. And you were, when that ooh. plane started rocking and I had to do a coffee service, it <laughs> made me a little nervous. Yeah. <laughs> made me a little bit nervous. Um, so this is how you don't have to have those nerves. Let me show you. I'm going to bring you down in front and show you the color choices again. Okay. Is the aqua new, new? It's it's the it's first time I've been on with it, yes. Same, new to us. New to us. Um, new to In the and Kitchen with Mary. Mark Charles, you know, he designed these. He's a good friend of mine for 15 years. So uh. I think they are the aqua. Aqua. Yeah. So no, <laughs> let me talk about the color on your screen. So <laughs> this is the set of two in the red. You're getting one large and one small. This is the set of two in the aqua. aqua. This is that color that we were just referencing that we think is new. There are only 400 remaining in that aqua. Excuse me. Oh, oh. This you is go. your set of two in the white. And then at the very end, we have a set of two for you available in the black. $21.12. Now we have two easy payments of $10.56. If you want to pick up more than one, today's a great day to be able to do so. But these are also dishwasher safe. They are dishwasher Hello. safe. And remember, the grips are silicone. I'll get to that in a second. But again, if you're carrying and you're wobbling, don't worry. This will tip over before it'll slide off the tray. So that's why we've got everything here on an angle. And remember, this is all one piece of silicone underneath there. Did anybody just, did, did I just see something? Anyway, here, this is one piece of silicone. Nothing. So remember, these are made to last. These aren't gonna fall out. They're not gonna pull out on you like it was made cheap if this was just one piece for each slot. Uh, it is going to grip to the surface if that's on a table, if that's on your lap, if there's a dog or cat that jumps up on the bed while you're having breakfast in bed, it's uh, gonna, it's not gonna slide off. There you yeah. go. And, they're beautifully balanced too, I, as far as the construction. That's amazing. Yeah, they're nicely made. You could, you could like put a b b bottle of water on there and carry that out while you <laughs> have you stuff did, in your hands. Like, oh, I, I would find a way <laughs> to make a mess. I'd love to see you do that on a unicycle. <laughs> We're gonna need a unicycle. Yeah. Can we, um, in here for the next episode. That's in props. Maybe not today. <laughs> maybe not today. But you know what? This is such a great way to, you know, Mother's Day is May twelfth. So if you want to do breakfast in bed for yeah. Mother's Day, she's going to say, where'd you get that cute tray? And you can say, it's yours. We're going to tuck it into your kitchen. Aww. And we're going to tuck it in the dishwasher, too, because mom doesn't do dishes on Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> so we have it available for you. This is the small. We also have a large. That's what we mean by the set of two. So this is the set of two in the red. This is the set of two in that pretty aqua. 250 <sighs> remaining in the aqua. Ooh. Isn't that lovely? Then we everybody's doing one. it now. I love yeah, it. I really um, <laughs> and then we have the set of two in the white, and we have a set of two in the black. So <laughs> there's I don't know how many people whispering in my ear right now. It's amazing. I know. Um, 500, 500 have now been ordered oh, and in the you. kitchen with Mary today. Um, this is a Mark Charles Masilli invention. Um, his gadget guru buddy is here, Jeremy Parker, to talk to us about it. And we have two easy payments of $10.56. So that means it's a customer top rated great gift also. So thank you, my friend. Thank you. Happy great day. to see you. Happy Saturday. You know what? Happy Saturday. Next week, can we have some spring weather maybe? I hope so. Can you bring some for us from California? From California, please. California, thank send you. us the sun. Yes. Um, you know what? If we want to continue the whispering trend, it's time to clean that up. Because to Kathy's point, let me tell you something. After I cook in the kitchen, wow, <laughs> wow. My husband says we have the cleanest kitchen because I have to clean it every single time I cook. Yeah. Um, this is V35242, and my go-to way is with Campanelli Microfiber. This is a 40-piece premium microfiber towel set that helps you reduce paper towels that we're throwing away in the trash, and it also helps you reduce harsh chemical use in your home. Whether you're using it to clean the glasses, you're using it to clean the screens, using it to take makeup off your face, 
so easy because they are machine wash tumble dry. Could not love microfiber more. 100%. And the fact that Chris Campanelli brings it to us means that it just got upper level of adoration. Um, oh. Good to see you, my friend. Hey, Mary. Hi. Mwah. Good to see you. How are you? Um, I'm so good. Uh, Campanelli family. Yes. When it comes to the world of cleaning, mm -hmm. for the last 15 plus years 15 here plus. at QVC, yeah. you are the name that we've turned to for so many of our cleaning issues. Yes. This is one yeah. that I have to say, more than, way more than 55 thousand sets have sold. And, and listen, I mean, that, that's kind of that Campanelli family mission is originally we wanted to get rid of the chemicals in the home because right. our mom is sensitive to chemicals. Okay. But then we took it one step further and said, you know, all those paper products that you go to the store and buy, let's yeah. try to minimize going back to the store and buying those as much as we can. So we're going to show you a way here in the next six and a half minutes to get rid of paper towels, chemicals, mop pads, electronics wipes, dusters, and all that good stuff with simply using a microfiber towel. Now, if you want to show quickly down in front, we have two color mm. choices for you. I'm actually holding the Ocean Reef. Right. Notice their ombre shades so that you can color code around the house. Maybe these are the ones that you want to use for taking off makeup. Maybe these are the ones you want to put in the master bath. This is kitchen. However you want to do it, they're ombre shades so you can organize accordingly. Right. Also down in front, the second color choice choice that we have available for you is Desert, Desert Sunset. Sunset. Yes. There are only 800 sets remaining. We have two easy payments of about $10 for you. It's only day this month at this price of less than $20. It's approximately 50 cents a towel. Can't even go to the dollar store and get a, a value no. like that. Exa and exactly. And that price goes up in a day. So let's let's sh let's put it through its paces, yeah, right? Yeah. So a microfiber towel, why would you want to replace chemical and paper towel? Well, the whole idea is that you want to do it better and you want to save money, right? So this is axle grease on the window here. It could be cooking grease or soap scum. But ordinarily, what would you have to do? You'd have to go to the store. You'd have to buy a chemical that you probably can't eat. You're backing away. Yeah, you're, you're, I am. Yeah, I did. I backed they're, away. Because you don't want to get all, breathe in all that stuff. This is supposed to emulsify it. Then you have to go get the paper towel after paper towel after paper towel. This is supposed to kind of lift this and remove it. It's really only making an art project. This is disgusting. It's going to end up in the landfill. Then you have to go back to the store to buy more paper towel over and over and over again. Now, microfiber is so different in that microfiber is like millions and millions and millions of little fingers that are going to lift, trap, and remove that mess in one pass. So much so that I'm going to take this white tissue here. I'm going to put this on here and you can see there is not a speck of grease on this tissue Mary there is not a tool in your home there's not an old cotton rag there's not a sponge there's not you know a, a loop uh, an old cotton towel no. that will do the job like microfiber will in the house and again this doesn't end up in the trash it ends up in my washing machine and I come out with a nice fresh clean sanitized towel and I have 40 or 39 left to, to use them all around the house you raise such a good point though because a lot of times you see us you see us holding the stack and you right. know you're getting a volume of them but the thing that we don't get to see really until you get it home and see it close up is all of those little fingers yes the little thirsty fingers like millions of little fingers that are lifting trapping and removing and what are we doing we're using this on any surface of the house. It's microfiber and I'm only using water. This is a glass stove top. I don't have to go get a specialty cleaner. I'm only using water to clean this up, right? Here's the best part about it, Mary. I get to put this in the washing machine. I don't have to go back to buy more disposable products. And again, if, if your pots look like this, it might be time to have a separate conversation. <laughs> but again, an extreme exaggeration using only water, gravy browning burnt on with a blowtorch. But you can see that you can use it on stainless steel. You can use it on your glass stovetop. You can use it on your windows, any surface of the house. This is the one product that I have in that we have in our assortment that I use every single day same. in my house without fail. Same, same, with, same. With, without fail. Now we are down to two color choices. The one that's in my paws, that that blue shade, that blue ombre is called uh, uh, Ocean, Ocean Reef. Reef. And then we also have those Tuscan colors yes. of Desert Sunset. Um, 700 remaining in that Desert Sunset, but wow. this is no reorder. So not only is it the only day this month at this price, the price actually goes up at the end of the day. And it's the only day this month on Easy Pay. It's on two Easy Payments of nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Well over fifty-five thousand sets have sold, but there is no reorder on V three five two four two. So when it comes to a beloved offering, you want to make sure you get it while we have it. Right. 
And the fact that we are saving money, we have to factor saving in money. the money that we're saving on the paper towels that we're not buying. Well, and think about, well, first of all, it impacts your wallet. Yes. But the impact on the environment alone. We, I think it's Joe, you, you had a presentation with Joe yeah, uh, yeah. last week. I yeah, think yeah. he said 13 billion tons of paper towel per year that That's we use madness. in this country. Madness. Think about A, the environment, and B, the impact on your wallet. When you can use something like this that's going to go in the washing machine, just don't use fabric softener, and you get to use it over and over again. When you use this, you throw it in the garbage. You use it once and you throw it away and you have to go back and buy now, more. Now, it's not just the paper towels, too. Ooh. It's those replacement pads that we buy at the store. These guys right here. So the disposable mop pads. So let's say you have a disposable mop already at home. Don't throw it away. Just don't go back to buy the pads. Take a microfiber towel, wrap it around, and then stuff it in here in these little holes, right? Now what you can do is you can take it, take a little tap water, and you can spritz this down. And especially now when it's, it's raining a lot here in, in the Northeast, we have three dogs at home, and they like to go outside. And what do they do? They track in the mud. And we want to make sure that we can get rid of all of that mud. So now I don't have to use the disposable mop pads. Here's the thing, Mary. You see all that dirt on the studio floor? I do. That is not a disposable pad. That dirt is now in the towel. I get to use it put it in my washing machine, and I don't have to go back to the store to buy more disposable products. When I see Campanelli Microfiber on Easy Pay, it's really hard not to pick up more than one, so yeah. I don't fight it. Yeah. Well, um, it's let me time. talk about the color story, right? Talk to me. So we have two colors left. Right. I know we have a nice ombre effect in here, but you know what I do at home? Tell me. I use, let's say, the desert sunset in the bathroom, yes. and I use the ocean reef in the kitchen. You want to know why? Why? So I don't use the same towel that I used on my toilet, on my dishes the next day. Thank you. That or way I make sure I know. Because listen, I'm a little, you know, I'm a little loopy when it comes in the brain here. I can say, <laughs> was was the light blue the one that I used in the bathroom or was the dark one blue the one I used in the kitchen? I don't, I don't need remember. To, I, I don't even want to think about it. I just want to use the color and move on. That's not an area where I'm comfortable with a margin of error. Agreed. It's really not. That's right. You don't um, want your toilet bowl towel on your dishes. Uh, or my face. Or my face. Ew. Um, so, remember, you're getting 40 of them, and it's about 50 cents per towel when you look at this price tag. But what about when we have a little artiste in the house? A little artiste. This is cosmetics. It's greasy, waxy lipstick on the Formica top here. And again, all of the lipstick's going to end wow. up over here. So even if you wanted to use it on the countertop, all the way up to your face if you wanted to. And again, in light of saving money, how about the dusters? Do not use this guy because you use him, you throw him away. Take your microfiber towel, because you get 40 of them, yeah, yeah. spritz it with a little bit of water. You can see there is no dust on here. Now you get the dust you can't see. Check all this dust out, Mary. Look at this. All of the dust ends up on the towel. Then you put it in the wash. Instead of going back to the store, to buy more disposable I like products. it. 600 have now been ordered in the kitchen with Mary today. Less than $20, but if you want the desert sunset, okay. 600 to go around. Wow. 800 to go around in the Ocean Reef, and then no reorder. Remember, price goes up at They're the end away. of the yeah. day today. You will see these in the background of my home all over my Instagram thank stories. Thank you, Miss Mary. Um, thank you, my friend. We will see you again yes, in just a little bit. We're going to talk sponges with the Campanellis, but continue to place your orders for the Campanelli microfiber. Um, these sponges, by the way, last you years and years and years. It's a 10-piece microfiber sponge set with a sponge holder from the Campanellis. Just the green remains. They come in different sizes, which really lend themselves to be used in specific places, but feel free to use them all over the home. But that offering is still to come in the show. Well, I promised you something brand new today, and we're pretty excited to have Polish pottery in the house. If you watched QVC2 last night, you saw that there was a full hour of Polish pottery. We love Polish pottery here at QVC. It's all handmade, hand painted, and Lydia Kalish Giski is here with us. It is so good to see you, my friend. Oh, oh I haven't God. seen you in three years. I know it's been a long time, but believe me, we've been working so hard to I create know. those patterns and the dishes and bring them. And I hope you're going to enjoy them just like we enjoy making them. For oh, you. we're so <laughs> excited that you're here on In the Kitchen with Mary. And this brand new offer today, we are calling a round baker. But yes. let me tell you, it is 11 and a half inches long by 10 inches wide by two and a quarter inches deep. So it lends itself to so many beautiful things. I'm going to start with you right here because we have three choices for you. Look at the sunflowers. Just like you dress. Oh, happy. Beautiful. So <laughs> happy. Take a look here on the in, inner rim. You see the sunflowers. But then I'm just going to turn it so you can see on 
the outside, sunflowers on the outside as well. Aren't they beautiful? And then I'm gonna bring you over to show you this choice is called, is this wildflower? The no. The golden honey. Golden honey, because wait, I'm gonna pick up golden honey to show you too. Right here on the inside. Look at the little bees. See the little bees? Oh, don't worry, you'll see. <laughs> Aren't they sweet? <laughs> golden honey. And then I'll turn so you can see on the outside. It's not just hand painting on the inside. There's beautiful hand painting on the outside. That's golden honey. Aren't they sweet? So that's your second choice. And then third, quickly, I will show you. This is the wildflower. Isn't it beautiful? Look at all the reds With and the poppies. Blues. Oh. Lydia and with the daisies little bees here and too. the sunflowers and the bells and the bees and the greenery. Look at those fed ferns on top. Gorgeous. And it's just if you could just the smell them. Too. We can smell the flowers, I but know. we can smell the food that you <laughs> bake in it. And I have something. I would love to see. I was showing everybody the maker's mark, mark yes. on the bottom. Ceramika Kalich, handmade in Poland, Bolesław. It's the town that for over 600 years has been creating everything by hand. Absolutely gorgeous. Stamping technique that is so traditional, but is still traditionally put in the town. The artist one stamp next to another in such a beautiful line. Yeah. And look at it. I mean, to it's, paint this. That's hand so painted. So perfectly. I know. It just blows my mind. I mean, to create something like this that we're seeing on the screen right now, about how long does that take an artist to do? The artist, the, from the beginning to the end, is around a week. Oh, my because gosh. Because they have to, everything starts from clay, creating the from mold. So yes. it's everything done by hand, oh. the shaping, the firing glazing, painting, and there's so many, so much details in each painting that you, of course, you want to have them as art pieces, oh but gosh. those are functional art pieces. I have something in okay. the oven. I can show you that actually we can use that. Yay. Um, you know what, too? That's the and thing I, is these are hand painted. They are handmade. They're dishwasher safe. The They're microwave safe. They're oven borrow? safe to 450 degrees. But these are made in Poland. Oh, and by the way, on five easy payments of $16.90. Now, 25 mm. artists. Mm. Can you oh smell it? Smell this. Oh, this is not so only that it looks wonderful. beautiful when it sits in your cupboards. Yes. But this is fantastic for baking. It's the best baking dish you can have because not only you can bake, but you can also serve right from it. It's so beautiful. He said you do not want to move to another serving platter. Right, no, we can put it right on the table. Right on the table, from the oven to the table. Gosh. It's going to keep your food nice and hot. Is this sausage and cabbage? Yes. And is this apples yes. too? Yes, yes, the apples. Oh, and it's wonderful. a beautiful recipe that you can serve on your Easter. Yes. You um, can bring your friends over oh, and they're going to stay nice and warm. So even if you have fun talking with your friends, they can have a second scoop and it's still going to be nice and hot. And if it gets cooler, you can put in the microwave and heat it up very quickly and bring it out again. I love that. And then dishwasher safe. Exactly. So we love dishwasher safe. <laughs> yeah. Especially when we're talking about hand painting and handmade. I just want to show you again on the back because I know we saw it a moment ago. There's another word here that I would love for you to explain. Unicat. Unicat. Unicat means unique in Polish. Unique is done one at a time by the same artist. Everything has elaborated pattern, lots of details, and the signature of the artist that with pride and love put their name on each piece because this is a piece of art. And of course, artists sign their art pieces. Absolutely do, absolutely do. And all of that hand painting all the way around. I have to say too, how long has this been a tradition in your family? We started in 2001. My brother and his wife, mm -hmm. Veronica, mm -hmm. opened a factory. Yes. And a couple years ago, they bought another almost 100 years old, old factory wow. that wow. they totally restored it, remodeled, and it brought back to life because oh that gosh. factory almost was abandoned. Mm -hmm. And so they kept the symbol of the ceramics uh, 
right in the city. And so the artists, the 25 artists that work so patiently. I know. Can you imagine the patience of getting the detail? Now, we're showing you the wildflower and that beautiful golden honey on your screen right now. But I've shared with Lydia in the past. Remember, this is brand new for us today. My mother, we grew up in a military family, and my mother fell in love with pottery when we lived overseas. And when I told her that we had Polish pottery coming to oh. the not only the show, but to QVC, she said, oh, that's been there for a few years now. She said, I've already seen it. It's beautiful. Oh. Um, and this is something that she noticed us. Oh, absolutely. Oh, thank you. Thank that you. Mary. <laughs> people flock to get this pottery that live overseas. I know the military wives, they would they would rent buses to go pick this up themselves. So I mean, the fact that we have it here at QVC is such an honor. But the fact that you can get it on easy pay, wow. the military wives weren't wow. getting it on easy pay. Yeah. Um, and, and the pieces that we bring are beautiful. very special, very unique. You can style them first, maybe we can put a little chives, oh, pretty. You can put some salt and peppers. Love it. And you cut your piece and it comes out so beautifully and it's beautifully cut and i want to show the bottom because that's what polish powder is all about that's that right. beautiful baking it's nice and even bake and you can serve to for your breakfast for your lunch and maybe even dinner anything you put in it is going to be wonderful and oh, beautiful for sure this is the what this is the sunflowers remember we have all three choices sunflower is most limited this is the one that we're calling golden honey that's where you get the bees and the blues and the yellows and then this is the one that is called wildflower most popular oh, I, with the red with poppies the red, yes. and it's on five easy payments of sixteen dollars and ninety cents remember this is functional art yes i love that you said that Re it's brand new today a refrigerator freezer so you can make your ice cream cakes yes. in the freezer you can make your cheesecake you don't even have to bake this Wonderful. is the cheesecake that goes in the refrigerator. Yes, please. So it's perfect recipe. It still can be served in the same dish. So hot, cold, no matter what dish you want to put in it, it's going to be perfect. You know what would go well with some cheesecake? Yes. A beverage. Would you like to go talk <gasps> about the most? <laughs> um, good, so. Let's have a little. Let's have a little hot tea. Oh. What do you say? Uh, that's my favorite. My is favorite is tea. Is it? But my husband. He had a little influence he here, did he not? Big one. Big <laughs> one. <laughs> Very big. He's been asking me to tell my brother to make the big size of my favorite mark. I love it. This has a little chubby belly to it. This is Lydia's Polish pottery. This is the set of two large bubble mugs. Now this is their first weekend being presented. These are also hand painted and handmade. I heard that each one takes about 12 days to make. Well, if you call cutting the sponges and you put all the details, because this is everything done by hand. So when artists put painting, mm -hmm. hand making, the, the, the shapes of the mugs, glazing, firing twice. Those are twice fire. Right. So they wow. are really perfect for our use in the microwave because you know mugs, you of course you're gonna put in a microwave when you wanna heat it up even warmer or you're putting hot beverages. So you want them to stay nice and hot. I love all of the patterns. I'm and gonna bring every, everybody over. And so the detail work, the, sh the it just takes a long, long time. But I tell you, the artists are so happy mm. when they create in new patterns. And so we brought the new patterns today. This is brand new pansy. Which, this is pansy? This is the pansy field. This is pansy field. Look at the colors. Look at the reds and the yellows. Brand new design. Aqua and the cobalt are gorgeous. Then this is the strawberry. Look at how sweet. When I grew up as a little girl in Germany, we would go pick the strawberries oh, and yes. then bring the buckets home. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And they would try to weigh me because I <laughs> ate the whole day and they thought maybe I should pay for what I ate. It's fair um, because I ate all day. Um, but then here are your red poppies. So take a look. I love the fact too that we're getting such beautiful bursts of color, but no two are alike. They're happy, but they're different. So yeah. each one is hand painted individually by the artist. 
artist and each one is signed each one has a stamp from Bolesławiec and from Poland so you do not have to go all the way to Poland to get <laughs> them this is something that we were so happy to bring them here and share with you guys those beautiful patterns they just bloom on those mugs but this is also hot cold so you can go i have something in the microwave you've been so busy yes i have i well we were drinking teas Let and coffee see. is it in this one that is right here the oh, good soup this is a perfect nice. mug to fit the whole can of soup the whole can. The whole can. Because this holds 16 ounces, but it, there's a little room to grow. Yes, okay. there's uh, from 16 to 18. So that's why we said 16, because then it's very comfortable. Yes. But you can put the whole can of soup and have it everywhere in your house. You can eat in the office. And if you're sometimes busy in the office, you still can walk around with your mug. Yes. And I love have this. with your soup. It's now, gonna be nice and just feel this is, so good. This is hand-painted, handmade, still dishwasher safe, yes. still microwave safe. Everything. I can pop it into the oven too if I wanted to warm up something in the oven I would, too. I would prefer microwave. I would microwave's <laughs> easier. I'm with Lydia. Um, you know what too? The fact that this is a tradition that's 100 years in the making. Also, the fact that we have them on four easy payments of $18.24. There's a little ladybug that we're showing right now. Imagine the patience, imagine the steady hand, imagine the creativity that goes into painting many, many different mugs, but the fact that yours is so individually beautiful and different, there is a close up of the strawberry where you're getting those beautiful bright berries, the pop of the blue flower, Look the green, the they're so beautiful, oh. and the little ladybug. Yeah. And so they're, sweet. They just go with, you know, you can put those flowers when you have them, but when you don't have them, they're just going to be so beautifully hanging in your kitchen. Maybe you have those uh, rugs for your mugs that yes. you can present them. They're so beautiful and so eye-catching. They're nice and large. So if you've been waiting for those large mugs like my husband, <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> just love them. Believe me, they're gonna be perfect mug for your coffee in the morning, maybe for your hot tea. So beautiful. I have to hot say too, soup. I loved hearing your stories of your husband saying um, that he wanted more coffee than the mug that he was <laughs> using, but also he's on the go. And so he's everywhere. And, he's the, <laughs> and the mug is with him. Exactly. That's the worst part. The mug is with him. So I have to always put my <laughs> mug away because otherwise I'm not going to find it. Never going to get it back. They're in the garage or in with the car or in the office or he's in Alaska right now. So that's is why he I, really he's fishing in Alaska. Aww. Yes, he's a fisherman. He goes to Alaska for two months, sometimes three. Oh, so goodness. He's, he is he's coming home. So good. Yes. good. So good, that's good. Really nice. have to have yes. his mugs ready for him. Um, <laughs> so, you know, what I love the shape I love the story behind their creation but also the fact that we have all three choices available for you I know in front that we're taking a look in our in our series in front of the table we've got the pansy field actually the one on your screen right now those are the red poppies the red aren't they poppies. beautiful and all those reds and yellows and blues and greens and do you don't have to wear it to they are so nice you can make even toast sound to them so how these are absolutely, I love that sound too. Um, and I was dancing with these to show <laughs> that they're hard to tip over, I have to yeah. say. So that's a nice shape. Um, these are the red poppies. So you're getting a set of two when you order the red poppies, most popular in the show. Then we have the strawberries. This is our most limited. Oh. 200 to go around, that's where you find little ladybug. Um, then up top, that's where we have your pansy field. So pansy field, that's where you get really a multitude of color with the red and the yellows, already gorgeous. And all three are available on four easy payments of $18.24. So no matter which pattern you pick up, we have four easy payments as an option for you. But again, this is part of the Unicot. Yes, Unicot, very elaborated pattern. But look at that lip. This it. is what's so great about those mugs because they just so perfectly go in your lip and, and won't on my make shirt. any messes on your beautiful outfits, Mary. So this is something you really can have in the office oh, thank when you. you have your nice <laughs> dress up clothes. So yes. perfect cheer mugs. Cheers. And
Thank you, Lydia. Perfect, beautiful. Thank you to the artists for all the hard work. Thank you, well this said. Is artistry all the way. Isn't it nice to see Lydia back? Um, you know what? I know you missed a full hour last night on QVC2, so feel free to go to QVC.com, see what's new um, from the Polish Pottery Selection, and stay on the lookout for more shows coming up. Yeah, thank you, Thank you. Good thank to see you. you. Oh. Nice to see Hopefully the next time won't be three years from now. <laughs> I'd like I to see so. you sooner <laughs> than that. Um, Kathy, we love the Polish Pottery, um, and we love the fact that it's hand-painted, handmade, but there's more on that front, because when it comes to handmade, nothing says we love you like baked desserts. That's what we say in our house. Um, and the fact that we have Shireen Pavlidis here with us on In the Kitchen with Mary today. Hi, my friend. Hello, my it's sweet. So good to see you. Oh, oh my you. gosh. Oh, I can email this beautiful lady at 5 o'clock in the morning. She writes me back like that. It's amazing. Um, it's she is on it. Um, but she's also a chef, a recipe developer, and hosts her own food show. So this is a perfect fit for her on our Cook's Essentials team. And this is a four-piece silicone fillable cake pan. So let's talk about what all of those mean. Because if I have a metal pan, mm -hmm. what is it that I need a silicone set of four for? Well, silicone oh. is, look at that. So this is Beauty. why you want silicone. No greasing required, easy to remove, top rack of your dishwasher. And I want to point out, this is one box of cake mix. Really? Yes. Wow. So you, okay. I love that. One box of cake mix for each of the pans. So if you're making a two layer, you're just going to purchase two boxes. Excellent. So this is strawberry cake. This, I'm going to make a, a um, strawberry shortcake. Ooh. When I was sweet 16, this was the cake my mom bought for me. Well, guess what? Now you Aww. can do it yourself. Can you imagine? I mean, if you brought this presentation, because what did we do before? If we needed a fillable cake, we went to the store, we bought one. Exactly. And if we needed a fillable cake, you make a regular cake and you start hollowing out troughs. That never works. I dig it in half. I'm breaking apart pieces. There's nothing graceful about that process. But now, look at how professional your results can be with the help of Cook's Essentials. I think this is so smart. I love this. This is super fun. So if you love entertaining, <laughs> you love baking, or you're just that person, you love that wow factor. These cake pans take your baking to the next level. So good. So good, look how pretty. So that's the little fillable part. Yeah. And then you said it was a box of cake mix in this second one too? Exactly, so okay. each pan will take one box cake. Look at that, and then right on top. So look how beautiful that is. That's so cool. So with Easter, Passover, Get creative, super fun, elevate your cake to a whole new level. That is beautiful. I love it. Okay, let's just stop the show and eat cake. What do yes. you say? Um, <laughs> I love everybody just didn't even think about it. They just said yes. Let me show you exactly what you're getting. So here is the topper that she was just showing us. Here is a solid base cake pan, and then here are two fillable cake pans. So you're getting all four pieces. This is the one where you get the little ridge, but you get two of those, so isn't that a nice way to go? So you get all four in any of the colors that we're about to show you. This is the platinum set of four, most limited in that platinum. We also have them available in red, we have them in blue, and we also have them in copper. Now, they're $20.98. They're also on two easy payments of $10.49. I was reading through what folks were saying because folks are already getting these home. And I love that you said this at the beginning because that's what Shireen wrote me back about early this morning is we don't have to grease silicone. You might find that if you add, um, when I say grease, you don't have to oil the pan, you don't have to slick it down, because silicone has those natural releasing properties to it, that you might actually speed up the cooking process if you're using these add and adding oil to the bottom, correct? I can't even focus because that looks so good. Correct, that is correct. And you can see with the silicone, we know it, we love it, right? Easy to remove, no greasing required, Get creative with your cakes. Here we did a pinata cake. So when you Beautiful. cut this cake, what's gonna happen? It's going to cascade your candies. How fun for the kids to do a birthday cake like this, right? Look at so you. So you're gonna take out this piece and then all those candies are gonna pop out. So stuff it with whatever you want. So just like you said, Mary, so you have those two cakes that have those channels you can stuff it with whatever you want. Candy, 
jelly beans, chocolate mousse, pastry cream, pudding, you name it, get creative. That's what these cake pans are all about. You know what, too, what I, what I see here is a lot of times we see those pictures on Instagram. Exactly. We see those pictures on Pinterest. a recipe, Pinterest, that we see online and we think, I can't do that. You can do it now. You can. Because this makes it easy for all of us. Now, Shireen was saying earlier too, and I love this, if we have, if we get this home and we have questions, we can find Shireen on social media and ask you. So <laughs> cooking with Shireen, right? So it's Cooking with Shireen. S-H-E-R-E-E-N. -E -E Correct. I love that. Okay, so she said it. I didn't throw her out there. She was like, people can ask me. I'm like, girl, <laughs> we're gonna be all over it. What cake is uh, this? This is, so think about the kiddos, right? It's the holidays, a little art project, craft project whether it's your kids or your grandkids no baking required but use these molds crispy treats they can get their hands dirty get in there and have fun the kiddos love this so here we did a little peanut butter we stuffed the channel with peanut butter some chocolate a little candies around the border but I got to get one thing super important tell so me it's dishwasher safe microwave safe freezer safe head into the freezer <laughs> You know what? While she's headed to the freezer, I just want to remind everybody that we do have four colors at this time. So if you, oh, she hustled too. We have platinum, that's our most limited, red, blue, and copper. You're getting two of the fillable cake molds. You're getting one of the solids in that bottom piece, and you're getting one of those little flower-shaped toppers. All four coming home to you for $20.98. We have two easy payments of $10.49 available for you. But when it comes to, you know what? It's spring. I know it doesn't feel like it in our area yet, but it's officially spring. Did you make an ice cream <gasps> cake? Ice cream cake. Who doesn't love ice cream awesome. cake? Look at that. So fun. So again, because the freezer safe, put your ice cream right in there, melt it down, shape it right into the mold. And now we're, thank you, Mary. You got it. Now we're just gonna top it with another cake like that. This is triple chocolate. Look what? at that, triple chocolate. How fun, ganache right on top. Who is not gonna go crazy That hit me right this? in the ganache. Woo! Everybody, just absorb the magic that oh, is happening wow. on your screen. That's how we party on In the Kitchen with Me. Oh right? yeah. Right there. Wow, that was amazing. I know, I'm not gonna touch you. That's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna touch you. Um, you know what? Wow, Shireen, that's fantastic. Remember, silicone, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, freezer safe, oven safe to 450. Four, 450. Okay, platinum is most limited. We still have red, blue, and copper also. Take advantage of the easy pay. Wow, Shireen, that looks so good. Uh, and if you want to mix it up for your brand new silicone bakers, you're gonna need a great stand mixer. And KitchenAid is our QVC2 big deal. It is part of the pro line. It's a seven quart, it's a bowl lift. The little details here. The lift on the bowl lift is chrome. Ooh, the nice. accents are zinc accents. We have so much to discuss. What is the difference between the tilt head and the pro line? We'll talk more about it. We have four colors. Sugar pearl, onyx black, frosted pearl, and candy apple red. Um, all four colors still available. My line producer calls it race car red because it really I was is. That. Yes. It is such a gorgeous red. Now, first of all, I'm very excited because Nancy Brand Mueller and I have been friends for years, and this is her first appearance on In the Kitchen with Yay! Me. I'm so excited. Oh, I am too. Yay. I'm thrilled. Thank you for having me. Um, and Plow and Hearth is a name that you mm -hmm. know my family adores. Yes. And this is something that is the best of both worlds because it is from the amazing Plow and Hearth name that's been around since 1980, bringing us the best of the best for decor. But this is functional because it is. fruit flies and gnats have no place in our kitchens, Nancy. Absolutely, they do not. Um, Nancy brings us these creative ideas all the time and so we're thrilled to welcome her to the in the kitchen with mary family yay, yay. Um, so how does this not only does it look beautiful what does it do so it's going to in a beautiful way take care of those fruit flies that everybody faces you know we get the fruit from the grocery store from our gardens from the farmer's market and then you come in the kitchen and you see the fruit flies they are all over the place 
There's very unsightly ways to get rid of them, right? But how about having something that's really beautiful sitting on your counter for that time when you know you need to get rid of them? And they're super easy to use. They come with the recipe for the solution that goes inside. It's like the secret sauce <laughs> that draws the fruit flies into here. And you probably have the item is in your kitchen. It's a um, it's one part apple cider vinegar, one part water, and a little squirt of liquid dish soap. And you're going to put this in here. You're going to set this on your counter, and then the fruit flies are going to come here. I just can't believe how gorgeous they are. They're I beautiful. love that they're working hard for us. Yes. Um, but we do have all five color choices available. So I was showing you the purple first and foremost. Um, for those of you that love a little purple accent, we don't always get our accessories in I purple. Know, it's true. Purple is still available. Oh my gosh, Isn't I'm in that, love like with a this party, one. Right? <laughs> it, totally. Funny. This is multi, and mm -hmm. that's where you're getting those blues and aquas and oranges and creams all the way around. Now, right directly in front, that's orange. Chris Prime from mm. Lock and Lock. Orange oh, is her favorite that. color. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do have the orange available. It looks like that Murano glass. It's so yeah. beautiful. Um, then right here in the back, we have your blue. This is where you're getting shades of blue, some lighter, some lightest, and then some of those darker cobalts too, and yep. a little bit of glittery bronze. A little bit of glittery. That almost looks like druzy quartz. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, then green, last but not least, is our most limited color choice, and that's where you're really getting the color of the season there with that regrowth and that beautiful richness of the front lawn that hopefully we'll have this year. We didn't have much green exactly. in our lawn. <laughs> um, but this is $18.24. We have two easy payments of $9.12 for you. But here's a little animation to show mm -hmm. you what's happening. This okay. is what we're talking about here. So like I mentioned, you're going to take one part apple cider vinegar, one part water, and a squirt of liquid dish soap. I usually use about a tablespoon and a tablespoon. You are not filling this all the way up. You're only putting about a tablespoon in there. You're going to tip your fruit fly glass or your fruit fly sideways by take take out that t stopper and then you're just going to fill that reservoir and then Mary do you see that little volcano down there mm -hmm. that's where the fruit flies are going to go up in they're going to smell this like secret sauce that's in there and they're going to be drawn to it. Now you have to remember to put away the fruit that's been ripening on your counter, run your garbage disposal, clean out your garbage can because you don't want them drawn to that. You want them to come to the fruit fly trap and then the solution that's down inside here. So they're going to go up inside here and then it's going to be hiding the fact that you're getting rid of fruit flies. So you don't have something unsightly on your counter. You have something beautiful and yet it's taking care of that problem that we all face. Got it. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the fact that when the light hits it too, there's oh, going to so be pretty. a lot of pretty mosaic colors on the side. But this is such a great point. You're adding the liquid to the top. And right. anytime that you feel like, okay, it's been a little while, you just pour it out, rinse it out, and start over. Exactly. Maybe about two or three, probably three days, set it out on the counter. And then, you know, if you have a problem that's kind of continuing, like you said, just rinse it out. And then you're going to pour a little bit more in. And you're going to be pouring it in the top. And then the fruit flies are going to come up inside this hole that's in the bottom. That reservoir is in there and that's created by that kind of volcano that's in there. Got it, yes. So only about a tablespoon is necessary in there because fruit flies are little. They don't need a lot, you know. No, so no. you're going to have that scent that's going to be drawing them. They're drawn to the scent of kind of like over ripening fruit. Okay. So that's why the apple cider vinegar works. And when you put that in there and set this out on your counter, it's going to be drawing the fruit flies in there so you're not seeing the problem. I mean, look right back here. So I know that it's about six and three quarter inches high and about four inches wide. Mm -hmm. And if you think, ooh, okay, so I'm going to be trapping little buggies with it. Is it going to look pretty in my kitchen? Watch this. I'm going to yeah. walk right back here. Take a look right up there with your mugs. I mean, no matter which color choice you're picking up, would anybody take a look at that and think, is that your bug zapper? Right. I mean, nobody, this is a piece of artwork in yes. your kitchen, and it is glass. It is, it's blown glass. So it is, it's artistic glass, and it's something that just looks gorgeous mm -hmm. on your counter, even before you need to use it as a, a fruit fly trap, and after you use Check it as a fruit out. fly trap, you have something that's just really pretty sitting out there, and no one will know when you are using it as a fruit fly trap that that's what you're doing. Right by the fruits and veggies, because we don't have it in an aerated bowl. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's gonna ferment pretty quickly. Um, it's gonna turn. Yeah. Um, so take a look. Does that look like a little bug catcher in your kitchen? Nope. No. 
That's why Plow and Hearth is so good at what they do. Plow and Hearth is just this great company that gives you all kinds of wonderful things to help you add, you know, kind of special touches to your home. And they created these fruit fly traps because they, like the rest of us, yeah. love fresh fruits and vegetables. And yet, the other solution that people do is have that clear glass with plastic wrap on it with holes punched in it and they sit it on their counter. Yeah. Well, then you're seeing the solution to the problem. It's not very attractive. So how about having something that's beautiful that is functional and I love when Plow and Hearth takes functional and turns it into fabulous. I do too. Um, you know what this is the purple color choice for you. The one that I had by the fruit basket this is multi. Then directly in front of that we have the orange. This is your blue. Blue is most popular and we also have green. Is green Green is still most limited and we have 400 remaining. By the way, 400 have been ordered and in, in the kitchen with Mary today and we have two easy payments of $9.12. This fits in perfectly with what we're going to be discussing in our after show today for In the Kitchen with Mary because we're talking about how to reduce frustration, how to clean up the kitchen a little bit better, but reducing the chemical footprint in the kitchen oh, while we do so. That's so great. This I'm, is such a perfect way to do it. It is. This is a non-toxic way. You yes. know, you might have pet or small children in your home and you don't want to use chemicals you want to have something that you're going to use that is on the ready and that's what I love about this it's so pretty you get it home right now put it on your counter it's love beautiful it. and then when that trouble comes you know we all face it you're going to be able to put the this out and take care of the problem so it's one part apple cider vinegar one part water so tablespoon tablespoon squirt of liquid dish soap take the stopper off tip it sideways and you're going to only have about a tablespoon or so in that reservoir that's at the bottom put this out on your counter and then the fruit flies are drawn to this make sure you're getting rid of that bowl of fruit or eat it or put it in the refrigerator so that they're drawn to the trap and then that's going to take care of it they're going to get caught in there and you're not going to have to see that you're not going to have something that is unsightly it's just a beautiful piece of art glass that's sitting on your counter but helping you take care of a problem Nancy said before the show if you don't have any of those ingredients you can put a little red wine in there and then they'll go out happy yes that's true <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was fantastic. <laughs> um, so we have two easy payments here of $9.12. Already 600 have now been ordered in In the Kitchen with Mary. Um, so my friend, because it is your first In the Kitchen with yes. Mary, will you come play a game with I us sure on will. The show? Yay! Anything to stay uh, longer. So continue to place your <laughs> Yes! But it's time to play What? Is it? is it? And this game, okay. we have, I know, she's, she's okay. reeling it in. Um, so, Nancy, I'm sure you know our friend Scott. <laughs> of course. Very well. Yes. And hokey, of course, hokey, of course. Yes. we were chatting in the social notes oh, for yeah. a while. I saw yeah. people checking in back oh, there. Yes. Like, we've had so many guests. Yay. It's been fun. Yeah. It's nice. Okay, so what are we this playing? This is a tasting game. Okay. Oh. We are going to feed them, Mary. That's fantastic. Okay. Y'all have to close your eyes. <laughs> Any allergies Major we trust. should know about? None whatsoever. No. No okay. Allergies. Okay. Okay. No. Do I look like I have allergies? Really? I mean, <laughs> are you ready? Let's you ready? go. Okay. Close okay. my eyes. Just close. What are we doing? Oh. The taste. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. It's, it's one that you have to take a bite. Yeah, you have to take a bite. Bite. Just don't bite my yes. fingers. No. Yes. You ready? I'm right Mouth in front. open. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, for bite. you. Oh my goodness. And I won't let there be any crumbs. You're beautiful. <laughs> what do you wow. Think? Unbelievable. I'm Whatever it is. Chocolate. What did you get? Like? Yeah, okay. Sweet. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Can mm -hmm. they open it? You can totally look. It's marshmallow? You can look now. You can totally oh my You goodness. got it! Marshmallow. What was yours? Oh. Is there a coconut? A little bit of coconut yes. flavor in there? Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Nice. Marshmallow. Off the trash good. <laughs> All I heard Scott Winners. say is, can I have another bite? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He didn't even I open mean, his whole thing. This is just a test as we really? keep doing this. Yeah, really yummy chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very That's soft. A, smooth as all hell. That's a thick yeah. little marshmallow there. I know. There is. This That's is Russell really good. Stover. Oh, well. Mm. Of course it's up good. No wonder. Coming up in 22 minutes. Mm. Um, we have the, the three eggs that you can use. Oh! Thank you, Famous Yum. Arm. Um, they come in three <laughs> eggs just like this. Mm. You get 150 pieces in three flavors all mixed up. You get 50 per egg. Look, it even has little Easter grass down I, the bottom. I could save I could the sit egg. on the couch yes. and practically finish that during a movie. This is why we're friends. <laughs> this is why we're We friends. did a poll, actually, yes. in the chat about whether we eat in front of the TV and at the table, and I think it was like 70% of us do it at the TV on and our chairs. Like, so we get, get that. Eat. We get Thank it. Thank you for playing. Thank you. Everybody wins. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. See you guys. Um, see you guys. Little bit. Soon. Can't wait. You. Um, Kathy taking the chocolate. <laughs> uh, Priority. But you know what? Since we're talking about chocolate, now let's talk about eating what we love because there are many times that we go to the restaurant and we get some great flavor, but it comes with a lot of guilt. And so Marlene Cook has brought us the fifth cookbook in her series, 
focusing on our restaurant favorites and bringing them to us right around the corner. 80,000 copies have sold and already that many and it hasn't even shipped yet it ships the week of april 3rd so if you're looking to lower your fat calories and sugars but you don't want to give up on flavor this beautiful lady is going to oh, be able to do it you. for us hi good to see you oh good to see you oh my gosh well Mar you know what's exciting talk to me so this book and i don't want to make people feel bad because i have everyone Ooh, writing me now saying yeah. they can't wait till april 3rd I right because they've been waiting so long yes so in the last two weeks yes. i don't usually cook from cookbooks now this is a terrible admission for someone who writes them <laughs> but you know what you're so busy doing and when you get in you yeah. kind of just do your thing right yeah yeah in the last two weeks i have made seven recipes from the book oh i gosh. made the lettuce wraps i made the mongolian beef i made the hamburgers i made the onion rings i have been cooking like crazy you know why because awesome. my kids my husband they're going nuts for the book they're so, so these so recipes are out of this world good i have to say nutritional info with each and every recipe weight watcher points yes. with each and every recipe exactly. so let's get to eating and let's yeah. talk about oh two. and diabetes exchanges thank you so my stepdaughter has diabetes too. and gluten-free yes. this is really for everyone and what's super exciting to me, and then I do that happy dance, yes. I can slash like a thousand calories while I'm eating what I love, so I don't have to leave the restaurant and go, oh man, shouldn't have done that, yeah. right? And that's the beauty that's the thing. of having a nutritionist write your cookbook, because she also loves good flavor, so right. we're not missing anything. So what are some of the recipes okay. we're gonna start? Right. Look at, okay, so this Ooh, is getting you. to be spring. I wanted to bring you a couple new items this time, but I know you love this drink. I do, I love this it. This is the caramel frap. Mm -hmm. And again, when you go through the drive-through, you are looking at 525 calories. So we're going to places like Starbucks. We're going to other places like that. This is the time. You want the cold coffee drink? It's in there. You want the frap? It's in there. All of those things are in there. But look at this drink. You're going to save 16 teaspoons of sugar. Really? By making the switch. And we know we have that person. I have testimonials in the front of the book. Yes. Where people who wanted to make change, they wanted to make progress, were able to make it. And they were able to do it drinking their favorite things. But Mary, we, I want to talk about the air fryer. It's almost gone. Can. That's, yeah, I, <laughs> I drink it fast every so, time. Look at the easy pay too while you're placing your orders. This is what I brought in today. One, we have our chicken taquitos again. Now these are okay. from Cheesecake Factory. We're normally over a thousand calories in an order. Siri, five taquitos, a thousand calories. Why? That's madness. Why? <laughs> now we have the avocado ranch dressing. Oh, One man. minute to make it. Zoop. And we have the taquitos. Two fat taquitos and the dressing and made in here in less than 10 minutes, yeah. under 200 calories. We can shop for this air fryer early on QVC.com exactly. right now. It's gonna be the today's special value tomorrow, um, but 200 calories. Yes. How many recipes inside the book? Over 140, okay. over 110 brand new, Okay. and again, gluten-free, everything's there, and menus, Heavenly. everything you need for any type of progress you wanna make. I actually lost some weight writing this book. Ooh. Never done it with another book. Hi, girl. So this is, I'm glad you're grabbing this. So I'm thinking this time of year, what people are doing they're going through the drive-through they're going out yes so one of the chapters is fast food this is get this it's a chicken parm pepperoni sandwich so my son Stephen was watching TV one day and saw the advertisement for this boom he went mom OMG oh my gosh okay so we have chicken parm we have cheese mm -hmm. we have marinara mm -hmm. we have pepperoni mm -hmm. we used to have 620 calories now we're at 270 Okay. That's a fraction it's a of fraction. what we would have eaten. And you know what got cut? This still has 30 grams so of protein. Good. The protein is not cut. What's cut is the excess fat and the sugar from things, the things you don't want. Now, let's say we pair it with these extra crispy onion rings mm -hmm. that come out of the air fryer or every air fry recipe also has an oven. So you don't, you can make everything very simple, very quick. But let's say you did that. So these are 110. You have your sandwich, you add your frap. Do you know how many calories you save versus going out? Tell me. 1,000. You say in one meal? One meal, 1,000. Now- I could eat that all day. As a dietitian, what I can tell you, it's 3,500 calories a pound. Okay. So you do that every day, you are looking at two pounds, theoretically, a week of changing the calories by not doing anything but cooking at home and saving money. Beautiful pictures throughout. I just wanted to give you an example. Down here at the bottom of each recipe, mm -hmm. that's where you get all of the nutritional information that you're hearing Marlene reference. Also, you can see throughout the book, you get beautiful pictures, but you also get those conversions. Um, so if you're right. going gluten-free, you can have and those too. Yeah, so here's Panera soup. On the gluten-free, more than half the recipes are already there. The others is a simple change. And then also you have a dare to compare. So if you're wondering, hey, what if I went out and had that instead? So what if we went out to um, Outback? 
Mac Steakhouse. Who's this guy right up here? Oh. <laughs> Sitter buddy. So generous. David Venable leaving his review right here for all of you to see that this is a DV approved. This is her fifth book in the right. Eat What You Love series. These are restaurant favorites. Okay, let's keep eating. Okay, so this is from Outback Steakhouse. Oh, this is All a right. great one. Okay, so this is great. Again, 20 you, minutes. So if I come into the kitchen and put this together, I'm 20 minutes to dinner. I've got that honey mustard drizzle all over it. You gotta have some oh, honey mustard drizzle. Thank you. And <laughs> I actually went to Outback with my mom. Okay. We ordered this. My husband said, uh, I'd rather go home and have what you make, okay? Aww. So again, we're not changing the flavor. In fact, if, if I go out and eat it and I like it better, I want to make it even better. That's so good, and that's not a TV bite. That's a flavor bomb mm. is what that is, right? The mustard and the cheese. So they call this per Alice perfectly. Springs. Mm -hmm. They have 790 calories. Mm. This is 265. And if you do points, there's are 19 minus 4. So if you know someone who does the points, they're gonna be so excited. Or my stepdaughter has diabetes. This has seven grams of carb, 35 grams of protein. This is man hungry food. This isn't <laughs> tiny diet food. Remember too, we have five easy payments of $4.25 here. What? When you take a look, at all of the acknowledgements. Go ahead and Google and see the other books too. These are some of the best selling books that we have here at QVC already. It hasn't even shipped yet. Well over 80,000 copies have been picked up. 400 have been picked up just in In the Kitchen with Mary today. So this is how you get the desserts, those entrees, the breakfast, the happy, you know, the, the meals for the happy occasions that you don't necessarily want to give up calories yeah. that day because you're on well, a good roll. Well, and these are foods that I entertain family and friends. And I have five brothers. I have picky whoa. friends who are foodies. I wouldn't be putting it on the table if I didn't think they would like that and say, whoa, don't tell me this is healthy because I love this. So this is my 20 minute strawberry pie. I made this for my mom last week when I visited her. Mm. 20 minutes, start to finish, Mary. That's so good. Okay, so usually if you With go- With the crust too? If you go to the store and you buy the strawberry gel, mm. it's corn syrup and coloring and sugar. That's it. That's not good for you and it's not great. If you make it yourself, you're gonna add a lot of sugar. If you go out to Marie Callender's, you're looking at almost 500 calories. Right. And for my stepdaughter that has diabetes, that piece would be her entire meal's worth of carbohydrates, her entire meals. This, she's gonna be able to have and have a plate of food with it. Maybe have this, have a sweet potato, have a vegetable, and have this. So that's fabulous that you can cook for everyone you love at the same time. That pie is out of this world good. <laughs> like, I'm almost upset. I'm upset. I wasted all those calories all those years, and I yeah. could have been eating this well and cut calories right. and sugar at the same time. I'm upset. <laughs> I could have been eating this the whole time. So, this is really yeah, good. All natural sweeteners in there. Also, the wow. desserts in the book average 160 calories. Average. Oh, and by the way, Mary, you know what we didn't bring you today next time? Talk to me. We've got a brownie sundae that you cook in the air fryer in six minutes. Oh, come on. Wow. Now. Remember, too, you're getting all kinds of chapters of favorites here. I love the fact that she gives you meal planning the, yep. with calories, meal planning with your plate, so she divides it up for you. I mean, these are just some of the guides and the tips throughout. There's the, the, the breakfast drink that I just started with a moment ago, the fraps. I have to tell you, too, that it doesn't stop there. What about some fast fix fruit cream cheese Danish? And when you think about it each one comes with the nutritional information that's it, that's it. there's your pie there i love that it's called my pie <laughs> um because this is something that i'm going to make as soon as i get this book home i know so many of you have fallen in love with marlene's recipes over the years thank you so many of the hosts that have been able to look through this cookbook have been sharing with you on social media that this is going to be our new go-to. Yep. My father had a very active lifestyle for many, many years. And when I told him that Marlene had a new book coming out, he said, those are now the only books that I cook from. Yes. It helped him right. over the years. Thank you, my friend. Helped him over the years to help keep his weight down and right. to help take some weight off. Um, exactly. So this is how you don't give up flavor, right. but you still eat wonderfully. And well, now inspired by our favorite. 
favorite well, restaurants. Well, you know, a lot of people, like, I get letters all the time, and they're, right, and they're saying, okay, I'm on Weight Watchers. I have children. My husband hates healthy food, but the doctor says that he needs to watch his heart. Sure. These work for everyone. They're heart healthy. They're great for people counting points. And again, I'm cooking this stuff all the time. You know why? Because it's quick and it's easy. And I streamlined every single recipe to make it easy. Close to a thousand wow. have now been ordered just in, in the kitchen with Mary today. Close to eighty-one thousand. I'm just eating now. You're just eating. I don't even ask anymore. I just this started. Is, eating. This is Mongolian beef from PF Chang's. Mm -hmm. Again, twenty minutes. Sure. All of the Asian, oh, right, all sorry. of the Asian You're dishes. Right. So we have their lettuce wraps. Your chicken lettuce wraps. Oh I made God. these last week with turkey. Hold on. Hold on. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it does taste just like it, and like even better. You need to try that. Okay. So some of the times I went to the restaurant, I went to over 40 said, restaurants, yep. and if I came home and I was like, well, theirs was good, but mm, a little, little too salty, a little too sweet, a little not savory enough, I actually bumped up the flavor. So I've made the chicken lettuce wraps. This serves four. If you eat half of it, That's you can. My husband and my son split it for dinner. Guess what? The wonton soup is in there. And last week I made it with those little um, pot stickers. Oh, boom! Good idea. Ten minutes. I hope you'll take this as a compliment. This tastes like the least healthy thing you can eat. <laughs> Thank and you. It's off the charts good. That's like, what really I thought. Good. That's like, yeah. why I wanted you to try it. It does not taste like what you said. It has. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. By the way, it's Marlene, amazing. you said man hungry food. That's why he came running. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I looked around and I think I fit so that this, bill. This, so you know. this is another no bake. Spring is coming up. Summer's coming back. Thank you. You're having oh, a party, man. everyone comes, exactly. everyone's worried about what they're eating. They can be gluten free. They're low in points. Mm. Instead of 14 or 24, they have my four. Lord. Now, these are my key line <laughs> pie cups. Mm. This is off and the charts. When you, <laughs> off the charts. I when get you it. get oh. those, when you get those, get I'm it. loving this reaction. When you mm. get those at Outback, mm -hmm. they are four, 570 calories. I think if I ate right? what she made more, I wouldn't look like right. this. I'll be honest okay. with you. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> My jeans would fit a little better. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This is outstanding. This outstanding. is great food that you're not spending restaurant right. prices for. Right. But you're and you're also not spending all your right. calories. For well, it these too. are 155 calories. They have Come the carbohydrate on. of a single slice of bread. So if you need to make that change, you can just say, I won't have the roll, I can have dessert. And that makes it so easy because I speak mm. at diabetes conferences and I know how hard that is. Now, in the book, you have everything from Asian and fast food, right? Okay. You have your Southern, you have your American, you have your Italian, mm. like your Alfredo dish here that's normally 1,600 calories, that's now under 300. And you have your steakhouse, and you have your cafe, you have your coffee shop. What did I miss? A Mexican. So you literally have every restaurant that I would go to. We have our chicken and waffles. Um, again, you said 140 recipes. Exactly. And let me tell you something. This is loaded so good. up with flavor. A lot of times we feel like if we have to give up calories, if we have to give up sugars, if we have to give up all of those words that we associate with tasting delicious, that you're also giving up flavor, you're not. This is how you cut the calories yeah, without cutting tacos. all of the amazing and, flavor. You know, my boys are 25 and 26. They don't have to cut those things. They're fit, they're athletic. But one, they want to eat healthy, and two, they just love great flavor. So when I serve these for dinner, they're just like, whoa, mom, we love the food. That's it. They're not worrying about the things. So what I love to say with the recipes, they're easy, they're delicious, and guess what? All of those savings, they're just a bonus. They're really just a bonus. 1,400 have just been ordered in In the Kitchen with Mary. 81,000 have now been ordered from here at QVC. Remember, this is an advanced order price. So it's $21.26. But today, if you think, okay, yeah, I need a copy and I need to get a copy for my dad, I need to get a copy for my sister, they're on Easy Pay. So it's five Easy Payments of $4.25. These are recipes, these are books that you read about in other publications. Think about how yeah. good a book is to be written about in another book. Right. Um, so, Marlene, this is our fifth book. As we wrap up, what do we have last? Well, this took me two years to write. So, I mean, the oh work gosh. is there to make it great. We've got that lemon cake from Olive Garden, but here we've got cheesecake. So, again, here's another meal. You've got your cream spinach. You've got the steak. We cooked it wow. ten times to get it cooked perfect, saving a thousand calories. But this is the cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Now, I love cheesecake. It's normally a thousand calories. Mm -hmm. This is now again about 12 carbs. A slice of bread, but you can also have raspberry sauce. Oh, 190 calories or chocolate sauce that I make four. Why not do both? Different ways, <laughs> right? Four different ways. 
That one has a little orange in it. Thank you. So it's, good. Everything is delicious. Marlene, thank you, thank my you. friend. Always so good to see you. Popular again in In the Kitchen with Mary. You know what? Thank you, thank you. My gosh, we eat great when Marlene's here. Also, I know. <laughs> Um, also, you. if you want to check out Noshin with Mary, you can um, go to my Facebook page. Every week I post a different recipe video that I make inside the home. And it turns out this week that Kathy and I were on the exact same page because we both were using leftovers mm. and we were making boats. She made zucchini boats. I made pepper boats. I had these little tiny sweet peppers left over in okay. the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And so I stuffed them with leftover rice and arugula oh, and wow. a little cheese. Mm -hmm. And they were really good. Um, but they went quickly because they were minis. Whew, thankfully, I had a kitchen show the next day. But you can yes. find those videos right on my Facebook page, post them to Instagram, and more. But you know what? We've done a little cooking. Yeah. Time to do a little cleaning up. Here's the part we don't like. Yeah. I, but, but you know what? Let's do it quick. You know? If we can yeah. do it right the first time, it goes faster. We don't mind it so much. And this is GP66. This is a cleaner that we refer to as a green miracle cleaner. It's a set of two that you're getting today in a super size. So each bottle is 32 fluid ounces and you get the trigger sprayers along with it. But here's the magic of it. Mm. More than 620,000 sets have yes, been sold here at QVC, yep. meaning more than a million individual bottles. Yes. This is something that was only sold in industrial sizes for a really long time, and now you can remove those spots off of your carpet, off of your floors. I've heard of hosts even taking paint out of their wheel wells. Yes, literally. If you thought that there was a spot on your property that could not get cleaned up, you need to give a try with the GP66. We had this on In the Kitchen with David on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Very popular Extremely. on the show. Yeah. Um, and Scott Hind, now that we fed you a little Yeah, I, I, now I gotta clean up. That's the rules, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> to see you too. That um, is outstanding, by the right. way. Really, off the charts good. We yeah. are spoiled ridiculously oh, on the show. Yeah. Um, GP66, where did it start? Well, it's a family-run company out of Baltimore, Maryland. Okay. So, you know, it's a great American family. It, it's it's three generations. But what the big deal is here, this is the industrial strength stuff. So, everywhere else in the country, it's sold in 55-gallon drums. <laughs> it cleans 900 million square feet of, like, auto body shops, arenas, convenience stores, restaurants every night. But here's the only place you can get it in a 32-ounce spray bottle. It's what the pros use. It's what I use. It's what you use. We love yeah, it. we do. We sure do. You yeah. know what? He is about to show you a demonstration, but I just wanted to remind you, we have two easy payments of $13.45. Spray paint. We're going to let that really? dry. Yes, ma'am. And also Sharpie here. So what we're going to do is just cover these tiles with uh, you know, permanent marker, permanent ink, and, and permanent spray paint. We'll let them dry for a minute, and we'll move on. You know, you and I have been presenting this for a long time, and yeah, we, we would always say, it's what you reach for when you reach for everything else. So finally, we were just like, duh, just reach for this first. Yeah. You know, like, what are we doing? You know, so, and here's why. Because we've taken some stains and some messes, and we made them really bad. So we've taken an oven door, and we've baked on browning gravy with a blowtorch. Right. Way worse than anything to be in your own home. But when you have GP66, watch what happens just when I start spraying the GP66 on it. I don't need steel wool. I don't need a scrub brush. I don't need anything. It quite literally emulsifies and breaks down this stain that I could not remove with the spatula at the molecular level all the way down. The only reason I need a rag here is just to clean up the solution itself. Come on. Look at that. And a little goes a long way. Like you see us using it here on the set, but when you get it home, a little goes, a, look at that. That's amazing. I mean, usually you have to turn your oven on to self-clean, which means it goes up to nuclear level. Right. Um, and right. so it gets wicked hot in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. But then you have to use all of those different cleaners. And we tried scrubbing, which I, you don't have to anymore. Okay, so the permanent, I'm using yeah, air, quotes, air quotes. Air quotes, permanent. Is now dry. Look as I start spraying that, it just, it starts breaking it down. This is ink. This this is permanent. It literally says on the marker, permanent marker. Yeah. It's not so permanent. Watch what happens. Again, all I need the rag for is to clean it up. We'll clean this up, and that is gone and gone for good. So you think about that. If you get marker or ink on your laundry, you know, on clothes or on a sofa, something like that, you need to clean it up. This is the way to do it. Same thing here, spray paint. Okay, this is dry now. It's a quick dry spray paint. You see, as soon as it starts hitting the spray paint, it starts breaking it down. Right. This is spray paint. Like, how else are you going to break down spray paint? It's crazy. GP66, it's what the professionals use all the time, every day. Now, you're getting the two 32 fluid ounce bottles. That's these right here on the little oven door. But I just wanted to read you something. <laughs> this cracks me up, okay? I was reading through, Scott was, last time we were together, I was looking and I was like, okay, carpets and rugs, laundry, sure. pots and pans, greasy equipment. Huh? 
buildings and facilities. I also saw things like where where did it go? It says like tunnels. Um, there's a convenience store. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Lots. Yeah, Graffiti, right. yeah. <laughs> industrial showers, railroad cars. <laughs> if you own um, a railroad car, we got you covered. Meat rooms, <laughs> dump trucks. It says it right on the bottle that you're gonna get. Um, grout. I mean, bilges. I don't even couldn't even find a bilge. But when I look at this and I think forklift trucks, right. smokehouse tar. This is no joke. I think it can handle what's happening at my house. It can. And I'll tell you what I did. I've done this. Uh, this demonstration came from my own home because I, I realized it. What I was doing was I was cooking, say, say bacon, you know, whatever, yeah, yeah. something that smells. And I would clean the kitchen, all right. But then three days later, you would still smell the bacon. Right. Well, it's because in these little grease traps that are up in like your microwave or your oven hood, the grease gets into the air and goes in there. Well. Not only is it the grease, but it's the odors that get stuck in there. Totally. So when you have the GP66 and you clean the grease trap, well, you've cleaned out the grease, but you've also cleaned out the odors, and now your kitchen will smell great again. Look at that. You've brought this back to life. And, by the way, these are about 8 or $9 to replace, and you have to right. order them online. How about you just bring them back to life? And the other thing I just did, literally, my wife and I just did it on Friday, yesterday, was tile. Get yourself a deck brush. Get a, a spray bottle, like a bug sprayer. Spray this yeah, in your yeah. kitchen tile with a deck brush and go over it with like a Campanelli microfiber mop. Right. Oh my gosh, you're, it's, you won't believe the difference. See, you're hearing me joke around about, you know, the bilges and the dump trucks and all of these big industrial things, but is it gentle enough for my carpet at home? 100%, because okay. what, it, what it does is two things. It could be a cleaner or a pre-treater. So what you can do is, so what we have here is a carpet that we soaked with soy sauce, browning gravy, mud, and coffee. Okay. Way worse than anything in your own home. But this is the actual color of the carpet. It's an ivory carpet. It's not suds. These aren't the suds. This is the actual color. Right. So there's two things you could do, Mary, to answer your question. You could treat it like this and then vacuum it when it dries. Okay. Or you pre-treat it and take your Bissell over it, clean the carpet thoroughly. Again, you're eliminating the stains, you're eliminating the odors. Don't get me started on my Bissell, love. I right, thank you. You know I love my Bissell. That's why um, we love you. Know you. What question from Tom and PA. Okay. He wants to know if he can use this on decking, which is I know we were just chatting about, but could I mix a little into my power washer? 100% because I've done it myself Ooh. on my deck. I have a Trex deck. Great question, so thanks, Tom. So get, you get one of the ones, I know, uh, for example, Sunjo makes a great yeah, yeah. pressure washer yeah. where you put the solution in, dump a bottle of this in, mix it in, spray it on your deck, and then power wash. It absolutely takes all that green, yucky, yeah, yeah, slimy looking stuff off your listen, deck. Listen, we're yep. three days into spring, 100%. and we took a look at our deck the other day, and I thought, ooh, ooh that is not yes. ready for entertainment. Um, the easy Not only pay, can you do it, I highly recommend it. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Great yep. question. Yep. Awesome. Great question. Um, easy pay is gone here at the end of the day. It's two easy payments of $13.44. You're seeing different examples from around the house, but let's be clear stains on the carpet, clothing, stovetops, inside ovens, kitchens, bathrooms, garages, even more. Do I have to rinse it with water before? If it's a surface that you would eat or cook on, Thank yes, you. please do. Uh, something like your deck, no, the rain will take care of it. You're fine there. But Perfect. yeah, rinse it down. It really is, again, it's what you've reached for when you've reached for everything else, so you might as well reach for it first. 500 sets have now been ordered and in, in the kitchen with Mary to add on to the 620,000 sets that have already been sold. That's what you and your wife just did, cleaned up the tile in the grout. And that's exactly what it looks like. You take a brush, you, you scrub it. Real quick before we go, yeah, the yeah. Le Creuset chefs themselves, by name, recommend this to maintain their very high-end, very nice cookware. Go in when you've done cooking up, frying up something. You do have to rinse it, but that's what you're taking out. You're keeping them, and you're, you're bringing them back to life. And then again, even here, look at this. That beautiful pot and pan. You spend the bucks, might as well keep them looking good. I was there that day that you were told that. You should have seen the look on his face. Oh. La Crusade team was like, you know. It and, was oh. validation. <laughs> good so to see you, my see friend. Well, Thank I love you, my dear. Being here. Love you, too. Right? Um, you know what? Stay hungry. It's okay. We have lots more episodes of In the Kitchen with Mary right, to go. Is, are those ridiculously good Russell Stokes? Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, that was off the charts good. <laughs> off the charts good. Um, you know what? It's time to get ready for the holidays, and it's time to talk about Russell Stover, already popular in the show, right. my friend. <laughs> 2,000 have already been ordered oh my this goodness. month. 200 wow. just in In the Kitchen with Mary today. This is Russell Heigl. Hello, Hi, my Mary. friend. Oh, um, thank you. He is here to talk to us about Russell Stover. No yeah. relation. No relation. Just so <laughs> happens to be they they are both Russells. Um, but Russell Heigl has actually been with the Russell Stover family for four years. Yes. And I like to refer to you as a chocolate aficionado. Hey, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a set of three, those beautiful eggs that we've been talking about throughout the show. These sold out last year.
and they're now back in stock for 2019. So you get one of the eggs in green, right. one of the eggs in yellow, and one of the eggs in that pretty lavender. Now I'm going to turn, possibly easiest to see on the yellow, you see that you get the Easter grass in the bottom and then in yes. each one there are 50 assorted chocolates with marshmallow, caramel, and coconut. We can't wait to talk about it, but this tradition is one that I think we can all get behind. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Should we jump into the chocolates, Mary? I like that a lot. All right, all right. What I love <laughs> about this collection is not only is the packaging the shape of an egg, there's an egg on the wrapper as well as all of the pieces inside are the shape of an egg. So everything is themed. We've thought of all those details for the holiday season. So this is our mini caramel egg. And this is that kettle cooked caramel as we open up this piece. This is what Russell Stover is known for. Oh, Look at goodness. that caramel. And what you're seeing is that buttery smooth caramel. Only Russell Stover can make caramel that looks that good. And what I also love about this is it's perfect for children. Our caramel's not too runny. You can see it's super, super soft. It's not gonna drip on your chin. We've been passing down our caramel recipe from generations to generations within our candy kitchens. These are Easter Bunny approved. They sure are, I just yes. just want you to know, we got word <laughs> They are Easter Bunny approved. That's just one flavor. We still that have two more. That is one, yes. I gave Nancy one of these earlier in the show. Yes. She knew instantly. She said, is this Russell Stover? I said, yes. It's got that iconic flavor. Yes. We're really known during the seasons, especially Easter. So the next piece that we have is our mini marshmallow egg. You're going to be able to identify this piece in that beautiful foil blue wrapper. You see that beautiful marshmallow design there. And when you open it up, you see this beautiful marshmallow piece that's the shape of an egg. And what I love about our marshmallow Shoot. is that it has this wonderful, crisp, light shell of milk chocolate on the outside. But the magic is really when you open it up. It's you can true. see how fresh and crisp that piece is and how ooey gooey that marshmallow is. There is a lot of marshmallow out there that's kind of dry and rubbery, but you can see just how fresh our marshmallow is. It looks so good. Look at that, <laughs> yes. Only Russell Stover can make marshmallow like that. In fact, we only make marshmallow largely during the seasons. So we're making it now for Easter, but we won't be making our marshmallow again largely until the fall time. So we're gonna give you five extra pieces of marshmallow in each of these jumbo eggs. I got spontaneously warm. <laughs> that was fantastic. Isn't that amazing? Yes, yes. And yes. you know what, I love what you said about the ratio of chocolate yep. to marshmallow, because in the marshmallow, you wanna have a balance of both. You and do. all the flavors are like that, but the fact that you get that little bit of a lighter chocolate coating around the marshmallow, yep. Look at that, yeah. You can see just how fresh these are. Absolutely fresh right from our candy kitchens. Yep, so that is the marshmallow. And I love this piece because it has a very thin shell of, of milk chocolate. Russell, you're hurting <laughs> look us at, right now. Yes, In look a at nice how way, but fresh it, that is. Oh, my gosh, there's something about Russell's yep, over marshmallow. That is what marshmallow dreams are made of yes. right there. Um, you know what, too? The fact that you put the sweet coconut with the dark, dark chocolate, chocolate also means it balances genius. it out. Yes. Candy genius. Yep. So that's the next piece is okay. our dark chocolate mini coconut piece. So you'll find this in that beautiful blue wrapper, the coconut. And again, the piece of coconut is the shape of an egg. So, so well themed for the Easter season. And what I love about this piece is we talked about how fresh that marshmallow was. Yes. But you're going to see just how fresh this coconut is too. So good. Look at that. You're getting that tropically sweet, light and fluffy coconut, but then we're smothering it in our dark chocolate from Russell Stover. And a lot of dark chocolate can sometimes be bitter. Ours is our signature dark chocolate. It's really rich and actually slightly sweet. I just want to live in here amongst the eggs. I just want to live right, right in here, between the eggs. Right in I think I should join you on the other side. I want to live there too. And just have all of that milk, chocolate, and coconut, and a little caramel marshmallow. So good. Oh, I'm sorry. I was dreaming. Yes. Russell Stover dreams. Um, you know what? You're getting 150 pieces of chocolate, yes. all individually wrapped. Each egg has 50 pieces mixed, mixed up on inside. the inside. So yep. you get assorted on e inside each egg. There's also a little Easter grass in each egg. Here's the thing too, three easy payments of $16.66. So if you want to share, if you want to gift, I know my whole family's getting together on Easter weekend oh, and we're wow. going to be partying hard in yes. Alabama. Um, but you know what? Maybe underneath three of the plates, you put a little colored dot and then whomever oh. at the end of the meal has a little dot underneath their That's plate, they get to idea. take one of the eggs. That's a great idea. would that be fun? Yes. 
absolutely. Um, golden egg. Oh, um, perfect. You know yeah. what? This could be the adult Easter basket. This would be a great addition to the little one's Easter basket. But yes. each one, this one's less than $16.70. This one's less than $16.70. This one's less than $16.70. So loaded up with chocolate. This is a almost 100 year tradition yes. from Russell Stover. Yeah, we've been around for almost 100 years. And what I love about this collection, eat. too, what am I doing? you're getting three. So think of Easter gifting. Think of Easter egg hunts. All of these pieces will fit perfectly in all those plastic eggs that so many of us have, as well as um, Easter brunch. You know, perfect thing to put on your table and actually decorate with the chocolate as well. You know, I I enjoy our friendship very much, <laughs> and I do listen to you when you speak. But when there's chocolate, <laughs> chocolate involved, chocolate involved, it gets a little hard, gets a little it, distracting. I am right? so sorry. I do start yes. dancing around a little bit. Come on in, Lisa. Come on Lestor. in. Yes. I have come to. on in, Kathy Pedrias. Yay. Which have you tried these before? Not. Okay, come in. Oh, Which please. one do you want to try this time? Um, I know I love the coconut. I want to oh try God. the marshmallow. Sure, try the marshmallow. Yes. That one you'll that? find in the blue I wrapper right here. Blue wrapper. Yes. Did you really? Yes, I did because I have um, four children mm -hmm. and everybody gets an Easter basket. But very honestly, what I spend on one basket, this is so economical. It is. It's and it's value. all done for me. Yes, mm -hmm. and it includes it's that three of them. Too. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Get all three. Get I mean, all three. And I'm going to just add a little gift card in. Oh, and you then said, my Easter wow. basket's done. How many sets are remaining, Scott? 2,400 are remaining. Oh, my goodness. Love this marshmallow. We're supposed to present this tomorrow. <laughs> I hope. Might not be time. I know. Um, three easy mm. payments. So think about it this way. Each piece of chocolate is individually wrapped. Look at how fluffy. I know. It's so, so much marshmallow. Mm -hmm. um, and then think about it, too. Russell brought this to my attention a moment ago. Think about the balance of the chocolate mm -hmm. to the ingredients on the inside. The chocolate's a little thinner around mm -hmm. the marshmallow mm -hmm. for balance. Yes. And it's then the chocolate is a little. Yeah. Yeah, but it's mm -hmm. still that perfect ratio. Yep. Oh my God. You know, this is did... that kettle cooked caramel that you're seeing right there. Oh, it's that is yummy. That buttery, smooth kettle cooked caramel that only Russell Stover can make. We've been passing down our caramel recipes mm -hmm. from generation <laughs> to generation in our candy kitchens. Mm -hmm. I'm just oh eating. my goodness. We um, did a, uh, a poll in ooh, the chat earlier. Yes about whether people prefer like solid chocolates or the filled ones, mm. and it was overwhelmingly Wellming. filled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We like oh the my filled. Gosh. Look at the size of that marshmallow. It's, so it's good. fluffy. Fresh, yes. Is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fresh. Absolutely fresh. Fresh, fresh. marshmallow. It's so I have to show you. Wait. I hate to destroy this one because I know I'm going to get in there, but look at that. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, Mary. Yep. Absolutely. I wow. stuffed it in my fresh. mouth hoping you'd ask me to show the inside so that I could get a second one. <laughs> <laughs> they may need to know about it. I was now. trying to strategize. Yes. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. For later. Maybe I'll just not account. wait for you to ask me because I, you know, I like to think ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you work. Um, you know what? Too mix all three. You get a mix of all three flavors you in do. each egg. In each one. Yes, that's marshmallow in my mouth. I was raised better than this. Twenty-three hundred <laughs> are now remaining. Um, this is such a beautiful tradition. Sold out last year. This is your time to place your order because it will be in our big cook event tomorrow. If there are any if left by enough, tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and Russell, we love spending time with you. Oh, Forgive me, I've chopped Thank you so milk. much, Mary. It's so good thank to you. see you, my yes. friend. Very popular and in the kitchen with Mary today. Goodness. The fact that they're on free shipping and handling, too, means that now there's absolutely no reason to go to the store ever. Um, <laughs> chocolate, well fed. Oh. How does this, I mean, every week? Every week I come home and my husband says, What do you want to do for dinner? And I say, I'm so full. I want to lay so down. Full. I need a nap. <laughs> totally. Um, hi, Lisa. Hi, Mayor. How are you? I love seeing you, my friend. You um, too. You know what? She works alongside with Tara. They read every single suggestion and they hear every single word that you say that you want from the Temptations line. This is one of the sets that they came up with in response to overwhelming comments for. We would love some baking sets, some baking pieces that not only nest, but fit into my countertop oven, mm -hmm. my air fryer, and so much more. That's exactly what this Temptations 11 by 7, 10 piece nesting bake set in Old World and Floral Lace is all about. And that's exactly right. And we do read every single thing that you have to say because you're so smart. And after 17 years, you know what's happening? The customer is driving the brand. And that's what love we it. love about it because wow. you can get everything from dinnerware to bakeware to tabletop to bowls, to linens yeah. in this entire collection that we have. Totally. Okay, so what you see on your screen is a less than $60 price tag for a 10-piece nesting bake set. I just want you to keep some things in mind. Passover, 
Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, and beyond. This is a great set for two and up. And these sizes, I don't see often in other sets. Yes, and this was your request. You wanted some of those smaller sizes that are going to fit into things like your microwave, your mm. toaster oven, your air fryer. So we're going to start. The heart of the set is going to be that two and a half quart baker. Love that because that's an 11 by 7. The second most requested size. It's going to come, Mary, with a deep dish lid. It. Look at that. It's a jelly roll pan. It's a trivet. It's a cutting board. Or it can now live the top. Of that baker and I can bake on the bottom and the top at the same time. Then you're going to get two loaf pans. Number number one customer request who love to bake are our loaf pans. These are just under a quart a piece so they're not just for baking they're great for serving like side dishes and vegetables mm -hmm. and salads. They also come with their own lidets. Check that out. These are little platters as well. And then we're giving you four pieces that we've never done before. Four ounces in capacity, these square ramekins. And when I want to nest this all together, I'm going to do this real quickly so you can see. I can take an almost five quart capacity and I can nest right down inside of just that 11 by 7 baker. Every single piece comes with a snap on storage cover. Check awesome. that out. Some. Isn't that great? Uh, you know what else I love too? I love five easy payments of $12. Oh, yeah. So picking up more than one set for gifting is a great way to go. I just want y'all to know that while you were going through those pieces, this yes. oven is on. And I was thinking that I ate so much chocolate that I was about to burst into flames. Um, <laughs> not the case. Um, but we do have, uh, oh, look how much cooler it is when you take a step to the love left. Love that. Not bright. I'm sorry, Mary. <laughs> not bright. Don't be sorry. That took me a solid 60 seconds to figure out. Um, we have color choices for everybody, too. Yeah. Two most popular patterns. Yes. And we still have options. And the old world and the floral lace. This has been so incredibly popular. So in the floral lace, we have the black. Mm. Great shower, wedding. What an amazing gift that is. Underneath that is the eggplant. Then we have the red. And here's the cranberry. I need to tell you one thing I forgot to tell you. We're not bringing this set back. Really? When this set is gone, the set is gone. Mm hmm. Floral lace green is most limited, okay. by the way. Okay. Floral lace green, floral lace light blue. Beautiful. So on a spring table. Then we have the chocolate, which is a fantastic neutral. Look at that beautiful etching and the beading at the top. And then at the bottom, we have the spice. Then our second most popular pattern, or our other most popular pattern, is Old World. You can see all the hand painting and the charm, the beautiful rope border at the top in the black. Here's Mary's color, the spice. And underneath that, we have a great neutral in what we call brown. Then we have our two reds, the bright candy apple red at the top, the warm cranberry at the bottom. Then we have the green, beautiful in the blue, very coastal, and at the very bottom, that regal eggplant. That blue is most popular. Okay, got it. There are three dozen to That's go around it. in that blue. Mm -mm -mm. You can fit all four ramekins in is the, which air fryer size is this? This looks like um, the big one. Um, we're gonna call it the big one. We're gonna, it's the Cook's Essentials big one. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Easily found on QVC.com. <laughs> um, but no, we have three different sizes. That's the largest. <laughs> Here's what I want to show you. That's right. So we <laughs> specifically made these sizes to fit into the way that you bake and that you cook now. What I love about it, though, is that you're still going to get that naturally nonstick. So cool. It's going to pop right out of the bottom. And look at that. I have four individual desserts, and that's just four pieces of that large set. That's what I love. Yes. And so you can tuck those in there. Think about your mug cake recipes. Oh, yeah. You could fit those into your smaller ramekin sizes. Isn't that nice? But then what about the countertop oven? I'll get this out oh, of your thanks, way. Oh, thanks, Mary. Um, wait a minute. Let me and close that so it doesn't. Thank you. Light us up. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. I want to show you how it will fit into the smaller spaces that you're looking for. So these pieces will fit into toaster ovens. They fit into most microwave ovens, which is amazing especially as we're getting to the warmer months and you don't want to turn your oven on. Sure. Right, you're using more things like convection, convection. But look at this, baking on the bottom and the top at the same time. And then, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Gluten-free mac and cheese. Hi. Thank you. I like going from Russell Stover's chocolate-covered marshmallows to mac and cheese. Listen, that's how I party. Uh, I actually have a tape measure. Wait, what are we doing? And I wanted to show you <laughs> from end to end, it's about Four, at its widest, 14 inches I long. love that. That's Thank you for doing that because you can see that even with the handles, it's still going to fit. But look at this. We bake on the top. You're going to get that even heating all the way around. Look at that yummy little, Gosh. just, you know those little um, wampum biscuits that you buy at the store? Mm -hmm. You know.
-hmm. They're just so easy. Little little jalapeno on the top. Oh, look at and that makes it look so fancy. Love it. But this wasn't hard. And then honestly, this is gluten free mac and cheese. But look how it's literally just pulling. I'm I'm just swirling it around a dish. Looks so good. It's amazing, I'll right? Have to put that in locker number 32 before I head out today. Oh, is that your number? It is. I never knew that. That's my locker oh, number. Oh, I can leave you little love notes. In Perfect. the dressing room, that is my locker number. <laughs> 32, um, because I, I always used to joke around on the overnights about, can we put this in locker 32? And then it just stuck. Um, but when it comes to this set in particular, yeah. I want people to keep in mind too, these are great gifts. This doesn't yes. have to be just one gift. When you take a look at the fact that it has 10 pieces, coming to you in this nestable set. We saw that you can store them easily, but what about if I wanted to give this one as a gift? I and then I wanted that. to pair up maybe a couple of loaf pans mm -hmm. for a gift. What a great idea. So Barry, if you're someone who loves to bake and you just keep this in your gift drawer and pull it out as you need it, but think about the ability to prep, cook, serve, and store in one dish because I took my box recipe I just poured it right in here. No bowls, no extra cleanup. I love that. I'm gonna quickly bring you down in front with the Old World and start here. This is Old World Green. This is the most limited color choice in the Old World, I do believe. This is blue. We have two dozen in That's the blue. That's it, forever. Yeah. We're not bringing them back this year. Thank you for that reminder. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Old World Eggplant. Then we have the Old World Cranberry and Old World Red. Then we have Old World Black, Spice, and brown. Then we jump on over to the floral lace where yeah. we start with chocolate. Chocolate, and then here's the spice, the light blue, here's the green, and then at the top up here we have the black. Honestly, my favorite in floral lace, it's the black. gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Here's the eggplant, the red, and there's the cranberry. Now, we have five easy payments of $12. It is the first day that we're able to present it on those five easy payments. And remember, this is made for your countertop ovens, your air fryers, and your microwaves from Temptations. But from a Temptations presentation, yes. I'm headed out to what we call our temp set. Oh, you are? And I do believe that Kathy is gonna be telling us about something else coming I mean, I'm gonna head over there. head over there. I am. All right, good to see I'll you. I'll see you friend. soon. I'll see you all in a minute. Here I come. Um, here I here come. We go. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, how are you? So, coming up later, we have this baker, and I know you were telling me this one's really special because we don't have oval basket weave bakers like this. Yeah, so right. We don't have. I love the tote ability of this. It's part of our make it, take it, bake it collection. And what I love about this is you can now take this on the go with you. And it's traveling season, right? Because yeah, it's true. As we get closer to the warmer months and the picnics and things like that, so you're going to get silver thermal lining on the inside. Oh wow! With that great little pocket. So Ooh, this is. lining, if you're like, wait, what is that? You know, when you get pizza delivered. Yes. That's what the inside is. So it's going to keep it nice and hot for you or nice and cold. Wow. But look at this. It comes with gorgeous stoneware that matches. How big is the baker? So it's a three quart oval. Okay. And I love that it comes with that plastic snap on storage cover, BPA free, which means take this out of a 500 degree oven. Pop this right on top and right. pop it right in the tote, no worries And you're ready all. to go. And I know you always say to keep the, lids, the handles up when you do that. That's exactly right. And look, we even give you seat belts, just like you have seat belts in your car. We give you seat belts <laughs> for your, your temptation. Has a seat belt. So that it's nice and protected and secure. That's so sweet. And I assume we have a million colors to e choose from exactly. coming up. I know this one is actually the first day this month that we've presented it on Easy Pay because you know it's a big cook weekend here yes. at QVC, which is really fun. So um, we have this. I I want to do a video with this after the show. You do? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I like this. <laughs> and then we got to do our Easter theme I over know. here, right? Our little so peep cake. Cute. Well, you know it's baking season. It's Easter. We're like ready to pull I out know. the mixer, start making those cookies, start making all the cakes, the Easter breads that you taught us about earlier. Yeah. Um, so actually, Mary is standing by with a look at our big deal, which is got it. It's right in that theme. Mm -hmm. So awesome! I know we were just chatting about Kathy, but KitchenAid has their own gifts on Instagram. It's so cool. Um, I know Kathy was chatting about that with Tina, and then I joined in the conversation a couple minutes later. Um, but you know what? Something that we've been counting down, very excited about, is our 100-year celebration here at QVC of a name that has been a staple in our kitchens for a hundred years. So many of you have posted photos of your stand mixers from decades ago that still run strong. But if you've been looking Looking at this pro line that KitchenAid has for us, it's our QVC2 big deal today, and we're going to take an extended look right now.
Well, like I said a moment ago, KitchenAid has been our go-to in the kitchen for many, many decades, 10 decades as a matter of fact, and KitchenAid hasn't jumped around to other rooms in the house. They have stayed right in the kitchen to bring us the best of the best. This is the first time that we're offering KitchenAid's largest and most powerful residential stand mixer as our QVC2 big deal. Check out the KitchenAid 7 Quart Pro Line Bowl Lift Stand Mixer. It's K49050. What's the difference between a KitchenAid Pro Line and the KitchenAid Stand Mixer that I may have right now? Well, our friend Tina Varelli is here with us, and yes, she is our representative with KitchenAid. She also develops incredible recipes and knows her way around a KitchenAid Stand Mixer way better than me. Um, so I'm thrilled that she's here on Yay. In the Kitchen. Hi, Yay. good to see you again. Yes. What is the big difference between this mixer and maybe other mixers in the KitchenAid right. family? So the big difference here is the quantity. Yes. So seven quart, 14 dozen cookies, <laughs> like giant amounts, but can do small amounts too. Yeah. So small, medium, large can handle them all and the power. Yeah. So under the hood here, 1.3 peak horsepower. <laughs> Like we're not talking about tools for the garage, right. horsepower. It's not a lawnmower. Right. It's for your kitchen. Right. And it's fun to use horsepower. It so is. You have to growl a little bit when you <laughs> say it. You know what? The fact that this has a 1.3 horsepower DC motor means that yes. you're getting a constant, fluid, versatile mm -hmm. amount of power. That's right. But it can still handle your delicate jobs with incorporating more gentle things. Right. But that's what we wanted to know first and foremost. Yes. Now I'm going to bring everybody over oh, and good. show the color choices because Love we it. have four colors for you. Come on over here with me because there is one that has been very, very popular today and it is this one. This is Sugar Pearl and this is one that has a beautiful glow to it, but it's going to match your stainless steel appliances beautifully. Case in point, look at the seven quart stainless steel bowl. This is your bowl lift and I want to tell you these extras, these are all zinc knobs all the way around except right here. This is a Polish Polish. Are you kidding me? Who can't read? I'm excited about the Polish pottery we had earlier. Polished chrome knob right here as your bowl lift. Isn't that cool? I know my poor line producer control room's falling apart. Like now she just can't read anymore. Um, this is another accessory that you're getting along with it. This is your one piece pour shield. So this snaps right onto the top of your bowl and helps guide all of the ingredients in there neatly. This is your wire whip. Now, previously on the wire whip, it's been a very specific shape and it only had eight wires. This, look how many there are, and look at the shape. So this is gonna follow the contours of the bowl a lot better and incorporate more air faster. This is your flat beater, and this is your dough hook. You're getting all of those accessories along with it, and you're getting the pro line in the seven quart bowl lift series for these colors. This is your sugar pearl. This is your frosted pearl. There are only a hundred to go around in that frosted pearl. These are the perfect, this is the perfect sheen on your meringue when it peaks up. Wedding dress colors. Oh, what a pretty choice for a wedding. Yeah. Um, then this is your onyx black. There are 150 to go around in the onyx black. And then this, rev up your engines. Mm -hmm. This is candy apple red. And there are fewer than 300 to go around. Now, let's talk about price because we're talking about all of these upgraded situations here. What's the price tag? Well, at other retailers, we could be spending $619.98. Here, you're saving $192.47. It's on free shipping and handling. Nice. It's also available on six easy payments of $75 today. Quickly, I'll let you know, shop with your Q card and you have 12 months special financing. Make minimum payments in that 12 months. Make the purchase on your Q card pay it off within that 12 months and there's no interest charge to your card. Passover, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Also, this is the award winner by Euromonitor Ooh. for best selling mixer brand in the world. Euromonitor is a group that they don't let you buy that award. It's voted on. It has to be awarded separately 
without provocation. Wow. Um, that's a big word. Big word. And well, I couldn't think of polish, but I can think of provocation. <laughs> but that's an, a big, big award. So we wanted to make sure to mention it. Best selling mixer in the world. This has all kinds of upgrades to it, not just the mm -hmm. zinc knobs that I was talking about. Oh, yes. The polished chrome bowl yes. lip, but so much more. So much more. So, you know, it just handles so beautifully. It has a yeah. smoothness to it, an elegance to it. Just turning it on, that zinc knob, mm -hmm. and it just kind of glides there smoothly. Mm -hmm. It purrs as it hums along. It's that DC motor, sure. that soft start, all that power under the hood here. It has that electronic sensor that is gonna sense when you add things, like some of our shredded chicken here earlier. Let me add some of that in and show you just that power. So this is our shredded chicken that we did earlier. If you've never tried this trick, you want some poached chicken or cook it in the slow cooker. Okay. So it wants, you want it to be moist and you just use that flat beater and it shreds it. So why not on a Sunday maybe shred a whole bunch of chicken, pop them in lock and locks or freezer bags, and then you can use it for all kinds of casseroles, enchiladas, fajitas, taco night, mm, or great idea. chicken alfredo dip. So this whole station here, all the demos that I'm showing you are savory applications. Okay. So your KitchenAid stand mixer is not just for bakers. You use it for meatloaf, you use it for meatballs, you shred your chicken, you use it for dips. Right. So many great options and it does such a fabulous job. And then you end up with a yummy, cheesy, chickeny di a dip that you can bake in the oven, maybe in your Temptations baker. Oh, yum. Wait it a minute. smells really, really good. Over here to the side. Hold on. I need to get in there. I mean, you're doing all this hard work. So good. And I didn't reach over and grab a cookie before. Oh, we so need I've to get you a cookie. Oh, no, no, please. She is, she is well fed. Um, but I'm just going to grab some of the dip because it smells it looks yummy parmesan so you said chicken alfredo dip chicken alfredo dip so you start with cream cheese you add in some jarred alfredo sauce mm -hmm. parmesan mozzarella tomatoes some herbs and then your shredded chicken where do we find this recipe so all the recipes that we're doing here today if you go to tina varelli v-e-r-r-e-l-l-i kitchenaid on qvc my facebook page there is a link <gasps> look at do you remember tina, the, that's amazing. the rye bread we started yes. earlier that has the pickle juice in it mm -hmm. yep so here it is it needed to rest a little while and then we're using that power spiral knead dough hook and it's giving you that pan kneading action right in that bowl, doing such a beautiful job harnessing that 1.3 horsepower DC motor oh. and just doing such a beautiful, beautiful job. Now, most breads are going to knead in four to five minutes. Okay. And a little tip, you only want to use speed two. Oh, how come? That's all that is needed okay. power-wise, and you don't want to overload anything with super tough doughs. Okay. So speed two for when you're using your dough hooks. What if I wanted to make a bread where I'm adding really tough ingredients like flax and oh. you know wheat, grass, I don't even know what you right. put into bread. I just know those things are hard to shred. Can can this machine handle it? It can. In okay. fact, this has rye flour in it. That is one of the toughest Hardy. kind of flours. It has mustard seed. It has caraway seed. It is chock full of all kinds of goodies in there. And look at the beautiful stretch you get from that gluten being activated. That's exactly what you want. And really, the stand mixer did all the work. All I did really was dump my ingredients in the bowl. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of baking I can get behind. Yes. Um, let me tell you too, to your point earlier when we presented it, Tina reminded me, it's 16 and 3 eighths inches tall. So right. from the very bottom to the top. So it will fit underneath your cabinets. Since we're right here, I want to remind you too that KitchenAid, we're celebrating the 100 year anniversary. Yay. If you love your stand mixer and you're wondering, okay, is it time for me to pass my stand mixer on to another member of my family and go pro line? 
what are the differences? Mm -hmm. The difference between the stand mixer that you have now and the Proline is that it has a 1.3 horsepower motor here in the Proline. This is a seven quart capacity, so you can do more. You can make 14 dozen cookies. Yes. Um, but when it comes to the power of this motor, a DC motor means that it's getting a constant stream of power other motors surge the power to your appliances. DC motor is a steady stream of power and 1.3 horsepower mm -hmm. is strong. But with the Proline, you get the versatility because you've got speeds one through 10. That's right. So you have access to a lot of power, mm -hmm. but you have a lot of control. That's, That's right. what differentiates the Proline from other series in KitchenAid. Mm -hmm why you want to shop for it here at QVC and QVC2 is you get six easy payments of $75. And if you're thinking about, okay, well, I may want to go check it out in the store. Let me tell you why you shouldn't. Because this is a 27 pound machine today yes. on free shipping and handling. Instead of lugging it to the car, mm -hmm. lugging it in the house, or taking it over to someone's home for a gift, this is going to ship for free. Correct. Not only do you get the easy pay, not only do you get the free shipping and handling, but the Proline here at QVC, when you use your Q cards, also on 12 month special financing. There are so many reasons to shop this award winning yes. brand here at QVC. And one of the best ones is it comes with everything we need right out of the box. That's right. And I'm pointing out if you are gifting it, it's yes. going to come in that glossy KitchenAid box inside your shipping box. Thank so you. if you're gifting it and you want them to have that nice package, yes, you'll get it's it. It's still there. Yes. See, that's the beauty of shopping here at QVC. Also, you have 30 days to love it or return it. Yeah. So let's say you get it home. Keep the box, keep the packaging on the inside, keep mm -hmm. the label. If during that 30 days, you're like, I don't love it as much as I thought I would. Use the label on the inside of the right. box. Send it back to yes. us. You don't have to keep it and you get to try it in your own home. So I could go on and on. But what you really want to see is the magic and the power of this machine. Right. Why a bowl lift? Right. So a bowl lift, it gives you that professional styling. You kind of feel like you're yeah. a professional baker For and sure. it makes you look like one with the results that you're going to get. But you can only have that kind of power, that kind of tour in the bowl with the bowl lift. It needs to have these arms here hugging the bowl. Okay. The tilt head, it would be too much torque. It would actually tighten the bowl too much and got you it. wouldn't be able to get that off. Got it, got it. So I wanted to just take a minute. I know some folks in the chat were wondering how you put the bowl on. Thank you. That's so nice. So you have these arms here on the side and these little pins are called locating pins. Also, let me point out this little clip in the back here, that's also an important part. So here is your stainless steel, really high quality seven quart bowl. You're gonna have that comfort grip handle. Personally, I really love a metal bowl because it's more lightweight. All right, so let's pay attention to this little bump in the back. That is going to hook in with the little clip here in the back. And those locating pins are going to get centered here on these little round tabs. So what I do is handle in the front, put it under where the beater attaches, and tilt the back upward. So put it on the locating pins, and then push down in the back. This little lever in the back is going to be stiff the first couple times you use sure, it, okay. but then it will loosen up over time. Then to put your beater on, and this is our awesome 11 wire stainless steel dishwasher safe wire whip. So you just insert that, and then all of the beaters have kind of a keyhole shape here with an opening. So you're just gonna fit that over the shaft and the pin there. Oopsies. Come on, mister, there we go. Okay, give it a twist and it's locked, loaded, and ready to go. So let me turn this back to the front here. So we're gonna make a beautiful strata breakfast casserole. So great, think about all the brunches, mm. you know, showers and stuff, entertaining in the springtime, and you want to make those kind of egg casseroles. Instead of whipping up those eggs by hand, we're gonna harness the power of those 11 wires and it's gonna aerate beautifully. Notice when I first turned it on, the eggs did not come you know, no. exploding out of the mm -hmm. bowl because we have that soft start. So even though it's powerful, 
it really is under control. Got it. So you just slide through those 10 speeds and it just does a beautiful job of aerating and thoroughly mixing that egg mixture and you're just gonna get such beautiful luscious results from your recipe and here is another great example of a savory item by the way i'm standing right next to it there's no egg slopping out of the there side. is not there's no splatter everywhere and th there's no movement here we're about halfway up on the speed control and i just love the hum of that dc motor yes. it's a purr it is as you said quoting tina earlier it's a purr this is the pie in the sky hope for so many of us is this machine on the countertop. That profile is timeless. Mm -hmm. I mean, these colors are absolutely gorgeous, but it's the function. Over and over again, we get phone calls about folks saying, I love those colors that you all are showing, but my KitchenAid from 1968 is still running strong. You know, that's why you'll hear me referencing throughout our presentations. Maybe if it's within your budget to do so, it's time to pass that mixer on. That's what my mother did. Mm -hmm. And she picked up herself a new color. Did she? <laughs> yes, she did. Aww. But I've had her mixer for many years. And this is what it's all about, is getting these results. How long would that have taken to whip all of those yolks? Yeah, it's just, you know, it's harder to yeah. whip all that up and really to get that consistency. For you sure. know when you kind of whip it with a fork, you end up with like white pieces and right. orange pieces, and it's not really thoroughly mixed. It just makes it so much easier. So if you only use your stand mixer to make cookies, yeah. you know, it's time to branch out, try some other things, make your meatloaf, make your meatballs, whip up your eggs with it, make some dips. Absolutely. Really use it every single day. Leave it on the counter. For, oh, always. Um, you know what, folks are asking about a flex edge yes. also. There is a flex edge that fits this machine. It's a 380-895. It's available on qvc.com. It's $49.99. It's on five easy payments, um, but just wanted to let you know that it is available on a separate purchase. I need to show everybody the yes. color choices. So I'm gonna set this down back on its little flex edge table, and I'm gonna bring you all this way and talk to you about the four color choices that we have. This is the QVC2 big deal. And when it comes to power, this has a 1.3 horsepower motor. This is the seven quart bowl lift from KitchenAid. And this color choice that you're seeing on the screen in front of you is sugar pearl silver. It is the most popular in the show. Fewer than 500 remaining for the rest of the day. Remember, our QVC2 big deal has a shelf life as far as the offer is concerned. This is the mixer itself in that ProLine series. This is your one-piece pour shield. This is your 11-wire wire whip. This is your coated flat edge beater, and this is your coated dough hook. All of these accessories in the past weren't dishwasher safe, but now they are. So this color is the sugar pearl. This color is the frosted pearl white. I love what you said about weddings. Yes. This would be a lovely gift for the bride, even if it's not on her list. No. I'm telling you, they're gonna wish they had and one. And the color, I think, would coordinate with any decor. There are fewer than 100 remaining in that beautiful frosted pearl. Then we have the gorgeous onyx fewer than 150 in that onyx black. And then we have the candy oh. apple red. 250 remaining in that candy apple red. This is K49050. It's the KitchenAid 7 Quart Pro Line Bowl Lift Stand Mixer. It is new for us. It's the first time offering KitchenAid's largest and most powerful residential stand mixer as our QVC2 big deal. And it's six easy payments of $75. Great value today. Free shipping and handling. Savings of almost $200 by shopping at QVC2. And we have Nanette on the oh, phone from nice. Florida. Hi, Nanette. My name is Mary. Please meet Tina. How are you today? Hello. Hi, guys. How are y'all today? Doing so well. How are you? Good. 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 I tell I, I have the six quart, and I'm watching this, and I'm going, wow, I kind of want the seven quart now. <laughs> <laughs> Nanette, I'm right along with you. It's so hard to host and not shop. Whew. I, well, I started with the four quart. Yes. And then I adopted a sailor. And I was sending him monthly packages of baked Aww. goods, the monster cookies. Oh, which, I love you for that. Thank you know, you. have everything in them. Yes. And then I have I had a, my cousin had a son in the military. A friend had a son in the military. And I'm like, well, I got to send them stuff too. Aww. So that's when I took advantage of your great easy pay. And I upgraded 
to the six quart so I can make the huge batches of cookies. Oh my gosh, Nanette, thank you for taking such Aww. good care of the folks that are working so hard to protect us. Thank you, thank you. So nice. Um, and monster cookies, I need to know about these. Oh yeah. Those sound amazing. Okay. <laughs> well, they're the ones that have um, oatmeal. Yes. Um, they have chocolate chips, m and um, They have the Rice Krispies. Oh, Oops. so it's like a combo they, of the two cookies we've yeah. been making. They, they are, they're insane. They, I gave, I gave my four quart to a friend, um, and she still makes them with her, da her daughters. And because uh, I was making them with her daughter, I would take my mixer over there and make them with her. And um, then when I got the upgraded one, the six quart. I gave her my four, and she still makes them with her kids. So sweet. I love it. Oh, I love your generous spirit, Nanette. Mm -hmm. um, I also love the fact that you, it sounds like you're recognizing that this offer that we have today is really good. And I, I have a four and a half quart, too. And I look at this and think, huh, I wouldn't have to make multiple batches if I had this one. That's right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. um, so, Nanan, -nan, I get it. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you for taking care of our soldiers and for speaking with us live on the air today. We appreciate you very much. Not a problem. Anybody on the, on the uh, mark of whether you're going to get it or not, go for it. You're going to love it. Thank you, Nanette. Thank you, thank you. Hope we get to talk to you again real soon. All right. Have a great one. Thank you. Bye -bye, you too. Nanette. Bye-bye now. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that Aww, lovely? I so love it. Um, you know what, too? Remember, this is our QVC2 big deal. Um, this is the Pro Line series. This is where you get that 1.3 horsepower motor. You get lots of versatility when you have a lot of power at your fingertips. And with the control of 10 speeds here and a name that we've been celebrating in the kitchen for 100 years like KitchenAid, this is the time to shop. Now, I know we have four color choices left. What's our most limited at this point? Right now, the Frosted Pearl, we have so fewer than 100. Pretty. And Onyx Black, we have 150. We have that beautiful Candy Apple Red at the end. And then the Sugar Pearl, fewer than 500 in the Sugar Pearl. So definitely place your orders now. Tina Varelli, you're making beautiful meringue for yes, us. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. When are you on again? Uh, tonight. Tonight. We'll be on with Dan Hughes. We oh, have fun. a whole hour of KitchenAid, and I believe it starts at 9 p.m. Oh, fun. Yes. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, thank you, my friend. Um, as I move on today, Remember, also available and earlier in the show, we showed you the KitchenAid sifter stand mixer attachment with the scale. This is a three in one, so it weighs, it sifts, and it dispenses your baking ingredients. It's customer top rated, and you're saving almost $50 by shopping for it here at QVC. We only have 250 remaining. Oh my gosh, so it's time to shop. This is In the Kitchen with Mary. We still have about 20 minutes together. We're gonna take a quick break. We are going to be right back with Mad Hungry. Tomorrow, get ready to cook for all your spring celebrations while taking advantage of five or more easy payments on all food and kitchen items on air, online, and on our apps. Shop now your cooking day. Spring celebrations, all easy pay, all day. Tomorrow on QVC. Get ready to step up your air frying game with the Power Air Fryer of an Elite, featuring 10 settings and 7 colors. Get yours starting Sunday at midnight Eastern on QVC. Looking for a little pick-me-up to get you through the week? Add a smile to your style during Chicks Night In. Kick back with us every week for an hour of fun and laughs. It's always fun and always surprising. And you can party with us on Facebook during the show. Watering your garden just got a lot easier with the Bernini Pro Series No King Hose. Don't miss it, starting Tuesday at midnight Eastern on QVC. Once you find that favorite bowl in your kitchen, it can become a little bit of a whoopee. 
It's like your blankie. Yes, it becomes that piece that you don't want to give up and it's the go-to and you panic a little bit when it's in the dishwasher. But then you feel so much better when it's on the shelf and ready to go. Well, Mad Hungry has brought us the go-to bowl and because everything in the show is on easy pay, today we can pick up more than one set and not ever have to worry about our favorite bowl not being available in the cupboard. It's K48024. It is the first day presented yes. for the two-piece everything bowl set. We are loving all of the stoneware coming from the Mad Hungry family. I love all of these innovations in your line, Thank my friend. Thank you. Multifunctional. Hello. I loosened a scallop Happy twin. spring. Happy spring. You this, look so pretty. You know what? This is all about the fact that I noticed about five years ago okay. that all of my family were fighting over like two bowls in our kitchen. I get it. And I just, and then all of a sudden I noticed that Everywhere was a bowl. There was a green bowl. There was a ramen bowl. There was an a, a sahi bowl. Everything is in bowls, and we eat in bowls. And I think more and more people eat in bowls, right? So we designed this Mad Hungry Everything Bowl. We put a loop on it, so you can basically have salad, soup, ice cream. I mean, pretty much everything. I'm having a little salad right here, and I just want to show you. And I hate to say it, but do you eat at the couch? Yes. All right. We did a I'm bowl just gonna earlier. say percent of us do. I'm just going to say this is a couch bowl. <laughs> this is like the couch bowl of doom. <laughs> um, look how my thumb is in here. I love it. This? My thumb is in here. I'm eating. This is brilliant. Isn't it brilliant? It yes. seems so simple. And, you know, it's not just an eating bowl. An everything bowl, that's what we call it. I love this. It holds mm. easy. Um, it's a, it's just that whoopee in the cupboard. Okay, so we have color choices for you, and we need to see those early because both of these are what you're getting. This is one and a half quarts. This is one and a half quarts. Both come with snap-on lids. This is red. Look at that beautiful gray. I love that they all have that matching pattern. Yes. So that they're going to This is a mid-century modern pattern that is very, very contemporary, yet retro at the same time. This is your turquoise. This is blue. These are orange. Look at how fun. And then this is yellow. We have 400 remaining in yellow already. Two easy payments of $13. Remember, you're getting two bowls, two of the storage lids. This is the first day presented. Yes, they're dishwasher safe. Where else can we use them? You can use them everywhere. This is a David Venable size bowl of mac and cheese. <laughs> this is a snack um, bowl. This is like everybody in my house is mac and cheese. And what I love here is you see the inside, we have these beautiful geometric ge uh, mid-century modern shapes, and yet we also have them on the outside. So it's all these very plain, beautiful colors that mix with your pattern, whatever you might have. And then if you didn't eat all your mac and cheese and you want to save it and you don't want somebody else to eat it, then you can just go right in here and put your snap lid on on there and you're good and you just stick that into the fridge. I like that you say don't, not a, you don't want anybody else to eat it. I stacked up all the colors because oh yeah. my gosh with Easy Pay, I would pick up more than one color. Look how pretty they are. Look at it with the I mean to get your your uh, meatballs and you know you can put this down on your plate all around the table. And another thing Mayor, you don't have to necessarily eat out of it. You can also use it as a prep bowl. Yes. So everything in the Mad Hungry line does multiple things, because that's the way we roll in my ad hungry land, i.e. my kitchen. <laughs> and so you might want to just, you know, you might not be somebody that are going to use it for that, but you want to have, like, again, you get your thumb in there, you start to whisk, and you've got something that you can maneuver around. So that's just right here, you can do it for mixing. But do you know that this bowl also bakes? I made a soccer cake out of two of these. Stop it. I baked it and then made a soccer cake and it's super easy. You just ice it and put it together. You, uh, you know, you can keep this in the freezer. This can be your ice cream bowl right here. And so again, cute. it's got, I love the way the gray mixes with the color. So if you do pick two and then again, you're going to eat all the ice cream. So it's about nine inches from the end of the handle all the way to the other end of the bowl. Yes. Um, so just for sizing, but then look at how they nest down. Isn't that sweet? You can have the little handles any way you want, but they store so beautifully. It's so great because how often do you serve yourself something and then you don't, you know, you don't eat it all, you put it back. Right. But more than anything, I think more and more people are eating their food in bowls. And you can tell by the all yes. the rage. Here's rice and beans. We have rice and beans once a week at my house. Oh, 
Oh, and yeah. you can have a bunch of rice, you can have the beans, you can take it and eat it, or supposing it's just the two of you and it's rice and beans, you can have a salad in one bowl, yes. and then you can bring this to the table and serve the rice and beans with a serving spoon, and then for two people, it turns into a serving bowl. We have a question from the other side of our set, Lucinda ah, Quinn. Chris. Chris Campanelli, please, your question. Two bowls, right? Two, two bowls. bowls. Are they both the same size? Yes, yes. they are. I just ordered two sets. Uh oh, man. That's so What's nice. What's your color, Chris? I know. Gray is very popular. Well, it's always such a great choice because if you're gifting them and you're not sure what color they collect, now you're getting something that's a nice accent color to what they may already have. But this is the set of two in the red. The lids both come with the with both bowls. One and a half quarts, one and a half quarts, both the same size. Red is most popular. Here they are in gray. Here they are in that beautiful turquoise. There is blue. We also have orange. We call that orange. And then we also have a set of two in yellow at the very end. 350 remaining in the yellow. But I have to say, this little lip yeah. makes it perfect. This, I'm just eating some salad. How often do you get that salad from the, you know, nowadays there are so many salad places, mm -hmm. and you divide it in two and you take it home? Or how about you make it and take it with you? Right. Or you, you know, bring it to the park or you bring it to the beach. But again, you can see that I'm just maneuvering it all over the place with this this, this loop is a game changer too because when you pull it out of a boiling hot microwave, Thank how you. many times when you bring it out, it's too hot, but that's okay. You can just lift it out with this and it's not too hot because we're reheating stuff all the time for those couch bowls. First day presented this, oh, this that's its name forever in is my mind. Is it the mind. couch bowl? It's the couch no, bowl. No, it's the everything bowl. It is the everything which bowl. Which includes the couch. My line producer loves some cereal. Oh. And so this this cereal is a really days. great like giant weekend cereal bowl, right? Um, so <laughs> just shouted that over. Listen, <laughs> I apologize. Um, What's but okay? I'm eating. You have two easy payments here of thirteen dollars. Order early, as we've learned with the stoneware from Mad Hungry. So far, flies when you see it. So make sure that you enjoy the colors while we have them too, my friend. Thank so you. Good I'm to so see happy you. to do this on your oh, show. Oh my god. And by the way, look at the way the yellow and the gray look together. How about that as a as a I like those together. Exactly. Um, really pretty accents and nice for spring, but it's not too overdone. Um, well, let's be honest. If it has my name on it, it's probably a little overdone. Um, oh, this is in the kitchen with Mary. This segment is called Clean That Up. Okay. Because I have a tendency to make quite a mess in my kitchen, but mm -hmm. I'm a very tidy person. Yes. And so I will clean up quickly, but I want to do it right the first time. Because I don't want to spend as much time cleaning no. as I have cooked. Uh -uh. But this is how you do it right. This is the 10 piece <clears throat> microfiber sponge set with the sponge holder by the Campanelli's. Now, one side is for scrubbing. One side has the sweet little microfiber wipey side. Yes. But these have been so incredibly popular. Well over 500,000 Campanelli sponges have sold here at QVC and QVC2. 200 already just in this show. Oh, wow. Do you know why? Why? Because of this clearance price. Crazy town. Free shipping. Oh. Clear, right? What? Clearance, you're getting 10 microfiber sponges in three different sizes mm -hmm. and the sponge caddy. Yep. For a clearance price of less than $15, free shipping and handling. That means this sponge right here was the one that Nancy Hornback pulled everybody aside and said, I just threw my first one out after five, five years. years. Because you can put them in the dishwasher, the machine wa the machine washer, the clothes washer. Yes. Interesting. Um, and wow, what was that? Polish or polish? Woo. Um, and they're dryer safe too. So Correct. she just threw it away for after five years. These are $1.50 a piece. You think this guy's going to last you five years? Wow. You think that's going to last you five years? No, and it's Funky no, Town. It's Funky Town. Because yeah. that Funky Town, when you smell it and you get that sour smell, that's bacteria. Yeah, yeah. This is our um, version of these scratchy sponge that you get at the store. Okay. But our version is different because you don't throw it away, you put it in your washing machine. But if you're going to put your money into a microfiber sponge, it's got to do a good job, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's show you. Now, I know we have green. We that's get four it. large rectangles. Yes. Yeah. Three medium rectangles right. and two rounds. Two of the round and then the sponge caddy, of course. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So, Mary, when you go to the store and you buy a sponge that's made for scrubbing, yes. that's really almost all these sponges do, okay? So, when you're but done they scrubbing. Scratch too. But you're, you know, this scrubs and it does a pretty good job. But you know what I'm left with, Mary? 
a big uh, mess. Another mess to another clean up. Another big mess. So what do I have to do? I have to go get paper towel. I have to go get rag. I have to go something like that. Rather than doing that, we're going to use both sides of our sponge. One side is that diamond fiber, and the other side is microfiber. So just using tap water here, not only does our sponge do a much better job at scrubbing, but now, rather than going to get paper towel, I can flip this over. I can clean up right after myself. I've just put this right in the washing machine and the dryer instead of going back to the store to buy more disposable products. That again is that Campanelli family mission. We want to get rid of the disposable products that you use in your home. 1,200 remaining. Oh, That's wow. it. Okay. By the way, that clearance price, just in case I wasn't clear before, mm. 10 pieces from the sponges from Campanelli's for $14.98. $14.98. I feel like there's going to be a bunch of text messages from hosts. I wish you would have called me and told Why me. Why didn't you tell me? $14.98. And we have two easy payments of $7.49. And so that's even more crazy. The easy pay goes away at the end of the day, however. That's a huge mess that you're making look it's like big it's nothing. mess. But see, I'm using diamond fiber. Diamond fiber is like millions of diamond shaped edges that are going to scrub without scratching on this glass stovetop. So instead of now getting a paper towel or rag, I flip it over and I use the microfiber side. I clean up right after myself instead of using something like this that becomes hard like a rock you throw it away you have to go back to the store and buy more hours you take and you put in the washing machine and you come out with a nice fresh clean sanitized sponge that you use over and over and over for as much as five years fewer than a thousand remaining okay um let's keep going 1498 i'm just gonna move on yeah um because you know what this is this is what the round one looks like this is what the big rectangle looks like so when i say round i mean that's as it's a five inch round sponge look at my face that's big that's a big sponge that, it's a big sponge these are huge. They're big sponges. It's not like when I say you're getting these sponges in different sizes for $14.98. Correct. That you're getting these little like two finger sponges. And look, this just, is the, what big. we call the medium rectangle. This is the regular size of that kitchen sponge that you get at the store. That little green and uh, scrubby sponge. The worst part about these, Mary, is that they can scratch your nonstick surfaces. So I'm going to take this nonstick cookie sheet here. We're going to take this green sponge okay. and I'm going to go back and forth just a few times. Look, that pan is ruined. It's now scratched and it's gone, right? That uh, the, the nonstick is now on the sponge. Ours, the diamond fiber on one side, right? This is like my morning cardio. <laughs> uh, look, I can keep going, Mayor. Back and forth, back and forth with that diamond fiber, not a scratch on that pan. So one side is the diamond fiber, the other side is microfiber, like you saw from the towels. Yeah. Let's show you about microfiber. 700 sets remaining. Okay. 1498. Let's go. Limited quantity. Green is the color that remains. Okay, we've seen the messes, like the everyday stuff around the kitchen. Right. What about the big, okay, it's the spring cleaning. Mess. We just found something nasty. We just found something nasty, right? So this is axle grease on the window here. It's, it could be cooking grease or soap scum. I know it's a, an extreme exaggeration, but ordinarily you'd reach for maybe your traditional cellulose kitchen sponge. Now, this is kind of moving this around. It's not really doing a good job. That's going to end up in the landfill. You mm -hmm. throw it away. It doesn't do anything, right? So one side is the diamond fiber, which is the scrubby side. Okay. The other side is microfiber. Microfiber, again, is like millions of little fingers that are going to lift, trap, and remove that mess in one pass. So much so that we'll grab that tissue. Not a speck of grease on there, Mary. Again, not a tool in your house, not a cellulose sponge, not a cotton rag, not an old t-shirt is going to do the same job or even a better job than microfiber is around the house. We started this presentation with 2,000. Wow. We have 600 remaining. Okay. Um, we have 10 sponges. You're getting four large rectangles, three medium rectangles, two rounds, those big rounds that I just held up, and you're getting the matching suction sponge holder right. for two easy payments of $7.49. That's approximately $1.50 each for a sponge that you can put into the dishwasher or the washing machine and pop into the dryer. Into the dryer. What we've learned with microfiber, though, yes. don't use. Fabric, um, softener. fabric softener, right, don't exactly. use the dryer sheets. Mary, I do want to point out also that it's not just for the kitchen. You can bring this right into the bathroom. This is soap scum right here. It sure is. Look at this. Take this nasty, nasty soap scum, flip it over, and then squeaky, squeaky clean. Hi, everybody. Wait a minute. Can they see my face through here in a of second? Of course. <laughs> we started with 2,000. <laughs> we only have 200 remaining. Goodbye. Woo! Woo. Okay. All right. Free ship. We like some free shipping we and handling like on our sponges. Shipping. I would have.
put a, a couple in my pocket. Um, so <laughs> 500,000 have been we'll sold in its lifespan. Thank you. Did you want to borrow my tape measure? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Every Thank time you. I haul out the tape you measure. Mary DeAngelis, you. <laughs> Thank you, Chris you Campanelli. Every time I pull out the tape measure, Chris Campanelli is like, what are you doing? Okay, so it's time to talk about make it, bake it, take it with our friend Lisa Lasort. Hi. This is one hi <laughs> that we've been very excited to see because yeah. it's basket weave. I know, and you know we just had our big basket weave today, special yes. value last week. So if you picked up the dinnerware and you're looking for some bakeware, yes, part of our make it, bake it, take it collection, right? So pretty, so perfect for every day, perfect for on the go, and it's going to start with that amazing tote. Love. Look how pretty the basket weave is on the tote. So it's sweet. just so pretty. So it's beautiful. It's all screen printed on right. Right here has a great double hook loop closure right there. Okay. So I know that that three uh, quart baker inside is perfect. We fill it with silver therm lining, just like the pizza delivery guy. So it's going to keep it <laughs> really that. nice and hot. We even give you that little um, uh, envelope right there if you want to put like the utensil or your keys or a recipe. But here's what's inside all of this. And look, it's stuck to a safety belt right there. <laughs> It's secure. It's our seat belts. Yeah, thank you. Three quart oval, Mary. You know we don't do a lot of these. Beautiful basket weave. That basket weave texture on the outside, beading at the top, hand painting on the inside. Have that great um, utensil that comes with it. Plastic snap on storage cover. Floral lace and old world. Passover, Easter. Mother's Day, yes. Father's Day, keep that in mind. And showers, like I'm going to so yes. many, so many baby showers. So I don't know what's going on in my family, but <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> nice. baby showers this spring. Yeah. So in floral lace, we have the blue. Okay. Then over here, we have the light blue. And I just think this is absolutely gorgeous for the spring. Me too. Here's the green. Here's the eggplant. Remember, your tote is going to match exactly. We just couldn't fit them all out here. Like for instance, here's the red that matches back to the red on the top. Cranberry on the bottom. Then finishing out in floral lace with that classic black. Notice the layer, the texture, the dimension, all the craftsmanship that goes into basket weave. Here's the spice, and at the very bottom is chocolate. Beautiful. <laughs> um, just to put this in mind, it's the first day of this month on Easy Pay. You can get it home for nine dollars. I love that you can try maybe a brand new pattern that you've never tried before yes. for thirty days and see how you love it. It's going to match perfectly back to everything you've been collecting for seventeen years. For sure. Old World Green. Then we have Old World Blue. Mary, this confetti I think love is it. gorgeous in basket weave. I love that in the Isn't basket that weave. Yes, I do. It brings, it really brings the pattern to life. Here's the eggplant. Then next door to that is going to be the red. Here's the cranberry. And at the very end, with a classic black, we have Mary's color of the spice and we have the brown. Now, remember the basket weave, we just had a big dinnerware today special value on our main channel, but this is a beautiful accompanying piece in that same line. The tote with the basket weave pattern on it is not textural, but what you're getting on the baker is that pretty basket weave textural experience along with that bold burst of color, depending on which color choice you pick up. But what this is all about is taking those delicious dishes with you on the go. That's right. So three quart oval, one of the most requested Yum. sizes, but believe it or not, we don't make a lot of them. Oh, and I got, look at that. Oh, everything's <laughs> stuck today. Oh, look at that. But you know what's not stuck? The food. That's right. Because stoneware is not actually non-stick. So literally, I can just swirl it all around the dish. But here's my favorite part. Thank you, Mary. Because that is BP free and because of the tabs on the side you can literally just pop it right on right and then you can take it right on the go easily enough love um, that there we thank go. you you know what too the fact that i could tuck the spoon in there for presentation that's right um but you know what too it bakes up so beautifully if you've baked in temptations then you know if you never have then this is also a beautiful oval baker that's right. that when it comes to giving you those beautiful results you spend all that money on the ingredients i know you spend all that time in the kitchen mm -hmm. now you're going to put it in a some sub par baking vessel like oh i don't know this yes i mean you put this on the table by the way have you ever made something big and you take it out of the oven in the metal pan and it folds in it half it starts going and like you this dump the whole thing uh Yes. Bad words. Bad words. Um, it's too close to a holiday for bad words. That's so right. This is how you get those beautiful results, but now you don't have to transfer it over to another vessel. That's right. I love it. So prep, cook, serve, and store all in one dish. And by the way, this is what your breads, your cakes are going to look like, and that's what the inside of your dish is going to look like. Totally. They're both perfect, right? Yes, absolutely. That's what we love about it. So is this bunny cake. Um, I've been looking at it all day. I just don't know how much longer, okay? <laughs>
don't have much more time I have to make. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Remember, but too, you get it home for $9. I it's love on that. five easy payments of $9. Um, first day this month on that easy pay. The comparable retail value for this set is $59. But we still have choices for everyone. We do. Um, Lisa, would you mind showing them to us again? Sure. Remember, you're going to get the tote, the three quart oval baker, the plastic snap on storage cover, the wrought iron rack, and you're going to get that matching utensil. So we have floral lace blue. We have light blue right over here. Underneath there's the green. Then we have the eggplant. We have the red, the cranberry, and floral lace. We have the black. We have the spice. And we have the chocolate. Then in Old World, we have that classic green. All the totes are going to match back. Then we have the blue, the confetti, the eggplant, the red, and the cranberry. And at the very end, the black, the spice, and the chocolate. The fact that we're saving $14 versus what we were able to even find out at retail. This is part of Make It, Bake It, Take It from Temptations. It's K3, nope, K46903. Almost read that whole number backward. <laughs> That's not how that goes. Um, Lisa, thank you, my oh friend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so what are we going to say to our husbands when we get home? I'm so full. I'm so full. You're on your own for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I hope you ordered the sponges. Uh, because and, they're gone. And the chocolate. And the chocolate. <laughs> David just said to me, don't forget, don't put your apron in the dryer. What a sweetheart. Right? David's always looking out for us. Congratulations to those of you that were able to take advantage of that great offer on the sponges. $14.98. That was great. I gave the chat a, a heads up that it was going to sell out. Good. I heard you're getting the update. Yeah, that's so great <laughs> about the chat is you get to hear it before everybody else I'm does. like, uh-oh, let me let you know. So how was the chat today? It was good. It yeah. was busy. Oh, that's We had fun. 10 polls. That's awesome. Like a lot of, and the last poll was if you guys are looking forward to the big cook event this weekend. Yes. How many people do you think said yes and that they've canceled all their weekend plans? Is it 96?